Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. I'm Lycos Lore. And tonight, we're at the bar with an X. That's that's my bar. This yeah. is my, this is the bar with an X. Uh, this is this is Lycos. Yep. I'm Cam and Cameron. Yep. This is also Glenn. This is I'm also Cameron. Cameron. Unlike, unlike unlike Lycos. Um, my, what, my name's what, just kind what of if like I'm, my... What if I'm Cameron and you're also Cameron? I mean, according to the logo that's written in the corner down there, you are on the right-hand side. Oh my god, I just oh. noticed your little guy is... Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I'm blocked. That's it's okay. okay. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Dude, everything's gonna be all right, because we're at, we're at the bar. Because we got friends. When you're gathered at the bar with friends... That's the best way to go. Why, why would you drink alone? Don't drink alone. Never drink alone! Especially when alcohol is involved. But I guess this time, it's gonna be fine because there is no alcohol. Mm -hmm. At least a very, very small amount of it, if any at all. We have gained consent prior yep. to the stream itself. Tonight, Glenn and I are gonna be cock tackling mocktails. Mocktails technically has Mock a couple of different definitions and stuff. Some would argue that a mocktail is a non-alcoholic variation of a cocktail mocking the name. Mm -hmm. Which, I, to be perfectly honest, there's probably a whole subsection of things on there that can go for things like that. And I did have a couple of recipes, but they specifically called for like going to the store and finding like non-alcoholic rum or non-alcoholic vodka or non-alcoholic like spirits and stuff. And like, dude, I'm not made of money. No, I, I get you. Also, also like question. Uh, actually, yeah, this is a question for you. Please, um, please. I, I am the mixologist. I, like, my gut says, like, like a mocktail and a virgin, like a virgin drink, are basically the same thing. Essentially. I mean, the idea is if you call something a virgin drink, I think you are using the colloquialism that it's without alcohol. Yeah. So you could call it a mocktail, call it a non-alcoholic drink. To be perfectly honest, non-alcoholic drink is a bit of a mouthful, mouthful and a mouthful, apparently, uh, depending on what you're shoving the drink into, I guess. Oh, boy. So... We're gonna go with that definition. Yeah. It's drinks without alcohol. It's essentially taking all the mixers and combining them in such a way that you get something that also tastes really, really good yeah. without the without the bite. Yeah, because because just a little bit of context, I am not crazy about alcohol. You are. You're my mixology expert. Me, on the other hand, I'm an absolute fiend when it comes to ethanol. Seriously, that thing looks like a like a holy hand grenade. It's a Chambord. It's black raspberry liqueur, and uh, it tastes really good. Here, smell it. Oh. It's got alcohol, but what does oh. it smell like to you? Uh, it smells like grape juice. Up close and personal. It actually does kind of smell like grape juice, specifically <laughs> the grape juice that I bought for this episode. Well, just grape juice. Oh, huh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But no, seriously, that thing, I, I kind of want to describe and be like, Good name! Go for it! No! Oh, for the Emperor! Zoom. Okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we're going to start things off today with, naturally, it's a mocktail. We're yeah. gonna it's, it's all a non-alcoholic things this time around, so that's your jam. Stick around for whatever. There's a couple of recipes prepared. One of them includes a pineapple. There's also bananas. There's limes and lemons. I bought a lot of, there's a lot of fruit at this bar right now. A lot of fruits. I'm excited. And juices and syrups and ingredients. And all the tools may be brought out. Awesome. We, like, uh, like... We talked about it like before stream. There's a bunch of tools that apparently are going to be brought out this stream, and I'm excited because well, I, I mean, don't we don't excited. have all the time in the world, unfortunately. Yeah. There are a lot of recipes that are prepared. Will we get to all of them? Probably really not. But we'll see. We'll, 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 see, see. We, we'll see what we get through. But I did task Glenn with picking one recipe to start with, and he has made his decision. This yes. recipe, with contribution by community member Imi Chow, who gave us the recipe prior to the stream, That's is called Flames. Of the sun. Flames of the sun! Glenn, would you mind updating the current recipe that you're currently standing in front of? It's okay, don't worry this about it, but I'm trying to get myself into the, like into the thing. thing beforehand? No. no, no, you can just Flames go for it. Flames of the sun! Flames of the sun! Coming from a book called Witch's Brew by Sean Angle and a couple other folks as well. There's England there, Stephen Nichols. It's a it's a book. I don't actually have this book in my collection. Again, it's a community contribution, so like I don't actually have the book to show up and show people. Um, I believe the book has a lot of different like. Th it's cool. This book in particular has like it lists a moon phase for each drink. It lists occasions for each drink, and of course, appropriate glassware. The occasion for Flames of the Sun. Now that we're on the topic, is for any moon phase. Best for the daytime, though, when I guess the moon isn't technically out. You just can't see it in the air. The occasion, though, would be summer, a barbecue, new projects, or creative projects. And I would say when we bring our pal, when I bring brought my pal Glenny on, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my know. god, you're just going for it. Yeah. Check out I, this person's handwriting. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go over there. Man. I, I don't write like this ever. No, it's beautiful. Keep on doing what you're doing. I'm trying. This it's is hard. excellent. 
Flames of the Sun. Yeah. This is a creative project. This whole thing that we have going on here is technically a creative project. Oh, I think, I think uh, once you get to this level, you cannot see it anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's just, what's the current recipe? It's just flames. It's fire. There is a propane torch. I did not plan on I'm bringing sorry, up the propane what? torch this time. I don't think anything gets scorched this stream. He's doing some, he's doing, doing the work of the angels out there. All right, uh, uh, I got it. Flames of the flames Sun. Of the sun. It's called Flames of the Sun. Glenn, get back over here. You're the main star of the show. Uh, or at least this time around. Rai, what's going on? And here I thought Comic Sans was the worst font. Ooh, ooh, that's a hit at your chicken scratch. Uh, this is not my normal chicken scratch. Mine is caps lock. Being all funny. I also forgot to mention as well, Glenn is like one of my best friends like of all time. And because he is so damn tall, I decided to use the remaining space at the top of the bar here that lies above my head that we usually don't see to just fill it with references to our friendship. Uh, Isn't this beautiful? It really is. Part of it's kind of terrifying. And for those who are looking at this out of context might be like, why is a character from the Red Rats drawn up there? What the heck is this dude with the nose? Do I even understand what a Woa is? You don't. And that's okay. Well, maybe some of you do. Maybe some of you do. Maybe so. And those people will reveal themselves at the count of three. One, two, three. It's us. Uh, we, we, it's, kinda, we, yeah. we know what's going on. Yeah. Flames of the Sun, a recipe that has a non-alcoholic variation. In the book, which is brew, it looks like every single recipe has some sort of non-alcoholic variation to it. This one calls for the following ingredients. We need habanero rings. We need lime juice. We need pineapple juice. Some simple syrup. Ice. Shake it. Strain it. It's the spicy one. Cool. You picked the one really spicy one. Hey, I'm down for. I'm always down for. I'll throw back to when you were here at the Spicy Spirit stream. Oh, that was, was the last time you made your bold appearance. That was a fun stream. That was a good one. That's so good. in any case, we need some habanero, habanero peepers. I've got habanero peepers over here. We've got. I bought three more at the store. Observe upon ye. Observe ye the habanero peepers. Oh, not gonna lie, I kind of just want to just pop one off the stem. Just go. I mean, <laughs> do you want to eat one? I technically only need two. I'm Honestly, not forcing you to do I this. The thing is, like, I want to taste drinks. I might do it at the end of the stream. Oh my gosh, it's true. We have to actually experience things the proper way. Because, like, if I just burn out my tongue, like, in the first hour, like, then I'm like, how am I going to taste the drinks? Mm -hmm. So, to make this drink, we need a shaker, naturally. And we're going to use, I, I like to start out with the, the hell shaker to begin with. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know you know what I think of, right? When the thing popped right off? Yes! That's such a funny one. Uh, Glenn, I'm going to need to request an ice cube from you. In the top of my refrigerator uh, freezer apparatus is a bunch of big ice cubes. I need one of those. Oh, uh, the big red one? Yes! Gotcha. Actually, you want it? Well, why not? We're going to get two of them, actually. All right. I'm going to task you with breaking the ice into the shaker as I collect some of the ingredients and stuff. Oh, oh god. You want me to break them? Oh, I want to see how this works. Oh god. I am very, very I've curious. Seen you. Okay, so what, just pop, pop them? So, so first thing you'll do is you'll take one ice cube and you will hold it within your hands and you will... Thwack it. Just kind of keep on doing this. Well, gonna, get it, gonna get it all in there. I'm gonna make assuming, a little bit of a mess. I'm assuming you, I'm going to hit it a lot harder than that. Naturally, I'm just doing it lightly, be, merely for demonstration purposes. Oh, I, I will say, I actually really love these huge ice cubes. They're awesome, right? I know. I got the molds from Amazon. Oh, I, I might actually need to I, think. I hid this to you. In the meantime, I'm going to co concoct some lime juice, so allow me to go over here. Yeah. Where do you want to do this? Would it be beneficial? Here, you come to this side. Okay, come we'll, to this we'll side. trade. Come we'll trade. Side. I will grab I will grab a, a, a freezer. A freezer. Freezer uses mocktails with an old search engine. It's true. With Lycos lore. Google. 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 Old search. Bing. Wait, which search engine? Yahoo? Ask Jeeves. What the? Yahoo! No. There are many, sir. I don't know if I know that search engine potentially. Oh, I need a knife. Sure. Yeet. Oh, you're good. You just keep on doing your thing. Ooh. Oh my god, go for it. <laughs> oh my god. That's really fun, actually. Oh my god. I feel like a child. Ha <laughs> yeah, You got it. You got it. You got it. They are not it. going in the it's just, It's okay. We're just making drinks for each other. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> So, while you're cracking that away, this recipe on its own calls for a half an ounce or about 15 milliliters of lime juice. I'm making enough for two of us, so I'm gonna Ow. squeeze a whole ounce of the lime. <laughs> oh, I hurt myself oh my more goodness. than I hurt the ice. <laughs> also, this shit flies ever. I can say that word, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's fine. You can curse. So, dude, this thing flies everywhere. Oh, my God. I hate oh. this. I hate this. I hate this. 
I hate this squeezer so much. <laughs> Lycos. Lycos, that's one way to break the ice. Nice. Ha, 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 ha. That was, yeah, you, you broke it. You straight up shattered that ice, Rye. Absolutely shattered. Glenn, what is your impression of rice right now? rice Riceroni. rice -aroni? You know, the one who just broke the ice, straight up shattered it, so it plunged right in, did that whole polar plunge. Yeah. And now the polar bears cannot get from island to island. That ice is not just broken, shattered. Shattered. Downright even, you know, you know the process when like Pangea split into multiple continents? Sure. Like whatever you call that, that's, that's yeah. also what happened. Also, those polar bears are probably gonna die. <laughs> I mean, if they can't find ice, I mean, if they can't find a land mass. How dare you? I cannot believe you would do this! Dude, you are a... I... It yeah. is all in good fun. I guess I never realized fun. how messy your bar gets. Uh, yeah. I feel almost bad. No, that's okay. That's oh. why. Well, dude, if you make a mess, there's a towel on your right hand side. Well, there's ice everywhere. If it's not clear already, this stream is mostly just going to be a deviation from the usual class that we keep ourselves. I mean, I guess we're pretty classy. It's just going to be a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a cluster like this, oh, you know? No. Oh my god, this <laughs> ice on the floor. I hope I don't slip on this. Oops. That sounds like a health hazard. No. Oh, you only need to crack one. Oh. Drop it in there. I'm sorry. You only needed to crack one. Oh. Well, Essentially, I had too much one. one of the techniques when you make a drink, supposedly, I read it on the internet somewhere, I could be wrong, okay. is to essentially take one of your cubes and use it whole. Now, this particular shaker isn't really the right size for this. It doesn't have enough room in it to really finagle with the big ice cube. So mm -hmm. cracking it a little bit probably did a bit of help there. I, okay, cool. I, yeah. I actually. Yeah. Oh, not gonna lie, I thought, there was, I thought there was a piece of ice in the water cup. Unfortunately, there is not. I'm gonna clean this up over here. Jesus. I'm always making a mess in my bar. Don't make me use this! Oh, God. I don't think I need the knife anymore. Oh, yes, I do. There's a hob There's habaneros over here. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna need the knife for the habaneros. Also, uh, you done with that? Uh, uh, you done with those limes, boy? Yeah, I'm good. You want you want yeah. you want those limes? I'll take them. Easy, easy. So we're gonna need a full. Uh, I'm making for two here, but I will give the single proportions: half an ounce or about 15 milliliters of lime juice to your container. Remember, this is there's no alcohol here tonight. There are alcoholic ways to do this, and I believe this one uses tequila. It's a nice pair for the all the spicy stuff that's going on in there. We also need three habanero rings. Oh, and I needed to muddle them. Oh. Hmm. 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 Alrighty. We're gonna take this other shaker out. I needed to muddle the habanero rings. I should have done that first. Alright. Take some I'll take some habaneros. Some of these habany habany babities. How's that tasting? How's that lime taste? Good. Delicious. Glenn eats lemons and limes whole this guy. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna take about I'm just gonna cut up a single habanero pepper. And I'm gonna throw it in the glass. I'm not going to worry too much. Oh, I actually need three rings of this, so I'm actually going to take two habanero peppers, and I'll cut out three rings from each of them, and we'll put them into our sh I'll put them into the other side of our shaker that hasn't been tainted yet. Did my phone just buzz? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be doing that. Get out of here. I got two rings in there. I mean, I'm doubling the liquid components. I don't know if I need to double the spice solid components, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh -huh. If we're going to do this, we're going to do this... I guess the most dangerous way possible. All right, habanero rings into one side of your shaker. Then we take the lime juice that I just poured into one and I'm gonna put it into this one because they all need to be muddled together. It's about an ounce, it'll be fine. Mm. It'll be fine, it'll be okay. Mm, that was a good line. Glenn, yes. can you hand to me the wooden stick that is currently, there you go. This is technic, according to Whole Foods, this is a garlic musher. It's a muddler to me. So essentially, I'm just gonna get it, get it all nice to know each other. Get them all nice and familiar with each other. Breaking the ice. Breaking the way. ice. Breaking the ice, breaking the habaneros, breaking the rings, breaking social standards or something. I don't really know. You know, it's whatever we want to do, really. You can use whatever analogy you want. Whatever floats your boat. Floats your it's mode. True. You know what I just noticed? What up, dog? Where's my bucket? Uh, oh, oh shit, we don't the have bucket. the bucket. Where's the bucket at? Bucket! I might have forgotten the bucket this stream. That's okay. Can you go get the bucket? I may need assistance to go get the bucket. You know what, Glenn? No. Instead, yes. someone can help me out. Yes. I require... This says three ounces on its own, about 89-ish milliliters, I think. Okay. Usually. 
I guess we're gonna put six ounces of pineapple juice in there. Ooh. And then we shake vigorously. That's pretty much it. This just calls for the habanero rings, the lime juice, the pineapple juice. Oh, and we also need, it says three ounces of pineapple juice, simple syrup, syrup and ice. And oh, wait, wait, wait. So it's combining them all together. Yes. Right? One and a half ounces of pineapple juice plus half an ounce for simple syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. But it says three ounces though. The non-alcoholic instructions that are provided by this book that I have pictures of. Unclear? A little unclear. Oh wait, you need some pineapple juice, dog? But let's see, if we're doubling things, we oh. definitely need pineapple juice. You have pineapple juice by your foot, I think. Yeah, because I normally drink this. Indeed. What else do we have? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness! Damn it, I'm sorry. The lime juice. It's okay. We'll just squeeze more lime. I guess I'm gonna have to give you more limes. I guess. So. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, dog. That's okay. The sh <laughs> dude, the show must go on. Yeah, I know. Probably wasn't gonna be that good anyway. So here, I'll task you with this. Just take, taketh upon you this lime. Slice it in half. In twine. Take the twine, half of lime, and squeeze into this fine piece of. Steel. The cup of rhyme. That a boy. <laughs> okay, just just juice it right in the cup. Juice it real good. Gotcha. <laughs> oh man, I really goofed good. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come here, Mr. Lime. All right. Perfect. Oh, that is not perfect at all. But who cares? Babies, babies. Mm. I mostly want Why are you talking about babies? That's how the song goes. Mm, baby, baby, baby. Babies. That's how it goes. That's absolutely how that song goes. Well, good thing. Bucket. This is a bucket. This is a bucket. Dear God. Hi, soldier. Uh, I'm over here reporting for duty. Rip from Rick, Rick May. R.I.P. R.I.P. I.P. 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 All over the place. Did you juice them limes, dude? I, I, I just got one half, man. I juice them limes. It's okay. Are it's, we, it's we're going to have to remodel day. this. It's okay. It's his first day. It's my first day behind the bar. I gotta remodel it. I'm you new. gotta remodel this thing. Well, it's a good thing I didn't throw the muddler into the bucket of honor. Okay. The honorary bucket, that is. It's an honor for the bucket. He's a natural. I don't need to do anything. You know what? All right. I'm out. <laughs> Peace, guys. All right. Well, welcome to the Lycos with an X stream. <laughs> I'm Lycos with an X. <laughs> so good. I'm going to take a front row seat. All right. So this stuff is, I'm assuming that's all muddled. Where's the alcohol? There is no alcohol. This is a mocktail stream. So sucks. <laughs> Read the title. <laughs> the title? Where's the... It does say mocktails. You're right. That that was that was on me. Shame on you. Excuse me. Go into the bucket of shame. You know what you did. This is another bucket of shame. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's loud in there. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, uh, here's your, Gee whiz! Here's your muddled uh, habanero and lime. My god! What has happened to this bar so far? See, the thing is, I have this little piece of. Rubber, <laughs> but the problem is it's in front, and we're all back here, so it is complete. It is com not working at all. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, uh, we're uh, it's muddler. Fine. I don't know where to put muddler. Hey, oh muddler, where did I put the what? Oh, there's the. I was trying to find the thing to clean it up with. <laughs> so apparently, it says three ounces of pineapple juice and simple syrup and ice. I I don't. I, there's. I, yeah, I'm gonna take some creative liberties here. Honey. Oh, 177 milliliters in this 177 can. 177 Well, that's a lot of ounces there. Okay. Alexa, how many ounces are in 177 milliliters? Five point nine nine. Alexa, ounces. volume five. No one can hear you. Oh, uh, thank you, Alexa. Let me do a little bit of a cleanup and, over here. Yeah, there we go. Allow me to do some cleanup with the different pieces of the bar that still remain. Do you want? Do you want some more lime? Do you oh, want these I, limes? I will actually. The limes are yeah, really nice. Yeah, take those limes. Feel free to put them wherever you feel most comfortable. Um. Do I need the? Uh, do you put anything on this little coaster over here? No, not really. Not right now, at least. Sorry. Hey, go for it. Use the space as you deem necessary. Awesome. 
I'm gonna move the microphone out here actually. I feel like it's just kind of in the way. Mm -hmm. If this sounds awkward, weird, or downright disgusting, please let us know. I can't tell. I have no ears with which to hear the stream. I mean, technically I do. Nah, mm. that's fine. Mm -mm. Riceroni shared their watch streak. Three, oh. It said privately with you and mods. Oh. Shh. I didn't say anything. I think you should. I've never seen that up before. Wow, this is totally new. I, I, well. Thank you. Your contributions have not gone unnoticed. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's over here. We need the pineapple juice. Yes. And we also need the stuffies. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab some simple syrup from the fridge. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm on the fridge side of things now. And we're gonna, have, we're gonna eyeball things. We're gonna do whatever we can. I got a whole bottle of Campari. Just kidding. It's it's syrup. This is simple syrup. I made it. It's simple. Hmm. <laughs> it's a new feature. It's a new feature. Whoa. Twitch didn't notify me about this new feature. They're not taking care of their creators. My God. Somebody riot against Amazon. I'm not gonna riot against Amazon. I have a package due tomorrow. If I ride against Amazon today, they're not going to deliver it. This is what I think. If it's in three ounces in the original recipe without doubling things, technically, you know, actually, technically, the non-alcoholic modification section doesn't specifically say to put half an ounce of lime juice in there. I just doubled it on my own. We're going to try it, right? If one and a half ounces plus a half an ounce is two ounces and we're going to double that to four ounces mm -hmm. there's actually so three quarters of it is pineapple juice so three quarters times scaled up to three ounces would be like math is hard i'm gonna do two ounces of pineapple juice and gotcha. an ounce of simple syrup okay grab the pineapple juice fill the large half okay with pineapple juice oh don't forget the shake no shake it See so a real mixologist. I'm trying to find something oh, really? shape that won't make a mess. <laughs> Observe. Allow me to pretentiously show you how to oh, how it's done, kid. Show me, father. Uh, how do? Uh, you hear that, kiddos? That's the sound of friendship. Show me the power. Show me the power of the shake. The power of the shake compels. Very nice. Give that crack. <laughs> Give that sucker a crack. That almost ended weirdly. <laughs> Give that crack a what, boss? Give that crack a smack. No, wait a minute. <laughs> the x rated stream was like three weeks ago. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't forget. Why are you opening it with a knife? I don't have nails. You heathen. I don't have nails. I just cut them. <laughs> Jeez. Anyhow. These rookies, my goodness. Oh, no. Rice Aroni says, Oh, you keep doing your thing. Rice Aroni says, Bromelain, the main chemical in pineapple, and with prolonged exposure can deteriorate your fingerprints. That is true. Well, the next time I go rob the local. I was about to say CBS, but that's not a that's not a bank. You know what? It's the CBS. I'm going to rob the local medical uh, store. Okay, what are you, a player in a zombie survival game? Also, oh, is that enough pineapple juice? So, you actually, this is a good, this is a good, uh, this is a good example to show you that you done screwed up, but also for educational purposes. Oh boy. So what Glenn did, is he, build it up to the, oh no. Oh, oh no, you can't really see it. I need to tighten it. that, this angle is a little wonky. No, that's okay. In this particular jigger that I have, you fill it up to the first line which is only an ounce and a half. Oh. There's more liquid at the little top here, apparently a whole half ounce worth, half ounces worth, at least according to Barfly Mixology. So fill it all the way. Yes, sir. All the way to the top. All <laughs> Get the over way there. Now, all the way now. All the way. All the way. All the way. I don't I feel like I'm it's thinking fly of away. Fly away? I was thinking of no, fly no, no, away. More, more. More? Let's fill it up to the top. What the, the hell? Tippy, tippy top, huh? I think that's a theater reference. I think it was. That's okay. Plus, you're pouring it on the beautiful piece of rubber. The now thing go we ahead. remembered about. Now go ahead. I'm going to clear the way so people can actually see what's going on here. Oh. Go ahead. Pour it in the... I fucking hate this container. <laughs> I'm trying... I don't need it. Oh, we need ice. Damn it. I should have served that. God damn. <laughs> Everything is a mess. If you have to ask, it's not enough. It's not enough. You have to ask. Add enough pineapple juice. Keep going. Starts pouring Whoa. over the bar. More. <laughs> Just starts chopping down. My feet are getting soaky. More. More. Just 
<laughs> just like grows a pineapple tree, just starts cutting, like juicing them fresh from the tree. More. He goes to the store, gets a whole pot. <laughs> more. This more. 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 Is this pineapple tree. Is this enough? More. more. I'm imagining a whole montage of like you're just going more, but you're at a pot, entire like pineapple processing plant. Is this enough? More. <laughs> There's and never a, enough pineapples. Like that will be you're like in basically a later. swimming pool's worth, of, like a like a like a health quest size swimming pool filled with Where pineapple juice. Where are all the juice? children? We've genetically modified them so that humans can only produce more pineapples. Shoop. Is this enough? More. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then the other half of the measuring majigger is for a single ounce. And I'm gonna fill it up with simple syrup, which I'm having a hard time. You okay. just closed it. I the did, somehow I made it worse. You, it's incredible. You did that to just shake, like, show me up and shake it. Shake what your mama gave you. My mom gave me syrup over the weekend. I, I mean, I guess she, like- Didn't you make it? I did, I did, I did. Are did. you your own mama? Is this like a Futurama situation where you're your own grandfather? <laughs> hmm. hmm. Let's not look into this. <laughs> Nothing better than pineapple flavored ru rubber. Do you write? Nothing better. <laughs> well, you know, they say that there are some wines out there that have an O2, how do I say, burning rubber to them? I don't know if that's the type of rubber. Awesome. Or I guess some people would say some wines smell like condoms too. I mean, there's many ways to rubber. Uh, also, boy, we need more ice. You just dumped our ice. Boy! <laughs> boy! Oh, the crackage this time. I was the one who got screwed up. All right. Boy, right, get over here and bend over. I'm gonna take the loser's way out, and instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one big cube, and the big cube, uh, drop it in the big one. Big one. And then two tiny cubes. You cheating son of a gun. Yay. There you go. A cube! Wait. A cube! Just two fools and a bar spoon, that's all it is. Yeah. If you There's use a lighter to hear the opening of the, oh no, we can read together. If you, if you use, use a lighter to heat up the opening of the soup syrup bottle, you can melt the crystallized sugar that hinders the opening and closing of the cap. That was beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. So does this whole like talking in, in tandem thing work for you? Cause like, if so, like we could just make a cult. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> All your bar belong to me. Repeat after me. All your bar belong to me. Three more times. All your bar belong to me. To me, to me. To me. Oh, come oh. on, dude. We gotta work on that. Oh, I thought we were gonna say the whole thing more. Like, the whole thing more? Yeah, like... Uh, the, like Sir, have you been drinking? No. <laughs> That's the whole point. Now that we have combined, at least according to my creative interpretation of Witch's Brew non-alcoholic version of Flames of the Sun, we've added six habanero rings that would have been awesome to the stereo. shaker. Right? Oh, man. No stereo here. Can I get more my microphones? We added that. We added a whole ounce, or, or I'm sorry, I will share only in terms of the single ratios. I doubled it here. A half an ounce or 15 milliliters of lime juice. One and a half ounces, or about 44 milliliters of pineapple juice, and half an ounce or 15 milliliters of simple syrup. If you were going for the alcoholic version, you'd add some chili liqueur in there as well as some tequila as well, but we're not doing alcohol. Essentially, the non-alcoholic version just removes all of the alcohol. So there's nothing replacing the agave component from the tequila, and there's nothing replacing like the smoky ancho chili component. No way, the non-alcoholic version removes the alcohol? Yeah, but like I was under the impression that like the non-alcoholic version would try to get as close to the alcoholic version as well, because one of the beautiful things about alcohol is alcohol does wonderful things. It rips the shit out of other stuff and then allows you to taste it and then also burn your mouth. With the anchos at least. And then your throat, yeah. and then your liver, and then you die, sometimes. Yeah. In any case, that's what we did. We stuck the we stuck the, the pineapple juice, the lime juice, and the habaneros, and the simple syrup in here, so. Now, we're just gonna combine liquid with solid, put it on there, shake how Papa taught you. Maybe I should use the muddler instead. So one of the things that you might notice is that thing's kind of stuck together now. You're screaming. Are you eating a lime? Yeah. Are you currently eating a lime? 
Oh, I didn't realize your mouth was full. I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Now the professional bartending technique to, uh, to separate these two glasses from each other is to do this. No, just kidding. That's not working. I mean, it's kind of working. That's okay. I do this instead. I just kind of, you kind of wedge your finger in there. You know? <laughs> Context. 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 Right, so Rony says, it's like you're giving a tall basketball oh, oh, player yeah. a hand job. <laughs> Lucky for me, Glenn doesn't play basketball. Yep. <laughs> did you say basketball? Oh, it is a basketball. Yes. I, fr I read basketball, but I internalized tennis for some reason. <laughs> Why tennis? I don't know. <laughs> you know the stereotype is tall people oh are good at basketball. God. Now, according to Witch's Brew, we need to put this in an old-fashioned glass. Now, the old-fashioned glasses, if you turn to your right-hand side, are literally any of the glasses that sit there. Cool. Yeah. You can get that one, or you can get two matching ones for me and you, or you can do whatever you want to and not be influenced by the matching. words that I'm currently, I'm the devil on your shoulder. Do it. Where is Break it? the glasses. Break all of them. Break all the glasses. Well, Break I broke. all of them. Break the glasses, you stupid idiot. Yeah. Hey, look, matching glasses. That's yeah. so cool. Where did those come from? Also, last time the uh, glass broke here, people were sad. Oh my god. <laughs> I was. Oh, that was when you broke the. Actually, Anna broke the. It was Anna, it wasn't me. I just walked true. downstairs and. I'm gonna take this and put it to the side because I'll probably be cleaning that off later to reuse our shakers and stuff. I, I'm I'm okay. You were just... hoping I broke the I'm just, juicer. I'm just. I, I'm, I'm gonna put this to the side too. You may. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't want that other shaker. It's beautiful. I like it, but no, not this time. You hit it with the palm of your hand. Oh. Huh. You can do that. Or the side of my muddler. Oh. All right, so I was just getting things prepared over here. Would you like to take this as a snack? Your pineapple juice? Glenn's like my my eternal, like, like dumpster. That is, yeah, he's just going for it. Look, look at that. Wow. Thank you. Bucket. <laughs> Chuck it in the bucket bucket. So now all we need to do is we need to prepare, we need to prepare, we need to put it in a thingy. Wait, now, according to this, I double strain into a glass with ice. So we need some ice. We need some ice for the container. Well, then go get some ice. Go get some ice. I'm going to specifically use the spherical ones because uh, they don't get used very often. Ooh, spherical ice. Spherical ice. ice. I just kind of break it up. I do fun, some fancy, fancy things. And then I take all the remaining ice and I just put them into the, I put them into the water container because like. Uh, it's just ice. It's just ice. It's just water, dude. Dude, it's ice is just water. No, nah, man. It's straight up alcohol water. I froze the alcohol to make it wetter. Or I guess more solid. Oh, these are cool. Right? Dude, you have like so many fun. Yo, like... bring over the camera angle. Let's adjust it. Look at these, yeah. look at my look at my balls. Um look at my balls. Context. Are my balls beautiful? Yes, they're so beautiful. Oh, they're so smooth. So now if you click control and numpad five, we'll switch angles. That's teamwork, baby. Teamwork. And just like, Makes the there we go. I'm sorry. This it's, got it, it's trust me. It's totally stable. I made it myself. <laughs> Pineapple juice, a lime, simple syrup. Is this called, called diabetes? It's called delicious. It's called. Wait, is the thing still there? Flames of the sun. Somebody who is unfamiliar with diabetes probably may name it that. Or perhaps not. I don't know. I might because be. Maybe, the other, maybe they're here. specialists in maybe diabetes. They, maybe they have diabetes. You know what I had to do this week? I had to integrate a glucometer, which means I had to extract blood from my body in a safe way, I assure you. Uh, excuse me. It. it measures my glucose level. Yo, my glucose, game. glucose? Lycos has a glucose problem? Oh you God. now have diabetes. Oh. Diabetes nuts? Diabetes nuts? That's, uh, a, that's not funny, man. People not... die from diabetes. Yeah. That's why it's called diabetes. Probably. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> So in any case, what we need to do next is we need to we need to decorate this thing naturally. Okay. So what this calls for is to double strain. Double strain essentially means this. Okay. One strainer goes up on top, and, and then, then we use one of our other strainers, which you can grab from over there. Oh, uh, this one. Yeah. And we you put that strain. over top of the glass. And we're gonna try to do it more or less evenly. And we also need to garnish with some habanero pepper things. Oh boy. So we will go back to the knife and the cutting board in just a moment. Okay. But first, bring back the angle. Bring back the angle! Bring back the angle! The angle! I'm gonna do a couple of little things so we can, everybody can watch the beauty. It's the Christmas angle. Now, now. Eesh. It's still not, I will admit, it is not completely stable, uh, so this is kind of just kind of what we have here. Beautiful. I'm doing this twice, by the way. Alrighty then. One gets double strained into this glass. One drink for you. One drink for me. <laughs> this is mostly to just, like, avoid potentially, like, getting the other habanero seeds Came and stuff on the X. Now, flare bartenders would pour into both glasses at, at the, the same, same time. time. 
Can I do that with my strainer here? I don't know. You know, it is actually interesting. As you can probably already see, y'all, uh, from the angle over here, this, this strainer is kind of kind of putting out two streams at once, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can only do one stream at a time, because that's what Twitch, that's what that's what the affiliate agreement says. Only one at a time, sir. Don't don't go to multiple places. Now, the next thing that we're going to need, I'm just going to put it to the side for the moment, is uh, some habanero wedges. So, cutting board. Cutting and board. I have the canife. Oh. I have the canife. Cutting kinife. board. All we need is the, oh, there's a sticker on that. That is sticky, sticky, uh, sticky. Oh. Get out of here. Habanero. Oh, that was the last one. Habanero. Oh, crap. oh. Looks like I'm not gonna eat one this stream. I mean, there are pieces of it. I only need one. A two -hoo? two -hoo 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 rings. And I'm gonna try to get all the seeds and stuff out because I'm not I'm not about that. Not about that life. Uh, Yeet. Not about life. I got you. Yeet. Get out of here. Get get get. I will say get, I am excited for this drink because it has a lot of things I like in there. Mm, can you list those things off for the crowd? I got. I mean, it's got pineapple juice. There's a ring. That's that's check right there. It's got some limes, which. When I was younger, I was not in the limes, but now I am. Dude, I used to hate tomatoes. I still kind of do. I used to really hate pickles, though. I don't really? I hate really pickles yeah. anymore. I like pickles now. I like pickles. I, I like, like, your kosher dill pickles. Mm, like, the little pickles sweet ones. Oh, I hate those. You don't like the tiny little, the ones with the crunch? Vlasic? They use a piece of espresso machine that, that does a split stream. Oh, yeah, they, they, the espresso machine has that. Here, here, Glenn. You want this? You, you want this habanero? I'll put it to the side because I don't want to burn my mouth, remember? Here we go. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like, I don't know the best way to like apply just, a habanero ring to the, the side of the glass, so I'm just going to cut a little slip down the center. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, like split that's down what, like a seam, thinking, I guess. Yeah, I, don't I guess. Think that's a, and then we'll just kind of also, uh, put it on uh, the side, hey, you know? Hey, hey, camera with an X. We're still on this camera. Yeah, I know that. I'm oh, showing okay. them I'm showing them the thingy. I was showing, I was cutting in front of the camera. Okay. It's okay. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. You're not from around here. Correct. You, you don't come to the bar with an X very often now, no. do you? Control of... C control... Y you know the no number combo. There we go. We're familiar with this now. Ha-ha! <laughs> Learned! There we go. We'll put these... Love dill pickles. I hate bread and butter Can pickles. Agreed. Can you put the thing over there? I agree. Yes. Oh, thank you so yes, much. Yes, We don't yeah. need this thing for at least for a little bit longer. Oh, the spanking spoon? Okay. Okie dokie. And naturally, as they say with doing your laundry, and with doing your dishes. The easiest way to clean up is to clean a little bit at a time. That's what I'm trying to do here because I always make a mess every single freaking time and I don't clean it up to the end, but Glenn made a huge mess in the very beginning. <laughs> I did. So I gotta clean up after you poo poo mess. It's actually more like a pee pee mess. It's very liquid over here, unless. Uh, oh, you're... someone's had a bad time. You okay, man? Uh, you doing all right? You've been like eating habanero peppers and whole entire limes or something? Like, uh, you have no evidence to prove. Glenn, you're about to eat a drink. <laughs> Glenn, you're about to eat, consume an entire glass. Of what? You heard me. <laughs> Thank you for the drink. Crunch, oh crunch as oh I eat God. the glass. Clean as you go. That is a bartender rule. Number one. What? Number one. Wow, jeez. I just learned number rule number one today. Oof, this doesn't look where, very good for me Where have forward. you been, my sir? I don't know, man. This looks really nice, though. So this mocktail, yeah. it has no alcohol in it. Yeah. It's called Flames of the Sun. Oh, Flames put, of the Sun! We'll put like an asterisk afterwards. I don't know, it just means that it's not alcoholic. And it uses pineapple juice, should, should lime we, juice, habanero, we, simple syrup. Should we quickly praise the sun? Praise the sun? Praise the sun? Can we do that? I think so. Praise the sun! I've never played Dark Souls. Same. Unfortunate. I, I, I've played, um... I played like five minutes worth of uh, Elden Ring. Does that Ooh, count? That, I think that counts. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I, I won't play Sekiro. All right. I don't know. Flame to the sun. Uh oh. No, How's it taste? No, no clinky. It's okay. How's it smell? Oh, we can clinky. It's clinky. How does it smell first? What it smells are we doing? nice. It, smell, it actually smells really nice. It does. <laughs> actually, it smells strongly of the pepper. It does. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, that's spice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It came out of nowhere. Holy oh crap. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. That's spicy. That reminded me of the spicy <laughs> spirit stream. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. I got hiccups. Oh my god. Holy crap. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you need this? No, never. Oh, that's my water. Yeah. I forgot we switched sides. Here, <clears throat> cross. Oh my goodness. But remember, water makes it worse. That's really good, though. Like, I'm surprised how oh, spicy yeah. that is. Apollo has been pleased. Of course. Welcome, Apollo. Yeah, All right. You. 
now that I <clears> whole <throat> now that we've experienced that the first time what it tastes like like it was just like I was like, oh, I'm expecting some kind of like a sweet little thing, but no, it was just BAM habanero. Right. I will say, there was strong pineapple notes. It was very pineapple-y. The sourness that I was getting was not the pineapple though. And it was actually quite, I think it was a little too sour for my taste. Hmm. It was good though. Drink some Kahlua to kill the heat. I don't have any Kahlua left. I ran out of it. I curdled it all. That's really good though. Like, now that I'm actually trying to pick the other notes, like, yeah, it's the, better the second time around. The pineapple and lime actually work really w well together. That's a really nice combo. Yeah, and you know the pineapple, pineapple and lime going on. It's it's very simple. It's very easy to pick things out. But the added simple syrup there actually brings up the sweetness level to a really palatable point. Yeah, it kind of tastes like really sweet pineapple juice. Yeah, and it's not that sour at all. Honestly, now I'm kind of curious about like just desserts in general, just pairing like pineapple and uh, lime. Hmm. Don't pick your notes. It's a disgusting habit. Don't pick your notes. Oh, because I picked out. Notes. <clears throat> Are you doing this thing? <clears throat> <clears throat> Get it? Mm, that's good, though. Get it? Picking my notes because I'm getting tasting notes? Yep. It's a joke. I'm getting hot under the collar here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We have a whole rest of the stream to go. Oh, wow. My goodness gracious. Was this mine? Yeah. Or also, part of mine... I actually tried to go up my nose, so now I have like a spicy zing on my nose. I'm like, oh. You definitely shouldn't let your drinks pick your nose either. That's that's unfortunate, especially when there's habanero peppers in there. Wow. Really good though. What a way to start things off. My heart is racing, I feel hot under the collar, and we are only at drink number one. Yeah, that's a good it's drink. It's incredible. That's it's a beautiful. great drink though. We are also apparently almost 50 minutes in. Really? Is that oh, so? Already? Is that so? Something about me doubts that. Oh my god. I also missed whatever chat that was. Oh my god. Open up that... Open up those sinuses. My sinuses. Mm. Yeah, we have been. Wow, that's incredible. Time flies when you're having fun. Dude, time flies when you're with your friends. That's Heck incredible. Yeah, dude. Wow. Coolio. That was, that's really good. Well, that was mocktail number one. Yeah. So, what are you thinking? Mocktail? Mocktail? How do you like your Lycos lures? Well, my Lycos lore, I like them well done. If they're underdone, then they belong in the trash. Oh. I completely agree with that, Sam. Uh, only the finest oh, Lycos around here. Oh, only the oh, finest, oh, only the oh, finest oh, around here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I can't, I can't reach you. <laughs> you're too, you're too <laughs> tall. You're Hang too on. tall. There we go. Oh. And you know... I don't know why my foot's scraping. Oh my gosh. Oh, do you need to you know, stretch it out a little bit? You need a little, little workout? You know, a little... Just a couple of men shaking out their legs over here? You know? Yeah. Like, I don't know why, but my Ooh. leg is just cramping up. My mouth is cramping oh, up. Oh, that must be why time goes so slow for me. No fr- Aww. Oh. Aww, oh, no friends. Aww. Oh. Aww. Oh. You've got a friend in me. And I think you should tell him to get out. <laughs> get it? Yes. Actually, no, explain the joke. Somebody's inside of me. The only way inside is through one of my orifices, and the, most of my orifices are very visible here, but not my belly button. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. <laughs> so what's next? Oh my god, we have more cocktails yeah. and stuff to do, don't we? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I, I bring back to you the list that we have here. You are the half of the title. Yeah. So. Okay. Where do we go next? We started off with something spicy, specifically Flames of the Sun. It has habanero peppers in it. It's very obvious. Lime juice, pineapple juice, and a bit of simple syrup to round things huh. out. Okay. I'm, I'm still reeling from it. I'm between two right now. Okay. I have a two. Should I just say the names? Because, uh, let's see. I'm between Japanese Thirst Killer. Yum. Or Virgin Miami Vice. Ooh. Because I'm thinking, Virgin Miami Vice, that sounds sweet. And I'm like, sweet, and sweet, sweet following up the spicy? My guess would also be that it is the virgin version of the Miami Vice. A cocktail that I don't know anything about, so I can't provide any context on. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool, so we're in the same boat. Truly. So, uh, which one sounds better? I don't know. Ooh. Well, let me ask you this, Glenn. A very loaded question. What sounds, this is gonna sound weird because of the two cocktails you picked. What sounds better, Glenn? The Japanese or virgins in Miami? <laughs> and I guess the Miami Vice would mean that they're giving into like their temptations and stuff. Well, let's think uh, about it. What do you feel better about? Murdering thirsty Japanese? 
or vice gripping the virgins of Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Choose wisely. Neither of these sound great. <laughs> well, let's go Virgin Miami Vice. Oh, the Virgin Miami Vice. Vice Roni opts for the Japanese virgins. Uh -huh, oh. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know why I'm doing this with my... I mean, I neither, beard. neither of us have beards. I don't really know. I, I can't grow a beard. The Virgin Miami Vice, the VMV. You that know? does look very sweet, though, in the picture. Ooh, all right, I'm going to do a little bit of thing over here. Glenn, I pulled it up on here. Why oh, don't you describe what we're going to do with it? Uh, what are we going to do with the Virgins of Miami? Well, we have to make them. Apparently, virgins are not found. They are made. They are created. So, the recipe, as it is written... Requires one ounce of pineapple juice. Or about 30 milliliters. One ounce of coconut cream. Or about 30 milliliters. A half ounce of half and half. About 15 milliliters. A cup of crushed iced divided. Alexa, what's a cup in milliliters? 237 milliliters. Alexa, volume seven. <laughs> One and a half ounces of strawberry puree. That's about 44 milliliters. One and a half ounces of lime juice. That's also about 44 milliliters. One fourth ounces of simple syrup. That's like seven ish, seven and, and a half then milliliters. A strawberry for garnish. A strawberry. That's. Alexa, about how voluminous is a strawberry? From ethiplanet.org, wild strawberries, Bulgaria, grow like ruby red jewels at the edges of woodlands. Fields and meadows in North America. <laughs> okay. Did that answer my question? <laughs> no. Apparently, the, the, the voluminosity of the, <laughs> of the strawberries comes from their, their origins in the mountains. The, are you sure these are non alcoholic? The, the metric, metric Virgin Miami Vice. Vice. The metric Virgin Miami Vice. And, and I guess com you can combine it with other like modifiers and stuff, yeah. like up against the wall. Then you'd start out having alcohol and stuff to it. Am I sure it's non alcoholic? I don't know, did you see any alcohol on there? I'm not finishing this. This is too much. What? I can't, oh. I can't do it. I can't. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll actually finish ooh, this. This is good. Ooh, ooh, oh, now I got a pair of ice balls. That's two of my balls. <laughs> you got two of my balls in your glass. You got really nice balls, you kid. Don't worry, I got two more. They're in the freezer. <laughs> oh, 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 God. I'm in pain. And All right, let me put some of these dirty, dirty glasses away. What's up with this one, Glenn? Do we have to, what do we, gather the ingredients, place the pineapple juice, coconut cream, half and half and half cup of ice. Into a blender. Into a blender. Oh boy. Where are we gonna get a blender? Right there! There. It's over there. Yeah, lucky for you, I brought Anna's blender. <laughs> let me take this off to the side and get things prepared. There we go. It's more or less prepared. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Let's gather some ingredients, kids. Let's get some ingredients. I kids. found some pineapple juice. That's what it's all about. Fun fact, there are taste buds on your testicles. It's true. They are a very similar biological structure. However, they're not connected to your brain the same way that the ones on your tongue are. I did not know that, actually. That's just, did you not hear about the whole TikTok trends of boys dripping their nuts in soy sauce to see if they can taste the salt content? Dude, I don't pay attention to TikTok. I don't watch this trash. Is probably for the best. Oh, I'm on TikTok. Oh, I, I, I'm not sticking my balls in soy sauce though. <laughs> not yet. But you do it for the views. Follow me on OnlyFans. Does it exist? I don't know. You Find don't, out. I don't know. Does no. it exist? I don't know. Glenn, in order for this this blender to work, I'm gonna have to unplug your phone. However, That's I'm not ready to unplug the phone yet because as we're putting things into the blender, we don't want to plug in the blender. Sorry, guys. I popped the microphone. <laughs> Otherwise, it could hurt. Yeah. Ooh. Blenders are. <coughs> what the hell? Is it okay. something spice? I think a little bit got stuck in my gullet. <coughs> hey, how now we supposedly got pineapple the... juice. Mm hmm. Coconut cream. Where is coconut cream? I got Coca Lopez in the fridge. Coca Lopez. Coca Lopez. Got some half and half in there too. I didn't bring mine this time. I don't. I don't uh, let me see if I have any half and half. I might have actually forgotten the half and half. Ah oh, crap. Coca Lopez. Let me see. Oh, I got some. Uh, I got whipping cream. <laughs> That's gonna be. Oh, we're gonna use it. I got whipping cream. Right, we're just gonna use that anyway. If not, I got whipped cream. Let's hope this shit ain't bad. <laughs> you want to crack that open and give it a whiff first? 
Last time my oh, girl- it's totally unopened. Last time my there girlfriend and I had to do something like that, it was literally like a block. Yeah, I don't have any half and half. I forgot about that, guys. I don't have any I'll have milk to launch in my own site. Only friends. Only friends. Oh, uh, get aw. it? Because there's only the one friend, because Racer only has no- oh. You've got a okay. friend in me. Yeah. And as I've asked you already, please tell him to get out. There's a show going on here. <laughs> How's it smell? Creamy. All right. I think it'll be all right. Let's do it. I think we'll be okay. Chug and whipping cream. We'll Let's go. We'll be able to proceed. So we need, so this apparently uses enough ingredients for one cocktail. So we're going to need enough for two. It's in a yep. pretty tall glass there. So we got to move on with that. Yep. So strawberry cream. puree, lime juice, and simple syrup. Indeed. So I figure it this way. Okay. Pineapple juice. We need two ounces of it. Yeah. Let's add some pineapple juice to this thing. We're also just going to need ice in general. Does it say, it says half a cup of ice. I don't I know what crushed ice divided means. To be fair, I just have a contain. Oh, divided as in like some of it goes into the glass and oh. some of it goes into the blender. Okay. Right? Does it say that? Blend the mixture until smooth. Slowly pour out the lime, the strawberry lime mixture over the back of a bar spoon on top of the pineapple coconut mixture. Oh, this is in two parts. Oh, yo, this is in two parts. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Okay. Oh, sweet! Okay, here. Here's a bunch of uh, tiny little ice cubes. It's going in there. There okay. we go. Ice cubes. Ice cubes. I just threw my cup across the room. I don't need it anymore. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Okie dokie. What about your strawberry puree and the lime juice? We need to gather the ingredients. So that's for the next part of it. We use the coconut cream, the pineapple juice, and the half and half for the first part of the beverage. Oh, I'm right? Cool. I didn't that's even cool. realize that. That's, that's cool. great. We're going to need two tall glasses, though. So, Glenn... Actually, we'll get the glasses afterwards. Take a look at the fine selection of... Here, everybody. Mm. Take a look at the fine selection of various different... Oh, apparently my phone has disconnected from the screen. <laughs> uh -oh. Did my phone shut off? Oh, no. Uh -oh. I think my phone shut off. That's new. That doesn't normally happen. Okay. Well, I gotta turn this thing back on. Performance anxiety. Oh, I know what's going on! What? I never plugged my phone back in. It's not charging. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Because it, it's supposed to... It can use the Wi-Fi, too, so it got a little confusing. Uh, that was unexpected. Okay, well, don't look at the glasses then. Oops, my bad. An ice cube divided cannot melt. I'm sure that's a historical quote. It must be. Right? Yeah. Right? It must be. Anyway, like I'll, tell you, I'll tell you all to look at the things, um, but my phone is currently starting again for the camera, so we're not going to do that. Technical mm -hmm. difficulties, you know? In any case, so what we need first is we've added our ice to the blender. Mm -hmm. For the first part of our... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's a Miami Vice... Because a vice grip you cut in two, the vice is in the middle. So we did cut the versions in two. Oh. Sucks to be them. Yeah. Sucks to be us, right? <laughs> oh. So what else do we need in there? Oh, uh, well, what's our next step? Well, we need one ounce of pineapple juice. We're going to double things up. So I'm going to give you... What am I, what am I measuring? The and yes, I'm still biting myself. Where's the measuring majigger? There right we go. There. Here we go. Glenn? Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean this out for a second. Yeah. Get it all nice and clean, and then we're gonna reuse this because I bet this still has pieces of habanero all over it. Yeah. I'm gonna use my special bartending powers by cleaning this. I need I need to get more I need to get more equipment so that I don't have to keep cleaning things and stuff. Like because mm -hmm. previously the first iteration of the bar with an X, which was just a folding table and me making a single cocktail, didn't ever require me to use more than one shaker or apparatus at a time. Um, there's a lot more cocktails than I originally bartended for. Yeah. Two ounces, sir, of the pineapple juice into the container. Gotcha. And then what I'll do as well is... Does it say specifically crushed ice? It says crushed ice divided. Uh, two have to make ounces. Some ice. So, what, that's the entire thing? Two ounces of this thing? Oh, that's it. It's the whole top of the first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you shake that? It's okay. It's pineapple juice enough. There we go. Pineapple juice. Delicious. Now what else do we need? We need two ounces of coconut cream. This is some Coco Lopez that I picked up. I I don't think I've ever actually... I've had this for a while. Because I was mm. like, eventually I'm going to need coconut cream. I just never made myself a pina colada. So, this is fine. It's not really a pina colada, but mm. it's close enough to a pina colada. This has... Coco Lopez, real cream of coconut. Coco Lopez is the real cream of fresh sun ripened Caribbean coconuts. It made the very first pina colada and still makes the very best. For luscious, creamy, authentic pina colada, follow these simple steps. That's not this episode. That's another episode. Let's just let's crack this thing. Actually, how does this sound when I crack it open? I wonder. Oh, that's pains my fingies. Ah. 
Sounds like not a can. Bad, not bad. All right. A little bit of can asmer here. Sir, it's called Casmo. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. This is downright solid. All right. Let me switch with you for a moment because now that my phone has turned back on, I have to unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to turn off the security feature, but you know, I just had to, uh, you know, we're all about safety around here. All right. Click that button. Always. Absolutely. Click the button. Allow. IV. EV. 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 There we go. <laughs> Cocktail angle. We did it. Woo! Fixed it! I That's feel the power good. of friendship. Na, 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 na. Oh, something's going on on your computer over there. Oh, don't worry about that little pop-up box. It's just it being annoying. What was I doing? Oh, I was showing off the Coca Lopez! Dude, pina coladas are Rice Zeroni's favorite. I've oh. never put rye in my pina colada before. This is so it's so is it solid. solid? Wait, can I, may I? Well, so coconut cream, like if it's at a certain oh, wow. temperature, it's like basically solid. Uh, I, I, I guess the coconut oil has solidified. So what's left over is this. Fascinating. You know what? It's gonna be all right. We're gonna use a spoon. We're gonna have to use a spoon. To the spoon! To the spoons! Where's the spoon? Uh, where the spoon's at? Master, uh, where's the spoon? I got my bar spoons. We're gonna use my bar <laughs> spoons. Don't burp at me, sir. All right, so we need like two ounces of that. I'm gonna try as best as I can to get two ounces out of this. Oh my God. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, pass it's passing the, uh, what is it called at uh, Dairy Queen? <laughs> The freezer, the blender, what are they called? Oh, the, the uh, blizzards? The blizzards! It's passing! Oh my god! It's passing the blizzard test. There was a little bit. Spoon! The tick reference. Yo, Patrick Warburton, I was just thinking of it last night. Alright, I'm just oh. going- Wow, actually, oh, no, we gotta get this angle over for this. Oh my oh, god. Oh, holy crap. Look at me go. Look at me just- Look at me just- Dude, it's like you're digging into like, like an Italian ice. ice. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up a second. Wait. Wait a minute. Is it like a layer? Whoa. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I found the inner layer! Wait, wait, wait. so if wait, I... Wait. Carefully, 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 carefully. Wait. Don't make a mess, oh. Cameron. Oh my god, don't make a mess, Cameron. <laughs> wait, actually, I'm gonna do this like the ice, the, the ice people do. I'm just gonna like... <laughs> the ice people? I'm gonna go... <laughs> the ice people. I'm just gonna... There we go. Wait, oh. wait, okay. Ooh, it's gushy in there. Oh my god, it's like oh my god, it's like we're ice fishing. <laughs> Except it's a coconut cream. Oh, oh my god. Also, why is it kind of pink? Hmm. Is it expired? I think I think it's I think it's um uh, a milky white actually. It's this Come stuff on, doesn't get, expire, get does it? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Not to my knowledge. Well, this is perfectly put this is this is coconut oil actually that's solidified wow. while it was in the refrigerator, so it's good. How's it taste? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's real good. It's solidified. It's the coconut oil. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that is delightful. That's Take really a close look at that. That's beautiful. Take a close. I'll do look. one spoonful in there, and then we'll measure. Then we'll measure out the actual uh, oil that's left that's behind. That's really good, though. The Holy. white layer is the solidified coconut oil. Oh my god. Oh. I want to put this in my mouth. <laughs> that was oh taste. my god. <laughs> Glenn, I love coconuts. I know you do. Oh my god, I love coconuts. Do you have a spare spoon? No. Well, <laughs> yes, but not for being put in your mouth. Here, put that put that in the bucket. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Alright, so this coconut cream really isn't combined together, but I put a bit of the I put a bit of the solidified a coconut chunk. oil up on top. And I'll put the rest of the Kind of liquid that's left behind. It's like we're mining and you found coconut. Yeah, ore. like a couple of chunks are making their way in there, so it's it's all good. You know, two ounces. Delicious. That was so liquidy. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Wow. Maybe it maybe that makes sense because this has been in there for a while now. Yeah. I I love that. I'm gonna save that. Yeah, I don't so think we need any more of that. Can you just put that back in the fridge? Yeah, I will. Cool, I, yo. Dude, later I want to actually like a spoonful of this. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of coconut still left in the bar. Oh. Yep, that was just oil. It completely melted in my mouth. That was absolutely delicious. That was absolutely freaking delicious. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Alright, what else do we need? Half an ounce. So we're gonna double that. So a full ounce of the half and half. I don't have the half and half. So, so whipping cream. Or... Which, actually, I wonder if putting whipping cream in the blender is gonna... You know what? We're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know what? For science! For science! It's not science. It's mixology. Wait! It's chemistry! For chemistry! Whoa! Oh. It's okay. It's okay. We're right over top of the blender this time and not precariously over top of the bar itself. Yeah. Mmm. Creamy. Hmm. All right. So, oh, was that a little? Uh oh. Hmm. No, that's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Here, back in the fridge. I don't need that back anymore. In the fridge, you go. Oh. 
Right. And when you're in the fridge, yeah. can you grab the big bottle of brown liquid like we had before? It's the simple syrup container. Uh, the simple syrup. It's the simple syrup. We're going to need that for syrup. later. Simple syrup for summon you. All right. And quite simply, what we have to do now... <laughs> oh, I wouldn't worry too much about whatever's in the fridge. Um, it's your fridge, dude. We need to blend it. Blend we need to blend it real good. This is only one half of the drink. So I think what we'll do first is... Uh, oh, it's okay. It's not plugged in. It's, it's, not, it's not plugged in yet. Yeah. It's great. All right. It's great. It's beautiful. Put this off to the side. You don't need quite yet. No. However, first we're going to pick out our glasses. Glenn? Yes. Pick a, pick a tall glass. Actually, everybody can see the glasses now. Hold up a second. Yeah, show the glasses. Show the glasses. There are so many glasses to choose from. Look at all these different glasses. This, this beautiful collection of glasses that I have over here. There's so many of them. Thrift Glenn, stores? Oh, very much thrift story. I can't, I can't push it any farther. That's as far as it goes. Yeah. Thrift story one or two. Choose, what about three? Choose your fighter. All right. Since you and I are both tall gentlemen. Beautiful. Would you mind switching the camera angle so we can show them off of them in person? Oh, oh I meant clicking the button. Oh, that's oh. fair too. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. These guys. Too tall. Oh. Too tall. Boys. One is, is a little, um, um, you know, huh. it's a little... Um, it's a little cloudy in there. Yeah. yeah. It's probably okay. I'm just going to wash this out. Some of those glasses haven't moved in a long time, so we're proud of Well, it. it's going to be... Well, today's the day some of them are going to move, but also I see some that are in really funny shapes. It's okay. true. Some simple... Screw simple syrup. Make some complicated syrup. Yeah, Advanced syrup. syrup. Complex syrup, even. Where's the complicated syrups in the world? Not in the bar. No, 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 I got complex syrup. Actually, I do have some really complex syrups over here. Remember the charred oak and maple one that we put in? Oh, yes. Mm, that was nice. That's a good one. That's, that's, um, gosh, I don't remember the people who make that. I'll put these glasses in front because we'll need them in a little bit. And we will also need crushed ice. Glenn, yes. I get to share with you my favorite way of crushing ice. Oh, it and was I not the spoon? Personally, I think we should do that first before we get the blender involved. So okay. I'm going to very quickly, not very quickly, I'm going to take the blender. I'm gonna put it back over here. Goodbye, Blender. Glenn! Yes. You can use an apparatus called a Lewis bag to. Oh, that is a dirty, 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 dirty. <laughs> oh, I got cream on the floor. It's fine. You can use something called a Lewis bag. Essentially, it's a bag. You put the ice is in it, it, you whack it with a mallet, and you know, it oh, creates crust ice. I thought you were just gonna. I don't have a Lewis bag. Instead, I have cheesecloth. So oh, I know cheesecloth. I played with it back in high school. With you. So, easy. This is how, this is my favorite method of, 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 um, of crushing ice. Lay out your cheesecloth like yeah. this, naturally. Next what you're going to do Good drink. is you're going to grab some ice cubes or ice spheres or really whatever you want. I have, I'm going to grab a couple of different types. I've got, actually, Glenn, would you mind bringing the camera angle over? Oh, show all these folks, the lovely folks, about the different ices that we have prepared. Oh, shit. Sure. One is going to be one of the big cubes, right? I got a big got a big cube on there. I hope the contrast is well. This is a big cube. See, it's an actual cube. It's a cube. It's a cube, my guy. It's a cube. And that's that's this it's is empty square. now, so I don't, I don't need that anymore. I love that you just throw that all over the floor. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get festive with it, right? Right. Oh. So what we're gonna do is I have a couple of candy cane. Candy cane ice, cubes. Ice, ice candy canes. So we're gonna put we're gonna put a couple of there in, in there as well. I don't know, four or so. We need quite a bit of crushed ice for this, so we're just gonna have fun with it. Yeah, the holiday spirit. Spirits are. Them. Why not? Let's do all of them. The holiday spirits are behind us. The holiday spirits are behind us. Go. Down with hope. Down with the holidays. All oh, hail. Oh God, mocktail. <laughs> uh oh. Shit. In addition to that. Oh, that. We have the entire cute. United States of America, with notable states like Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, oh, no. Idaho, Montana, so Washington, and um, uh, the other one missing. Oh man. Uh, Oregon. Oregon doesn't exist. But I have every other state remaining. Cool. Glenn. Pick a state sacrifice. Uh, I'm gonna go Florida. Florida? See all right, you, all right, all right. Bye bye, Disney. Yeah, there we go. That is interesting. That's a kind, tiny one. Yeah. Which else would you want? I see Kentucky. Well, Kentucky has been announced. I see Kentucky. I see, I see. Uh, Hailing from Kentucky, your sacrifice oh. is worthwhile, Rye. Thank Glenn, you, Rye. Do you want to pick another one? Sure. Oh, let's go, Texas. Texas. That's a big one, dude. Yeah. Wow, geez, you're really, you're really taking advantage of this. Unfortunately, <laughs> this set did not come with Hawaii or Alaska. Yeah. I'm gonna pick the entire re rest of the West Coast. <laughs> Because it's already missing. Suck it, West Coast. Bye-bye, California. And you know what? Let's take Vegas and put that in there, too. Why the hell not? Who cares? I want to be a part of this cocktail. <laughs> part of the cocktail. You we all contribute. Yep. Now, the next step. 
we get to beat the shit out of it. Hold, hold on. Hold your horses there, pal. Okay. Hold it up. Hang on. Uh, I don't know where my horses are, but I'll, I'll try and hold them when I can. We wrap it up. Wrap up your ice. Make sure that it's all nice and comfy in there. That's the next part of the process. We need to get this bad, and we need to crush it. It doesn't need to sound like this. It needs to sound more like a... Like a... You know? Like, have you been to the places that they have, like, they sell snow? They sell snow. Yeah. Like, like... Uh, 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 Vampire uh, Penguin, that's the first one I think of. That's a place? Yeah, it's a place in uh, South Carolina. And they right? sell snow. Yeah. Interesting. They, you know what I'm talking about when I sell snow, when I'm talking about snow, right? Where it's like that really fine powder and they have like flavor stuff in it. That's a drug. Cool. No? It's, Is it a drug? No. Are they selling drugs? It's just like really finely shaved There's ice. There's no I drugs think. today. There's no, no alcohol. It's just mocking the tails. That's all it is. Snow cones. Snow cones. Yeah, see? Cocaine cones. I don't know what we're talking about. Anyways, so naturally, if you're going to crush your ice. I need a hammer. I'm going to need a hammer. Well, that's one way to do it. Oh. Actually, you know what I'll do? <laughs> I like how you have safety goggles. I only have one pair of safety goggles. Well, but alas! I have more goggles downstairs. I was just about to say, are you going to do this like high, like a school gym class? where? Take care of the show for a moment. I'm going to get the other goggles. I mean, you could just run it like school and just like, oh, you have glasses. Oh, you don't. Have safety first. You don't. Oh, my God. Must be These. Oh, jeez. These are cloudy. All right, kids. You want to make some mocktails? Well, I'll tell you what. First thing we talk about is safety. Then, <laughs> uh, I don't know what comes after safety. Oh, what the f <laughs> You get like the nice goggles and Keep I- Keep that rascal wrapped, pal. Always use protection. I think this is a part of Anna's lab goggles and stuff. This is what I use to chop onions. You didn't earlier. I watched you chop onions. You know next, Glenn? Oh, don't worry. Don't flinch. It's okay. <laughs> you can either pick the monkey wrench, or do you consent to me going a little deeper? Yes, go deeper. Oh, we can use something even bigger! Oh, jeez, this is actually like crawling on my legs. Now! Oh! <laughs> See? Would you like the little guy or the big guy? <laughs> I like the 15 inch rose. It's called, it's called Rose. It's true, it's, it's named Rose. <laughs> this is my monkey wrench. <laughs> wait, this wait, is another wrench. I you, found this one on the wait, ground. Wait, with an X, did you do all the markings on this? <laughs> See, it looks like my handwriting, but I'm pretty sure it was my brother. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. What you know, that? I was hoping you had something like this. Perversion first, safety second. I mean, to be fair, I did put on my goggles first before going down there. Yeah. Anyhow, so, shall we start taking wax at it, like a pinata? I think we should take turns. Glenn? All right. Now, now recall, we don't want the ice going everywhere, so we have to make sure we maintain the a bat. seal here. I am not going to seal while you whack. That's just not <laughs> no. safe. I will allow you to seal cold at the top. And then get a couple of good whacks out of oh, it. Please God. don't hit the glass. If you hit the bar, whatever. Don't hit the microphone. If you hit yourself, that's unfortunate. If you hit me, that's... that's... ouch. I would be amazed. Oh, the pineapple! Oh, and the glass! Hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna take the glass off the bar for a moment. Oh, my wait, allow me to move the pineapple, too. Yeah, that, like that, well... Oh, excuse me, madam. Thou shalt continue, and if anything smite. moves, smite them, spin them. One, two, three, smite. One, nice. two, three, smite. Nice. Two. Don't hurt yourself. One, two, three, smite. Do I get a couple turns? Of course. I was going to go three and three, dude. Naturally, naturally, naturally. Ooh, naturally. that. Well, no, that's still pretty intact there. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, go for it. Oh, okay, okay. Go for it. It's your turn. I, I got three whacks. I would say, all things considered, that I think this has been a little bit of a stressful week so far, so this is my opportunity to take out some rage. Off, off a little that's, bit an speed, adjust, you know? that's an adjustable crescent wine wrench. Indeed, and this is my monkey wrench. Aww. I believe it's also a crescent wrench. Ooh. Okay. Your fingers. This one whack is for all the stress that I may have incurred this week. That's a lot more than one. A job has to be done! Did you just say my god has to be done? No, a job has to be done, silly. Oh. Ice needs to be cracked. Man, that was a great feeling. 
That was wonderful. All right. Oh, it's flying out of the bag. Nah, it's chill, dog. All right, this is our crushed ice bag. Are we finished? Are we? We're finished. Oh, There's right. plenty of ice in there. I think we did a very good job nice of this ice, ice bag, sack, bro. It's true. I'm gonna put this monkey wrench back in its spot. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> and you can um. Where I'm do just you gonna put, put that, Rose? Put that on the ground lightly, lightly. Oh my god, lightly, <laughs> lightly, lightly, lightly. Nice. And also, now that the now that the murder weapons are gone, we can remove our safety goggles. Oh yeah. There's just empty space out there. There's, uh, just, there's nothing over it's there. It's the void. That's not where that. There's no audience that sits there. Now I got some crust ice. If I try and stand over there. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh hello there. Hmm, what did you if I try and stand over there, I'm just going to fall. I'll be like, ah! Falling into the void. Oh, yo. Ice beating therapy. I found the, I found <laughs> one of the, the candy canes. Holy crap. Can we find any of the states? <laughs> this one might be Nevada. <laughs> or maybe pieces of Texas. In any case. <laughs> Now we move on to the rest of the cocktail. And the small one is just a crescent, just a crescent wrench. Ice beating therapy. I can get behind that. Dude. It's nice. Honestly, why it's not nice. people do that more on It's nice, awesome. it's nice. Just get now, some ice beating. Just because I don't know how long we're gonna keep on talking and stuff, I'm gonna put the crushed ice in the freezer. Sure. Um, right on top of the rest of the United States that remained. <laughs> okay. Luckily, most of the East Coast made it out this time. Lucky for them. Pennsylvania's still there, so we're still alive. Oh. Why didn't most we... of the West Coast is gone, though. Wait, why didn't we jump in? Hmm. 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 In any case, we have the blender. Yeah, blender! It's time to go for the first part of the next mocktail. So, do, I'm gonna do, unplug, do, do, do. oh, I actually already unplugged you it. You already plugged, unplugged my phone. Now, I need to plug the blender in. <laughs> that was excellent. Would you like to give that one a name, Glenn? What, that burp? Yeah. All right, I need to. Jeffrica. Jeffrica? Jeffrica. Nice, I like that. It's got a, it's got a nice, a nice root to it. Mm-hmm. Jeff, sorry, the the, 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 um, the cord on this is very, very short, so yeah. it's not very advantageous. You need, we need to get you like an extension cable. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move this back here so we're not like completely blending the population at large. Yeah. Why is New England just one ice cube? Yeah, see, I had the same question. So if you actually take the ice cube out, it, you can see the little states like etched on the other side in reverse order. Huh. It's interesting. Cool. It's very interesting. So this is part one of the cocktail. It has some coconut cream in there. There's whipping cream. Whipping cream. Because it's we don't have half and half. half. If I knew that, I would have brought half and half. And we had pineapple juice. Yeah. So all we need to do is we gotta we gotta we gotta blend this shit. We just gotta go. Yeah, it's easy. Just like this. Sound warning. Here we go. Milkshake mode. Sound off. We shouldn't do this over a blender. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Shaking my leg because my foot's cramping up. Shaking my leg back far. Shaking my leg back far. All right. I think that's probably good. Does it say blend? It says blend until smooth. It needs to be smooth. Smooth. Oh, there we go. Get blended. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't need to do this. I just let it go on its own. Yeah. I like the vibration. Vibration is key. I would consider that more or less smooth. Is it making sounds? Mmm, that's good. That sounds smooth. That's very, very good. So apparently we also need... It says... Let's see. Pour the mixture into a highball glass. Rinse out the blender, add a strawberry puree, lime juice, simple syrup. I'm not going to bother cleaning up the blender. That's just that's that's just annoying. So lay back in, garnish the top of the... Back in blend mixture until smooth. Oh, the other half of the oh, so it's basically just a small a slushy. Oh, cool. I don't need to put any ice in the glasses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so the tall glasses might find their way back. Now this one specifically says to go into a highball glass. I don't have a lot of highball glasses. They're not they're they're not these. What glasses. what defines a highball glass? A highball glass is probably best defined by like its general shape and like the amount of liquid that it holds inside of it. If you grab that one other like sphere, uh, not spherical, cylindrical glass. This one? No, not that one. It actually looks like a cylind cylinder. Oh. Yeah, you got it. It kind of it kind of looks like this glass here. You see that that one there? But like it's smaller than this. It's like half the size. Huh. So like these glasses are technically too big for what we're doing here. But, who cares? but the only highball glass that I had mm. shattered in a horrible, horrible accident that involved me dropping it to the floor. <laughs> 
Yeah. On accident. Been there. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in uh, these glasses. Well, here. actually, I've done worse. I shattered one trying to wash it. Oh, oh, that's rough. Yeah, it slipped out of my hand and hit the sink wrong, and just went. Don't shh. forget when you're not using your blender, unplug it. You know. There we go. Don't I wouldn't forget. Want I wouldn't want anybody towel. dying. Don't forget the pretty towel. I got a towel on my floor over here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pour about half this into Glenn's glass or my glass. Oh wow, that's going out a little too oh. fast for me. That's... One side and then the other side. Hmm. I think I got a little bit more. The bottom of my glass is a little more thin. There we go. Mm, not gonna lie, looks good. And then the next part of this, which is going to involve uh, blending a different part of the cocktail entire, the mocktail entirely. Yeah. I gotta put that on. Because it's what? It's strawberry daiquiri, lime juice. Yeah, essentially, it's a little. It's kind of half. It's kind of half pina colada and half strawberry daiquiri. Okay. Essentially, it's kind of cool actually. Except this one's non-alcoholic naturally okay so the next part of this is going to involve blending together strawberry puree oh, lime juice simple syrup and the remaining half cup of ice so i need to grab some more ice i'm gonna grab some of my other uh, we're gonna grab the rest of the united states Woo! i just put it in there get the united states indeed the you best think of it did it say Half a cup of ice into the blender. Blend the mixture until you spread the mixture in a highball glass. Rinse out the blender, add the strawberry puree, lime juice, simple syrup, and remain in the blender until the mixture is smooth. Slowly pour over the back of a bar spoon on top of the pineapple coconut mixture. Garnish and serve. I don't actually think we needed the crushed ice. Oh. Huh. Well, we did it anyway. It was fun. It might come in handy later on. It's Who a knows? tool that we'll use later on. Maybe. It's like a, it's like a point-and-click adventure game. The unusual Whoa. item. Whoa. There's a little bit of ice dust in there. There goes... Arizona. See you, Arizona. Bye, Arizona. I'm going for the rest of the West Coast first. Then we have New Mexico. See ya. Bye bye. We're going to take the East Coast now. There goes the entirety. It's, it's Maine, Vermont, and like New Hampshire. <laughs> then's the rest of New England. Wait, wait, wait. Switch the angle. Oh, oh. Here's the other. Here's the other side of the. Here's the other side of New England. I don't know if we can make that out properly, but you can kind of. You, you might be able to like kind of. Oh kinda yeah! See. Wow, you can. Right? Yeah. The other. The other states and stuff. Cool. Anyways. Uh, same thing again. Yep, back. yep. We have West Virginia and uh, I guess North Carolina. Oh. South Carolina. Bye, Mom. I'm sorry. This is South Carolina. Oh, that oh. was North Carolina. Bye, and Mom. Virginia and West Virginia were together. We have um, Georgia. No, that's not Georgia. Uh, yeah, it's Georgia. Then we have Mississippi. Then we have... Uh, I'm blanking on this one. I don't... I'm bad with geography. It's that's not Nebraska do. either. Tennessee's going in there, as well as the rest of the whiskey. Arkansas, Iowa, Indiana, Iowa goes next. God. And then... <laughs> Why not? Let's, let's do Minnesota. See ya, Minnesota. Bye, Minnesota. Minnesota's going in the, in the blender there. Yep, going in the blender. Alrighty then, next we need to add the other stuff. Strawberry I have, stuff. I don't have strawberry puree. Oh. So instead... If you look to your right, you'll find strawberries. We're just gonna take strawberries and just throw them in there. It doesn't specifically say yeah. it says an ounce and a half of strawberry puree. Oh, these look good. Oh, okay, that one doesn't look great. They haven't been washed yet. <gasps> so we'll pick out the nice ones. We'll give them a little wash as we proceed. Lorelai says, hello. What? 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 How did you get here? Hi, Lorelai. Hi, Lorelai. Uh, so we're gonna take some of the pretty strawberries because we don't want some of the gunky ones And we're just yeah. gonna kind of like you know, find a knife and cut off the top parts You know, we don't want the, the, the green stuff in there. We don't need no. that. We're gonna okay. put the other stuff in there And we're gonna add like whatever an ounce and a half looks like since we're chopping them indeed Oh, and actually to come to think of it. We're doubling the ingredients, right? Yeah, so we actually need more We need like three ounces of strawberry puree. I'm just gonna go for it delicious. How have things been? Things have been pretty good. The first drink we made was Flames of the Sun. It was made with habanero peppers and it, it hurt me. It hurt both of us. It hurt good. both of us. And it was pretty good. Very pineapple-y. Yeah. The second drink so far has been, is been it's half kind of pina colada. Yeah. Ish, kind of. And the other is strawberry, strawberry daiquiri. daiquiri. Like strawberry lime daiquiri. Yeah. Ooh, it's going to be good. And it's going to look red on oh, top yeah. of the other one. It's going to be great. How so dare you skip your greens? Oh my goodness. Lorelai, okay, Lorelai, do you it's really- okay. It's okay, we have limes. We're gonna use the limes also, too. Also, do you really eat the green part? I do. The Give me that. That was a good strawberry. Also, that was not washed. That's okay. Here, let me wash these things out. <laughs> Utilizing the power of the honorary bucket. The bucket? 
Uh, there we go, see? There's improv there. sync. There we go. I like it. It's just technically, do, do it's a wet bar Do you I need, need help? Oh no, this is great. It's a wet bar when I need it to be. Jeez, man. There we go. Oh, uh, we are going to choose- I'm cleaning off the strawberries over here. We are going to choose the finest strawberries. In the finest strawberries. And we're going to remove the most tainted part of the strawberries. The anus, I mean the leaves. Which- Anus leaves? Anus leaves? Anus leaves. Let's make like a tree and- Anus, anus? leaf? I don't like hmm. where this is going. So, so you're gonna you're gonna cut the green parts of the strawberry, right? Why is a Gretzuko here? Why is a Gretzuko here? And I put it on my bar during one of the streams. I honestly forgot it was there until you pointed it out. Cause I pointed it out before we even started. I'm like, oh, cool. Cause I'm like, are we using this as an ingredient? Nah, it's just a, it's just a part of the decor. We get a tardigrade over here. There's a little yeah. turtle. There's a little slug holding a D20. Blair. Blair. So while you cut up Solar some strawberries wear. and some nice stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of how the How many strawberries do you want? Um, we need three ounces worth. I don't know exactly how many that is. We also don't have enough limes, I realize, for three whole ounces of lime juice in this. So instead, I'm just going to juice the rest of the limes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Can I borrow that thingy for a moment? Which thing? The knifey. The, the Kanife. It's true. Kanife. Must cut be Italian. one lime. Must be Italian. One lime. Rip Hotel Internet. Oof. R.I.P. Here you go. You can have this back. Thank you for the Kanifei. You're Kanife. very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you for being, Gwen. Thank you for being on the streets. Thank you. Thank you for having me on You're the so street. welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. I do appreciate being here. It's always a grand time at the end. It's going to squeeze the, the rest oh of the lines God. in I here. just got squirted. I'm sorry. I squirted you, my son. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. Dad, no! Why? Dad! No, I'm, I'm live on Twitch, Dad! I'm playing video games, Dad! No, I want- Jeez! I'm trying to be TikTok famous, Dad! Don't squirt on me! I freaking hate this squeezer! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I hate it! I hate it! Give me the other one! Give me the other one, please. Oh, okay. I, I need one. to be nice. Give me the other one, please. Please. There you go, Dad. Thank you. If you're nice, son, I'll try not to squirt you this time. Oh, please don't so squirt me, Dave! so much more juice remaining. I, uh, using the other one. I just want to be TikTok famous. I so just want to be TikTok famous. I want to be like the good... Uh, I don't know any TikTok stars. Uh, the Kim Kardashians, I don't know. I'm sure the Kardashians are on TikTok. I somewhere. wouldn't be surprised. Somewhere. I just would not be surprised at all. So all I'm doing over here is you're supposed to use about an ounce and a half of also, lime juice. that's just an icky strawberry. Oh, you can throw it in the bucket. That's what I was gonna do. Bad though. strawberries get canned! Well, actually, they don't. Bad strawberries should not be canned. No. And then the other side. Okay. Yeah, what was I saying? It's like a, it's like, um, it's like, um, ounce and a half of lime juice. We're doubling it. I don't have enough. So I'm just going to, I'm just squeezing the whatever juice we can get out of the limes. Yeah. Well, it's probably because I, uh, I spilled uh, the one batch. That's oh. true. You did. We had to use more. Yeah. It's okay. We move on. The, the, rest of, the stream must go on. Oh, I dropped the line to the floor. That's on me, though. You. You. Also, why, why did you throw them in the bucket? It goes in the bucket. Oh, you eat them. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing in the bucket is... Well, I guess it's a dirty bucket. You probably shouldn't eat the stuff that's in the bucket. No, this Not isn't like the other time bucket. when it was a pretty clean bucket. It's a pretty no, dirty bucket. It's, it's a pretty dirty bucket. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah? Man. Oh, I'm sorry about that, sir. Did you have any... Oh, you don't have any other limes left. No, I ate them all. Excuse me. I was very excited for you more. You still have that other piece of the habanero remaining, though. I know. I was gonna say that till the end of the stream because, you know, I don't wanna... Spicy, spicy, spicy. I want to be able to taste drinks. That's true. All right, well, Glenn's been beautifully cutting up strawberries over here. I don't know exactly if we have a whole three ounces yet, but he's still figuring that out. like 11. I need to grab a half an ounce. It's a quarter of an ounce in the recipe. Also, we're, we're doubling up the recipes here. So when, if anything I say sounds out of ratio, I will be posting the recipes in the Discord server afterwards and also putting it in the description of the VOD video that comes out on the YouTube channel. Ooh. All the recipes, should you need to find them, are in a location. If you have questions, concerns, or otherwise comments, we have ears. Questions, concerns, compliments, indeed. Citations. I need. Where'd my measuring majigger go? You threw it in the bucket. Oh, did I throw? Oh, because it was covered in cream. <laughs> That's okay. I'll wash it out and reuse. It's still kind of covered in cream. Hey, cream. Where's your cheese? Get it? <laughs> I was playing Sonic Generations earlier this week. Oh, really? 
were you? Beat the final boss. It was great. Yeah. I got the Crisis City. It reminded me a lot of your current Let's Play series one. Oh, uh, yes, because uh, for those who don't know, I do stuff on YouTube, and currently I've been upload. I've some friends and I have been playing Sonic 06. Absolutely. Glenn, yeah. Glenn is Lycos Lore without the underscore on YouTube, and he plays video games. And every once in a while, he does some food-related stuff, too. I, I haven't done food stuff in a while. I'm, I'm a very sure. big fan of the time Lycos tried a bunch of various types of hot sauces and ate an entire onion. Yeah. That was good the stuff. The onion, um, onion was honestly like one of my favorites because it was something I owed the community because the original footage from when I did... Oh. You had to make up that, for it. That was uh, Thankmas. Thank Miss, not this past year. No. The year before. Uh, not the year before. The year before oh, that. The year before one. that. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's been three years. Damn. But, like, <laughs> yeah, I ate, uh, I ate an entire onion on stream, and uh, unfortunately that footage was lost, <laughs> so I had to do it again. Naturally. You're a man of your word. I am. I have such word. a tickle. <laughs> I have such a tickle in my throat right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I just added half an ounce of simple syrup to the blender. So. Uh, hey, Cameron with an X, I have a problem, I'm out of room. I'd say that that's enough strawberries. Okay. How many strawberries you got there? Uh, it's over 11. Perfect. Uh, 16. Let's put them all in there. All right. Let's put it's all the strawberries in there. Oh, God. And we're making, so it says to call for strawberry puree. You're supposed to use like an ounce and a half of strawberry puree. I don't have strawberry puree, so we're pureeing strawberries. There's a, there's a mode here. And the other tops and stuff? Mm. I will, unless you'd like to consume them. Mm. Some of them are still pretty good. Mm. 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 That's good strawberry right Lock there. It. Can you place this back on the table, please? This is not food safe, safe garbage. No. No. It's not. This is a food safe garbage. Hi. Hey, you got him. Well, I mean, my own family has called me the living garbage disposal, so. Hmm. Hmm. Many moons ago when I was That's short. That's okay. I've called you the garbage, too. I think I actually called you a garbage earlier. You did. Indeed. Indeed. It's Indeed. Great I believe so. Intrigued. Anyhow. Okie dokie. So now we've added the strawberry piece, the lime piece, and the simply syrupy piece, and some more pieces of the United States in the form of ice to the container. Now all we need to do is blend it up again. All right. Are you ready? This one says puree, and there is a puree mode. Where is that? <laughs> I can't read it from here. Oh, it's the one in the middle. Push. Oh, I need to I need to plug in the blender. Yep. Glenn, what did Lorelai just say? Lorelai just said, you have called yourself the the garbage disposal. Yes, I have. My hey, own Glenn, don't blame other people for calling you something that you call yourself, bro. I wasn't blaming, I was just saying. All right. Anyhow. Push the button, Max! It calls for strawberry puree. So we're going to put the strawberries in the blender and click on Puree. Put the strawberries in the blender and mix it all up. It's a song, actually. Ooh. Oh, it's in there. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I love watching the blender do its thing. Hey, dude, this. Not gonna lie, like, this is. The moment I saw this drink on the menu, I'm like, I want to try this. It's layered. It's layered. I just want it. It's layered. Layers and layers and layers of flavor. Dude, that pure, that was that was liquid a lot faster than the other one was. This is gonna be yeah. great. Unplug your blender, cause you're done with safety. It. Safety first. first. That's why when we crushed the iOS ice, now that we realize unnecessarily, that's why we wore goggles. Yeah. But I'm glad we had a chance to bring out the crescent wrench that was adjustable naturally. <laughs> it has a name. It's named Rose. Rose. I gotta put the bottom half of the blender behind me, and what we're going to do now is we're going to finally, we're gonna add the final touches to our drink over here. I'm um, thinking this is going to be very, very sweet. It's almost the final touch. Actually, we you know what we're gonna need? What? We're gonna need... Some strawberries? We need strawberries, because we need to garnish it with the other strawberries. Glenn, I believe you have some more strawberries. I do. Can you hand me a canife? I can hand And you. a cutting board. A... Uh, French canife. A French canife. Let's get the, the uh, proper angle over here. And a board American. I mean, an American board. board. American, American board. American board. It's a American board. American board. So essentially, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of like take the little tip of the strawberry. I'm just gonna cut a little, cut a little thing in it. One for that one, and then uh, one for the other one. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now that we have our strawberries prepared, would you mind placing this back on the table over there? Of course, I could. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna place this. Uh, I'm gonna put a better, better angle. Actually, Sorry, I no, don't. you're good. You're totally good. There's not a lot of space at this bar. Here we go. 
some some drinkies. We're gonna put one strawberry. One strawberry go on there. One. And then we're gonna put another strawberry on the other one. I forgot. I forgot to be taking. I, I'm supposed to be taking pictures of the drinks that we make. We That's didn't take picture. any pictures of the last one. It's okay. It's fine. It'll be all right. This one. It's, it's okay. I also have. Sc I can just go in and get screenshots from this one. That's the beautiful thing about the second angle. Yeah. We can initiate photos, but also I can just go in and take screenshots later. Yeah. It's wonderful. That's why I like the angle. We don't need the strawberries anymore, so we'll take those off to the side. Glenn, oh. I'm going to need. Actually, I'm going to take one of the untarnished. It's just a little dirty right now, but I can just kind of wash it off, or kind of rub it off. This is not the one that I had in my mouth. I promise you that. I'm sorry, but you talked about rubbing it off. I did, I did. Uh, and we're gonna try to layer both of these on top of each other. Okay. The bottom half is white, and it's got a lot of coconut cream in it. It should stay at the bottom. The other half is, it's gonna be red. Well, guess the picks say it didn't. Guess the picks say it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Okie dokie. So all I'm going to try to do now is try and see if I can layer this on top of each other. Hopefully I do an okay job of that. Okay, I believe in you, bro. Oh. There we go. Trying my best this year. Is that how you're supposed to layer it? Yeah. One on top of the other. Interesting. Alrighty then. That worked. I think there's a little more puree than there is, or a little more strawberry than there is puree in there. But yeah. So the idea is to try to get it on the bar spoon so that a more proper layering effect occurs. I'm not doing a very good job of this, but then again, I'm not technically using the right glass either, so I'm just doing what I can. Mm, it does look good though. It does kind of look good. Oh my God. All right, that's a big spurt. All right, let's just do the other one. Let's just go for it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's all coming together now. Oh, it's all coming Oh yeah. It's all coming together now. Yeah, one of those looks a lot more pretty than the other one, but it's fine. Mm. All right. All right. Let's go. Conveniently placed next to the bucket, because the bucket is too small for the blender. Yep. <laughs> Let's turn the pretty sides to the camera. There we go. There's one Miami Virgin Miami Vice, and then the There's other two. Virgin Miami Vice. Look at this. Beautiful oh. angle. And I'm going to try to set up a better angle, too, because I know I have the power to do so. It just requires two... It just requires two... I don't know. There we go. Beautiful. Try that? I don't really know. We tried it. Yeah. Now you know what? I'm not feeling this angle. We're gonna switch backwards. All right. There we go. It's chill. All right. Boop. See you. Bye bye. Virgin Miami Vice. Yep. Virgin. Now hold on a second. How do you think you, you think you're just gonna drink it with your whole mouth? Yeah. Sick. Oh. Ooh, we got straws, dude. Fancy metal straw. Wow. Well, okay. I just realized <laughs> I dropped the straw. This is a very tall cup, and I just realized how small my straw. <laughs> That's how small my straw is. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that. Oh my god. Was my aggressive question answered when my internet went nuts? Well, guess that. Oh, Maybe. oh yeah. It's it's a de decoration it's from Anna. It's just a decorative piece. Why did you just put it there? I, I kind of want to use it in a drink at some point. Maybe I'll do anime cocktails. Well, no. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to try. Uh, not. How am I going to? Straw to cup ratio is <laughs> It's a very small straw compared to the very tall cup. You need, oh taller, you need longer straws. Evidently, I did. This is the first time I've realized this was a problem. Virgin <laughs> Miami Vice. Yeah. Half pina colada, half strawberry limeish daiquiri. Yeah. Oh. That's very sweet. Oh my god, I love that. That is so sweet. It tastes, wow. It tastes just like it. I mean, wow, I mean, that is getting, so good. I'm mainly getting coconut, but I wait, 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 lift up your straw a little bit. You'll get some strawberry. Mm. Oh shit, you're right. Wow, I love that. You don't even need you don't even need uh, alcohol and stuff like this. It's so damn good. Straw. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna give it a mix. I want to mix all these flavors together. Here we go. That is delightful. It is. Dude, I don't. I don't really know how else to describe the tasting notes aside from it tastes like the perfect combination between. Co it's it's coconut, it's pineapple, it's it's strawberry, it's lime. I think most of the flavor. Actually, I have to. Okay, from the pina colada part, it mostly tasted like coconut. I think the co the coco lopez is a very very strong powerful flavor in there. The pineapple yeah. is a little lost on me. I think. Um, in the 
In the daiquiri part of it, the strawberry and lime, there's a sourness from the strawberry, and there's a sweetness, I'm sorry, there's a sourness from the lime, sweetness, sweetness from, from, the from the strawberry. strawberry. Really and we added a bit of simple syrup, so I think the simple syrup is elevating more the strawberry than it is the lime there. But it's not super duper limey sour either, so I think it's really balancing like, out. This is really good. Mm. <laughs> this is what I want to keep. So putting the lime and the coconut and mixing it all up, miss the important pe the importance of the strawberry. I'd say the, par uh, the strawberry is a very, very crucial component of this little, little shindig. Mm. What the? So I keep getting cut my straw. To be fair, there are entire strawberry chunks in there, and we picked very, very small straws. Just suck with all your might. Or like blow a bubble. There we go. You know what? Screw the straw. What an excellent idea. Why bother with the straws when I've got a mouth that's <laughs> seven to eight times wider? <laughs> also. Mmm, mm, the strawberry too. See, the beautiful part about these mocktails is like, I don't need to potentially worry for a piece of my body or the rest of the stream by drinking it all. Like, I can just eat this. I might have to worry for my colon later when nothing comes out solid. <laughs> but for now, that's really nice. I work from home tomorrow, so it'll be okay. Hell yeah. This is beautiful. R.I.P. Rim Strawberry. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I would so. Oh, what? I haven't had. A, I have never had like a, a pina colada based like drinky thing here. I just had a whole chunk of like coconut oil. Yeah. Oh, did that not really? Mm. Some of the it coconut like, oil was solid, and I guess it didn't technically melt because it's really cold in there. No, because um, it had the like. It was very. My brain was right? like. Butter? It feels like butter. Yeah, it did. I did catch a little piece of that too, and it was very, very buttery. I will say that with relative certainty. Also, avoid tummy aches. Well, we'll try to. Oh, we got sure. water. Like, what, how, do, how to best avoid tummy ache when just putting a bunch of fruit in your body? Oh. It's a lot of fruity stuff. I will say that. That is delightful. I, next time mm. I come to the bar, I might ask for this again, because that's really pleasant. These are very good. I'm getting a lot more of the lime now as I'm getting deeper into it. I think, I think the interesting thing is, even on my side, like, there's still a lot of separation between the coconutty stuff on the bottom and the strawberry up on top. And I think it's just because of the natural like separation that's happening with all the coconut cream and stuff in there. Also, I just noticed how many seeds are at the bottom. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Showcase the camera. What do you see? <laughs> There's so many seeds at the bottom of the glass. Oh my goodness gracious. Also, it feels like there's butter in my mouth. Yeah. Oh man, maybe you got a piece of the you got a piece of the cream in there. That was delightful though. I really want to get down to the coconutty part. Oh my goodness. Now, overeating is first instinct. Not overeating is first instinct. Avoid the tummy aches. Mm -hmm. Indeed, we should. Mm. That was delightful. All right. So what do you think, Glenn? What did you like better? Flames of the Sun or the Virgin Miami Vice so far? Oh, shit, they're both good. Like, all in all, they're both good drinks, but if I, but if I had to choose one, I'd probably go the Virgin Miami Vice because... Listen, I, I have a huge sweet, like I love spice, but I love sweet. I would pick this one. It's not burning me. Yeah. But also I love coconut. I know. And until I take a, until, until I took a sip of that coconut, Coco Lopez, coconut cream, I had forgotten how much I loved coconut. Oh, that was really nice. It's a good feeling. The lime is making me a little reflux, but that's okay. Hmm. Ooh, got some ice in there. That might have been Wyoming. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, we blended Wyoming the first time. <laughs> oh, we crushed Wyoming. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that was... Wyoming? Wyoming anyways. All yeah, the states absolutely. are Wyoming now. Oh my god. Children fruit. of the sun. Fruit... Caviar. Caviar. Ooh, fruit caviar. That was delicious. I will continue to move, move along this one. <laughs> Shall we swap spaces for the yes. next cocktail? Of mocktail? Mocktail. Mocktail. It's a mocktail. Don't say it's a cocktail, because you're wrong. Don't say it's a cocktail. That's not nice to say about anybody. No, you're a cocktail. <gasps> How dare you. Glenn. Yes. At this point in time. Yes. So we're about halfway through things for the most part. Oh, okay. And I just, oh, wanted to re I just want to reiterate to you 
how much I'm really thankful that you came on stream today. Hey, a lot of, it's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, hey, I'm happy, I'm happy to be here. We're here having some fun. And so what I want to do is I want to allow you to publicly sign the guest book that exists here at the uh, bar with an X. Do you I, have a fancy pen to go with I the fancy? I have Sharpies that are provided. So what I will show showcase for everybody, all the other denizens of the bar out there, many of y'all virtual, I have this little guest book here. It's not really filled with much right now. There's a couple of names, like, all f flown throughout this book in various different places. But the intent is it, the, the intent of it is to be just that. Mm -hmm. It's a guest to the bar. And to be fair, I can't have everybody out there all digitally sign the book. It just wouldn't be the same. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that I make a point that anybody who is a visitor, like an official visitor of the bar with an X, which technically everybody else is, but physical visitors, they got to put their mark somewhere. Right. And I think, I don't know what the next level of the bar with an X will be. Uh, going going forward. I don't know if this will be the same bar with the next. It could be something else completely. But I'm planning for the future. Yeah. And so this book will forever categorize and, and chronicle the different streams and stuff that we've done. So Glenn, yes. may I ask you to uh, sign my guest book again? Of course. You're in here multiple times already, but like, you've come on again. This should is the I, public declaration. Should I sign a new page? You Just could sign on a new page if you'd like to. Oh, I, I am not going to, I'm not going to offer my input at all. You can do what you want oh, with well. the public bar with the next. No, newspaper. I don't want this page. It's already been tainted by myself. Also, I did it wrong. Mild tragedy, says Lorelai. Our uncle has a coconut allergy, takes a lot um, out of soaps. Oh, like, because coconut oil has a lot of soaps. That's right. Hey. If you need a cockatiel, cockatiel cocktail, would that be rude? If you named a cockatiel cocktail, would that be rude? Maybe. I feel like the cockatiel, the cockatiel wouldn't super much matter. Corvo Otano. Corvo Otano. Corvo Otano. Are you writing in the book, the guest book? Of is, that a, is that a reference? Yes, because oh. in Dishonored, there was a mission where you have to, where you go to this masked ball, mm. and you can, there is a guest book that you can choose to sign. And instead of going like a pen name or anything, because you're a wanted criminal, mm -hmm. you instead just sign it as Corvo Atano. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is one of the Basically announcing like, yep, I was here. Yep. <laughs> like, oh my god. And, and literally like, and at the end of the mission, like I'll tell you like special things you did, like like help this person or find this treasure. It will actually say sign the guest book. Nice. Also, fun fact, you get an achievement if you complete that mission without disturbing the party. Ah, interesting. How would you disturb the party? You walk right in? Uh, well, no, you can walk right in. It's a masked ball and you're wearing a mask. Oh, so no one knows. Oh, nobody knows. It's the real Basi Corvo. Are you wearing the Corvo Atano mask? Of course. That makes sense. And the thing Dishonor. is, the thing is, they see the posters for the masked criminal and they're just like, oh, that's devilish. You look just like the poster. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Dude. Little do they know. Yeah. I love that game. I Ooh. And I, I was gonna ask, is it the signature mask, but everyone assumes you're just making a bad joke? Yeah. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Mocktail. Is with like a solar puppet Oh yeah. This is mocktails with like that's going straight on the thumbnail. Nice. The official title of the stream. I, if at any point in the future we're doing more mocktails, I think it'd be the perfect, I, I'm, I'm a little intimidated by mocktails, to be honest. It's just a lot of prep work, because a lot of times the ingredients that you use for cocktails, they stay okay, because like, they've all got alcohol in them, so they don't really go bad. But things like juices and creams and syrups and stuff, they have a shelf life, and so you have to get things ahead of time. And you have to use them within their shelf life where it just kind of goes to waste. And I'm kind of afraid of producing a lot of waste. But yeah. it happens, no matter what. There you are. I signed even with my real name. Thank you, sir. Well, I know what your real name of is. Of course you do. Actually. Because otherwise that would be kind of... You can choose to sign the guest book however you want to. And I chose to sign it my And way. so, another chapter in the bar with an X history. And I signed it my way. Thank you, sir. Oh. I'll put this back on the side over here to right. always grace my presence on the left hand side. The left hand is a nice hand side. In any case, Glenn. Let's pick another drink. Let's pick another drink. Okay. Now, this time, I'm going to ask you to pick the drink based off of the ingredient that you wanted it. Gaze upon the bar here. I'm going to put up a couple of different items and stuff, and you are going to decide what goes next based off of the ingredients that you see. Okay, we got pineapple. Hold that up for a moment, would you? Pineapple. Actually, let me, let me let it stand on its own. Let's use this. Let's use this guy. Oh, my drink. I'm gonna put it. Put my it in water, front of the drink. just in case. It doesn't doesn't like. It. There we go. Because yeah, we don't want to keep it there anymore. <laughs> put that up there. Let me go down here. 
Apple juice? Oh, no, 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 Glenn. Look closer. Oh, that's raw apple cider vinegar. That's oh. apple cider vinegar, my friend. What the hell? Oh. So what we have in front of the bar right now, Glenn is going to decide the next drink based off of the ingredient. We have a whole pineapple. We have Welch's grape juice. We have apple cider vinegar. And back here, we've got some ginger. We've got some ginger root. Oh, 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 and also, also. What are those? These are green tea balls. Oh. Do you think... mind placing that near the bucket? Of course. Anyhow. Oh no. <laughs> if your chapter is only a name long, that book gets a lot of inflation. There's not a lot of pages left. And it's mother's health kick. The, it's both of our mother's health kicks. Uh, Apple cider vinegar. Uh, oh my gosh. Anyhow. Okay, right out the way, I don't want I don't want to do the apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Consumption! Consumption! No, I'm the ginger! Oh my god, I've never been requested to do Ooh. that. I've heard, wait. I've done that. Yeah. Wait. Wait. I've wait. heard. Oh, ginger and ginger lemon. I've ginger heard, lemon? Yes. Oh, ginger lemon tea. Yeah. yeah. I know what's going on, Oreo. Hi, friends. Yo. Hi, yo. So I'm going to eat this ginger. While you do that, I'm going to eat this ginger. No, dude, we got to do. I want to do both at the same time. Like, I want to squirt some lemon juice in my mouth as I'm gnawing on the ginger. Dude, you're taking this consumption to a whole new level. This is supposed to be like a <laughs> thing. I love it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so can let's I have see. a kanife? You need a kanife? Yeah. I got this nice little kanife over here hmm. on my kanife board. Oh. All right. You you want to take care of it? You want you want to go for it? Well, oh my god. Okay. 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 Here, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All the people can see as I finish my drink over here. It's a good drink, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got my lemon oh, mocktails. Thank you, bro. He knows the objective. All right. Oh, the objective is being accomplished. All right, so what's the best way to cut a ginger root? I've never actually had to handle it. So what you can do is you can shave off the skin. I usually use a spoon for that. You can do whatever method you want to. It comes uh, off pretty easy. I just or snapped off a piece. Easy. Yeah, you can also just snap a piece off. It's yeah. pretty easy too. So, oh my God, that smells like ginger. Well, no, oh, yeah. we're not it's, ginger. It's very gingery. Yeah, and what's the best way to get, uh, can you eat the skin? Is that like a thing? Yeah, you can eat the skin. Cool. So. I mean, it probably would need to be, I'll be honest, I grabbed this off of a thing, it probably is not very clean. Oh. But you can eat the skin if you want to. Also, you're gonna eat that entire piece. That piece is like the size of the tip of my thumb. Yeah. It's a piece of, so, piece of ginger. So right. what are you, what are you planning, what are we doing? I don't know. Well, cause I was gonna like, knock some of it out and then like slurp some lemon juice. Okay. All right, let's try for it. It's not bad. Ginger is very, very spicy. So if you put it on your tongue, it's spicy. Not as spicy as the habaneros, though. Honestly speaking. That's really pleasant, actually. Yeah. It's very, it can be very, it's very floral, in addition to the spiciness. Mm. I used to drink a lot of ginger tea. Mm -hmm. I've just fallen out, fallen out of the habit. I really should do it more often, but I honestly forget to. Mm. Ginger is really good for my reflux, actually, so I should just eat the whole root. The lemon, the lemon, not so much. I won't take a second helping of the lemon. But I will take a second helping of the ginger. Oh, something went out my nose. Oh, boy. Mmm, close your sinuses, too. Eating the skin is a bit more bitter than I recall. But mm. that's good. Mm. That's Beaver. Good ginger snaps, you say? Mm. Beaver asthma. Oh, my. Beaver sipping slappage. Well, then. Mm. Based off of these ingredients that lie in front of you, and technically the banana is also an option. I like this. The banana? The banana is also an option. I actually need to pull my nose for a hot sec, because something went weird. Ooh. Yeah, do you need, do you need your water? No, uh, no, I don't need it. I can always okay. hold the pineapple for you. Uh, shoot, I'm between the banana, the grape, and the tea. Banana, the grape, and the tea. Okay. I have no I have no input on this. This is all your decision based off of the ingredient that you see before you that will decide the next recipe. I forget, are you a fan of bananas? What's up? Are you a fan of bananas? I like bananas. I love bananas. Alright. There's nothing wrong with bananas. Alright, cool. Let's go grape. We're gonna go with the grape? Yes. Excellent. So the grape the oh, hey, it's a... is the Japanese thirst killer. The other one that you were looking at before, yeah. but we were choosing wow, between the two of them. So, the Japanese thirst killer actually has a history thing behind it that I wrote down in these notes. Oh, cool. It comes from Epicurious.com, a subscription-based site where you're supposed to pay to look at the articles, but the app that I use allows me to get past that. I'm not paying no fee for that stuff. Information's free, baby. So, 
The long, the mostly forgotten, but absolutely delightful, historically very low ABV treat, the Japanese Thirst Killer, can be traced all the way back to the 1915 edition of Dis the Dispenser Formulary Soda Water Guide, one of the several books published around the early 20th century that focused on the wares of the classic soda foam. The volume collects over 2,000 recipes for syrup shakes, mixed drinks, and acid phosphates. The long story short of this particular cocktail, or mocktail in this case, is that it would use the acid phosphate, which is a particular chemical that people started putting into sodas and stuff that better like add flavor to them. Notably, you can just you can get like acid phosphates and stuff from the store. When I looked at acid phosphate at my particular local store, I couldn't really find anything aside from just like citric acid and stuff. I didn't actually go out and buy it. I figured if we're gonna use citric acid, we can just use lemon juice here. So what this what this I'll call it quasi mocktail implies it's, it's made with a couple of ingredients, those being mm -hmm. grape juice or jaw, acid phosphate, or something similar in its place, Angostura bitters, club soda, and a pineapple slice for an optional garnish. So this, the two ingredients here that I have the air quotes around, one is Angostura bitters. Bitters are actually a very, very high alcohol by volume concoction. This one in particular is 44.7% uh, alcohol by volume, but we're only putting Two dashes of bitters in it. So really, the effective amount of alcohol that get put into the that gets put into the drink, unless you are super duper hypersensitive, is mostly zero because it gets combined with. In this case, it's two dashes with almost four ounces of just other stuff on top of it. Now the other piece of that, which is actually in my fridge over here, and I'll scooch behind it, is something called orja. Orja itself is mostly an almond base, uh, syrupy, and almost almond based like sugar syrup that can be used in cocktails. In particular, this one here uses a spirit called Amaretto. It uses some orange blossom water. It's got some almond milk and stuff in there. And if you smell it, let me know what you think of it. I barely smelled the inkiness that's alcohol. Mm, really? Yeah. I don't really smell the inkiness at all. What I smell is orange blossom water. And actually what I want to do is I want to test your, I want to test your- My nose? I want to test your nose there. Actually. Of course I just blew my nose. Because I want you to smell orange blossom water as well. I'm gonna come back over here. I wasn't expecting to go into the fridge so much. I want you to smell the orange blossom water as well. This is what I'm smelling the most of. Oh, what the hell? Now, that smells like something. If you smelled the two together, does this also still smell like the alcohol as well? I might be smelling that, but that smells more alcoholic to me. Wait, there can is I, can a, get another? Absolutely, yeah. To me, orange blossom water smells like a particular cleaning agent that they use at the Disney Vero Beach Hotel. It's very, very specific. But that's, I don't, that kind of reminds me of sunscreen. Maybe. I'm sure there's some orange blossom water sunscreen out there. It might be like an ingredient. So but yeah, and to be fair, what they use to contain the orange blossom water might be something that has isopropyl, or like, not isopropyl, oh my god. Ingredients, bitter orange blossom water, that's it. It's apparently just water. So <laughs> It's possible that you're smelling the alcohol from the, from the, the amaretto that's in there, and the amaretto that I put in there is about, I think, quarter of an ounce of Lazzaroni. Which, That's I, which what I is, mean. which is, which is, for the sake of full disclosure here. Where is your alcohol? 24. 24% alcohol by volume. So it's about a quarter alcohol, but a lot more sugar in it as well. Nice. That being the case, you know, this is a mocktail stream. And so I have laid out all the ingredients for you. Yes. Would you like to try it anyway? Of course. Okie dokie. That's what we're going to do. Before stream, I will like to say that, like, I, I consented to this before stream. Like, like Cameron warned me, he's like, hey, some of these might contain alcohol. And I'm like, I'm okay with that. I, I'm a good sport about it. Indeed, indeed, Like, when indeed. I have to choose something at random, if it contains alcohol, I mean, light of the show, so be it. I don't care. Okay. So the ingredient fun. that Glenn chose was the grape juice. Yes. The grape juice will stay here. Glenn. Get your water back. Oh, if you'd like to refill yourself up, feel free to. I'm gonna grab mine as well. There's been a lot of shuffling around and stuff over here, naturally speaking. So, onwards. This one is made with, I think it is, let's see, let's see, let's see, to a cocktail shaker filled with ice, seal it and shake until chilled. So, let's shake this one. So Glenn, what I'm gonna ask you to do, if you can start doing me a favor. What do you need? Is to clean out 
this half of the shaker and also the other half of the shaker as well. Where's I, the other half of it? Oh, it's over there on the oh. ground next to the blender. Oh, I see it. It's yeah, yeah, it's the other metal one. Again, I don't, I don't have a lot of... I really need to invest in more shakers and stuff because we do wind up doing a lot of cocktails over so here. So just kind of rinse, shake, and... Yeah, rinse, shake, put them in the bucket. It's the easiest thing that I can think of doing. Oh boy. And in the uh, meantime, I will do a little bit of cleanup over here and prepare for the next cocktail. The Japanese so, uh, this might be a little spicy, bro. Yeah? Mm, well, hopefully things are okay. Because this, st this stuff had the, um... Oh yeah, it did have the habanero in it. We did muddle it at the bottom. Yeah. Well, here, you cook. Use this... Use this to clean out. Okay, give me a bit, bitch. Turn it back. Oh, <laughs> nice catch. Thank you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to, again, we can't really see the current recipe on the board, but I'm trying to make sure I get into the good habit. So. And also, again, I, I'm big boy. Hey, you big lad. I'm a big boy. Sorry that I had to adjust the camera angle so that your head wasn't completely I'm covered. I'm still growing, ma. It's true. I'm still growing. I'm weird. Oh, God. I want to be seven foot. Japanese. Thirst quencher. Killer. Oh, thirst killer. Right. We're yes. killing I, Did I say thirst quencher? Yes, you did. I think just my, my pacifist nature was taking over my vocabulary. Then you need to play more Call of Booty, bro. Call of Booty? More like and Call of more Duty. Devil horns. Interesting. I was trying to find a like, perfect name of Halo. Granny boy, I'm also going to ask you to grab some ice cubes. Ask one you. big one and two little ones, if you can find any of the little ones left. I think we have any big ones. Oh, I think we do. Oh, we do. Oh. There's a second large container in there. What? And in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll start working on the cup, the liquid ingredients and stuff. Uh, there's no room for me. That Why is there a banana in here? <laughs> well, you see, if you picked the banana, what you would have actually picked is the frozen banana. Yee! Cool. Yes. I got your big cubes. Perfect. Let me grab one of those big old cubes hey, over here. Do you need other cubes? Um, do you have the other half of the shaker? Oh, uh, yes, I do. I will need that in a hot second. Well... And we'll do the little cubes. I'm not even on stream anymore. Well, get back over here, man. Well, I'm trying. Yeah, it's okay. Here. <laughs> cube. And... Oh. I'm not going to crack the cube because I just don't feel like doing it. Can you place this back? Gosh, could you imagine if there was one person doing this show? No, right? I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, what, what, what a Chad, man. What a Chad, dude. What an absolute giga Chad. Don't know what his name would be. Oh, thank you, sir. I, I think his that. name would have an X in it. Banana Fana. Well, the Banana Fana. Well, Banana. Banana Fana, Bobana, Banana, Nana, Fofana, Fifi, Fofana, Glenn! Glenny, 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 Banana, Nana, Fofani, Fifi, Fofani. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Oh. No, you, you, uh, you actually hit me right in the feels there. Oh, you're welcome. Because um, that's something my uncle used to do. This is a thirst killer. Aw. Yeah. Pour one out for your uncle. Mm. Pour one out for his uncle. He said it. He said it. He wanted me to. <laughs> I'm not actually going to do that. Yeah. I'm not going to pour But no, nah, my uncle used to do that. And, oh, I miss him. Hopefully he enjoys the mocktails we're doing in his name. Mm. We hope so. All right, so All right. <clears throat> what we're gonna add to our shaker is, again, this is three ounces of grape juice, three quarters of an ounce of orja, a teaspoon of acid phosphate, I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon juice in there, two ounces of club soda that we top off. It's interesting. I mean, we add a club soda at the bottom of an ice filled glass, strain the grape juice, mix into glass, and then with the top of the club soda to taste. Stir with a long bar spoon several times in a grape, run over the pineapple slice if desired. I'm not, don't know if I should, Maybe we should cut the pineapple for this. Uh, okay. We could do that. Yeah. Well, Not yet, though. Not yet. That's the end, because Naturally. that's the garnish. Okie dokie. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add all of our reagents, except for the club soda, into the cocktail shaker. We're going to shake do it up. Do we have the club soda on hand? Oh, we do. It's right below, right below okay, me. Okay, right. Indeed, indeed. Perfect. And I'm doubling up the recipe, because I'm making two. One for me, and one for Glenn. So, sure. I will be doubling these. If I get caught up in it, don't worry. I will put the recipe elsewhere, so that people, people know what's up and people can build it on their own. All right, so first what we're gonna do is add three ounces, in this case we're doing six ounces, of our grape juice. Grape this juice. is my metric jigger, so it's a little bit less than two ounces, but so long as we keep the ratios consistent, we'll be all right. All right. So this is about two ounces, it's actually like 50 milliliters, so I'll do one, two, and we'll do that three times to get Thank the full six-ish ounces. It's more like, I guess, four ounces now, or maybe like five, five-ish ounces. Hmm. That'll be okay. Or, or like whatever 50 times 
sixes, which is 300 milliliters, 0.3 liters of this stuff. Hmm. Next, we're gonna add is three quarters of an ounce, doubled, so an ounce and a half of our orja. All right. Which is basically Ooh. a kind of a kind of a almond syrup with a little bit of alk in it. Just a little bit though. In this case, being that this was made with, I think about maybe half an ounce of orja, I believe this holds about maybe four, five, four, four, five, six ounces of liquid in it. So if you do the math, if there is, let's say, let's say if there's even, even a full ounce of that stuff in there, let's just be, let's just be liberal with that. There's a quarter mm -hmm. of that ounce would be alcohol itself. Quarter to six would be, I think, I'm trying to do the math off the top of my head. Whatever six divided by a quarter, no, other way around. Quarter divided by six. Quarter divided by six quarter would be. Six. So if we take if we take six over one divided by the reciprocal, I think it's one point five percent. I think it's one point five percent. I'll go with you on that I'll one because that. fractions so this are is, hard for This is one point five percent alcohol. Yeah. I just, so I think I think we'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Like it's not like I'm downing a freaking. I just want to make sure that when we say that we're making mocktails, that I'm more or less on key. And if it's a really big issue. I'll put a little asterisk yep. right there. Or actually, technically an asterisk over in the thirst killer, because that's the thing that's only partially alcoholic. Uh -huh. I love how we did the math for the Orja, but not even considering the, the Angostura, which is actually 40%. But again, if we're doing a fraction of a volume in there, yeah, what because the alcohol you're putting like two dashes like, of this in there. So it's doubled, so I'm actually going to do four, four dashes. Ounces. But so still, here we go. compared to everything else. One, One two, two, three, four. four. This stuff got... stains like a mother. <laughs> it's got all over your hands. It's so bitter, and I love the way it tastes. Excuse me. I just had a moment there for a second. <laughs> just leave Cameron alone with his bitters and it'll be okay. <laughs> my Angostura. Just start Don't playing Cameron's whisper as you're just smacking on your own fingers, covered in bitters. Don't mention that song again. <gasps> Do it. This is me and my Angostura song. to continue with that that was beautiful it's the community kazoo it's supposed to come out during the during moments of community ex like splendor however i i am way too much of a fan of utilizing the kazoo i think i've used it every single stream this week so far <laughs> well i mean hey sometimes if no one else is do it do it's it yourself. true so now what we need is a teaspoon or two of acid phosphate for this you could use whichever acid phosphate you come across i i don't have any acid phosphate you could get like citric acid for example and i think it's a good substitute um i got a lemon so i'm gonna put instead of a teaspoon i'm gonna put two pumps of okay. lemon juice in there so glenn can you hand me my the, the lemon squeezer the good one not the bad one thank you thank you so much <laughs> i hate the other one i know you do lord i says what would the lyrics become I'm never gonna taste again. Oh my god. <laughs> Alcohol has burned my taste buds. <laughs> it was easy to forget. Cause cause I blacked out. <laughs> cause the Angus store is like 44% alcohol. <laughs> 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 One pump. Okay, I think that's enough. I think I put too much in there. All right, here, you want this lemon? <laughs> yes. Yeah, eat, eat that. It's good for you. It Can is. you put this in the bucket too? Thank you, sir. <laughs> one, one of these days, I'm gonna actually, actually, I don't know who it was who mentioned it, but like, dude, with the when the bar with an X becomes a wet bar one day, I won't have to keep throwing shit into the bucket. I can just put it here. Also, there is barely any space to exist at this bar. There is not much space at all. This is, this is how much space we have to move around. This much. Yeah, it's really hard to move around. It is not. There's not a lot of space back here. I could just move this thing forward, but it's yeah, heavy right now. And there's yeah. a lot of liquor back here. Very heavy bottles. Yeah, don't want anything to break, you know? In any case, so I've put probably a very, very liberal serving of some sort of acid and or phosphate into this container. So we got our grape juice, our orchaha, our angostura, and our phosphate. So... We gotta do now is shake it. So one of the techniques that you can use is when you shake, you want the ice to come up the temperature. This is a very cold apparatus already, so I'm gonna see if there's any water left remaining in this thing and dump it out. And there was basically oh. there was absolutely none at all. So these ice these ices, these ice cubes basically haven't gotten to their melting point yet. Which is fine. Just use them this way. Pour our solid lot liquids into the solids. I get mixed up every once in a while. Then I'm to give this thing a shake. Oh, 
Pam. Oh, I'm okay. Oh. okay. Probably doesn't need to be shaking that much. Actually, my hands were kind of sticking to the bottom of this for a little bit. Oh. That was kind of cool. And there are many different ways to play in terms of cracking this thing. But uh, what I like to do is I just kind of like to, I take my finger and I kind of push against the tangent of the circle. All it allows for me to do is kind of move this thing slightly and pull off. And I just give it a little tap. It can be difficult for those who are not initiated or have no idea what they're doing, which is only half me. I, I like half know what I'm doing. So, the next piece of this requires us to pour this into a glass. But these instructions specifically call for adding two full ounces, or about 60 milliliters, of the club soda into each of our glasses, and then filling back up with the cocktail, mm. mocktail, whatever you want to call it in this case. I guess technically it resolves for both. And then you fill it up with the rest of the soda water to taste. So it all depends on what your taste is. Hmm. But that's what we'll do. So in this case, we need a Collins glass, which is basically the size of the glass that we had uh, from our other one. I was saying oh. that this was similar to like twice the size of a highball glass. Mm -hmm. In this case, this is, this, is our, this is the equivalent of a Collins glass that I have. It's the closest one I have. Hmm. I will also use this guy. Ah. We'll use these two. And this one could get garnished with um, a pineapple slice. So my question to you is, Glenn, should we murder the pineapple? Because I guess if we murder the pineapple, then I feel like the next one we should do would be a drink that uses fresh pineapple. This is fair. But at the same time, I also want to try that one that uses tea. Because that sounded interesting to me. So I was gonna say, let me let me let me preface it with this. If we use the pine if we do the next pineapple one, it's basically going to be more or less the same of half of the Miami, the Virgin Miami Vice. Hmm. So maybe we kind of already did that one. Yeah. So we could we could do something else. Okay. So the question would be, should we still take the life of the pineapple anyway? Mm -hmm. I would actually say one of the things that I want to mention about the pineapple, one of the reasons why I wanted to get the pineapple over the stream in, in case we use it, we didn't want to, we don't have the pressure to use the pineapple. Is I saw a video the other day, we can actually take the the scraps of your pineapple and put them into a container with water and actually let this thing ferment. And you can actually get a very nice beverage called tapache, I believe. I don't remember exactly what the recipe is, but I think you just essentially just take this, combine with some water and sugar, maybe a little bit of yeast, and let it do its, th your, its thing. And essentially you get like, like quasi pineapple beer cider thing. It's got alcohol in it, that's how that works hmm. naturally. So I kinda wanted to try that. Um, but that might just be a side project, just so we don't sacrifice the pineapple. Well, I mean, but when, this is but this is your when in doubt, we're because the run thing the is, if if we have slices of pineapple, we can just eat it. You can always just eat it because I love pineapple. Mm -hmm. And so, also, too, we only need a couple of slices too, so we can just kind of cut cut the head off and we'll put the head in the freezer because these pineapple fronds. These are useful garnishes, and every single time I brought a pineapple into this home, I've forgotten to take the fronds and put them and use them and freeze them because I always forget. One time I was like, oh, where's my pineapple fronds? And it's like you threw them out. I was like, no! I can't believe I did that. So, so I propose it dies! <laughs> Sacrificing. Sacrifice. The last pineapple that was sacrificed on this stream, I believe, was named Tanya. Maybe. What was this one's name? Mm. I don't know. You name it. I'll name it Cody. Cody? Really? That's what you <laughs> came up with? <laughs> yes. Cody? Yes. All right, Cody. <laughs> nobody Your cares. Hates you. <laughs> no. <laughs> nobody cares, Cody. Nobody cares, Cody. <laughs> All right. That's why I've got the big knife. That's a knife. That is that is indeed a knife. It's the big it's the big knife. So essentially, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the desirable part of Cody, uh, the head. I'm going to decapitate it. You really like Cody's head, huh? That's all. Yeah, I really do. I'm going to take Ooh. the actual cocktail itself, and I'm going to kind of I'm going to okay. reseal it, reseal it a little bit. And we'll put it off to the side with the rest of our glasses. We're essentially just kind of working on our garnish right now with as much of the pineapple as we can. Glenn, can I ask you a favor to put the orja back in the fridge? Of course. I'm gonna put the rest of this grape juice over here, and you got some little bit of pineapple juice over here. Don't forget about that. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Cody. Dog. There you go, man. This is what it's all about. That's what it's all about, Cody. And like that, the guillotine has dropped. Cody We've conquered Cody! Is dead. You put this in the freezer. Just in case Cody had any sort of smartness or intelligence, we want to freeze his head for later. 
so that we can do scientific research on it to determine the intelligence of pineapples. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now what we need is we're going to use the pineapple garnish. Mm -hmm. So what I'm essentially going to do is I'm just going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to cut a ring of the pineapple. Mm. So I'm going to cut right down the middle. There's one part. That looks good, man. I'm going to ask you to just place this in an opportune location. I will process the rest of that pineapple later. Yeah. Not in the bucket. Please don't put it in the bucket. No, actually, the... can you put it on the table? I wasn't. Ooh, actually, actually, I, here's an idea to. Wait, actually, no, I have a better idea. Glenn's got a better idea. What is your idea, sir? It's As I cut the other. On the bucket. Or on the table. Nice. So it won't tip over. There we go. And then I just cut the other half of this. I'm going to give you another piece to take over to the table. Also, I was not going to put it in the bucket. Oh, dude. my goodness. Yeah, you're smarter than I am when it comes to the use of the bucket. All right. I'll ask you to place this on top of the other one, because then we're not going to use that one. And instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, I'm going to make some pineapple slices from it. That's all I'm going to do. It's not too difficult to make slices of pineapple. Essentially, all you do is you slice the pineapple. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm just going to cut off all of the little brown parts. So I'm just going to go, that comes off to the side. And I'm going to save these two, because I want to make myself some tapache. Uh, which essentially takes the scraps of the pineapple and puts it in some water and i have to look at the recipe if anybody's interested in that i will link the video that i'm referring to in the discord server because i like to share there we go all these I'll pieces are off sure. to the side i am going to put this in one of my containers over here so that i can preserve it for later actually what i'm probably going to use is Man. this container here to do the fermentation so mason jar big old jar so i'll put that into this jar over here my pineapple, pineapple chunks. Shavings. My pineapple shavings. My pineapple scraps, if you will. Cody scraps. Cody scraps. And there we go. This is all I'm gonna do. I'm going to kind of take out the center. I don't want, I don't want the core because the core is too hard. So I'm essentially gonna do exactly what I just did on the outside. I'm gonna do it on the inside. Mm. And I'll pop out that core. And then what we have is all the good parts of the pineapple together. Trying not to cut towards myself as best as I possibly can. But yeah. if I did it correctly, I kind of did it correctly. There we go. Is there is there a better way to uncore the pineapple? If anybody has suggestions, I'm open to them. Yeah, that didn't come out the way that I wanted it to. Let's try this, right? I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna even move the knife. I'm just gonna move the pineapple. And try. Well, I did a little bit. Yeah, this is not. I don't really like the way I'm doing this here. Can I like? There we go. I'm I'm good. There we go. I'm good. I forget. Core is edible. There we go. Core's. Yeah, it's edible. Yeah. It's just a bit tough. Is it edible? A little, little chewy? A little tough. A little tough. All right, there we go. And then pineapple slices. Easy. Easy pineapple slices. I mean, to be fair, there's probably easy way, easier ways to do pineapple slices, but this is the way we came up with. There we go. Mm. I got a couple of pineapple slices. Beautiful. Thank you, Cody, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Cody. Mmm. You're not supposed to remain silent as I'm finishing myself off, Glenn. Come on. <laughs> so we need two of these for our garnish. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this off to the side. We will be using that in just a hot second. I will take the remaining guts of Cody and uh, put the tapache, the future tapache container away. Way. Can you place this on the table? Mr. Sure. Thank you so much, sir. The, the I will bring the glasses out here, and this is what we'll do. I think, do I need ice in my glass? Let's go back to the recipe at hand. Japanese thirst killer! It's a killer, I say. It's a killer. To the bottom of an ice-filled Collins glass. Glenn, into the freezer. Get the green container. I'll get the green container! It's got a bunch of ice in it. Cody, get out of my way. Cody, get the... Well, the brain of Cody. Remember, we froze the brain. It's the head. It's the head. It's Cody's head. Cody's, Cody's brain, dude. Here you go. Okie dokie. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm just right. going to take the ice and I'm going to fill the Collins glasses with ice. Dude. What this is going to do is notice how the previous cocktail in the big glass didn't get all the way up to the top. This Naturally, this is about the this is about the same volume as the other ones. If I had to, if I had to guess, uh, but putting the ice in there is going to make up for the fact that we have essentially less liquid. I did double the recipe, so we should be okay. But this will this should cover it. And we're out of the tiny cubes. Bye bye. I will clean. I clean all of these things. By the way, they all go through a vigorous washing process before ice goes back into them. At least that's what I'm telling you guys. I promise. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to add two ounces of soda water to each of these containers. I have one container of soda water that kind of lost its fizz, so I'm not going to use it for this particular one. We got more soda water. This one's got fizz. 
Right? Club soda. There it is. There we go. It's got a nice fizz to it. Yep. And I need about two ounces in each of these containers. Again, using the metric one. It's about using, 50 milliliters. Using the jigger. Using the measure in the jigger. It can be a little tough to measure carbonated stuff. Like Coca-Cola and mm -hmm. Pepsi fizzes a bunch. Pepsi. Pepsi. Pepsi, we say. Pepsi. We can't we, we can't forget about the Pepsi. We can't forget about the, the Pepsi. Pepsi. The Pepsi. We now one of the things forgets. when Glenn came up here. He brought with him a particular ingredient. Yes. An ingredient that we found that he was like, we gotta try this, we gotta try this on stream. It's the Peepsy. It is, Glenn, would you mind bringing out the I container? I bring the holy, actually, I didn't... And while you do that, I am going to pour the remainder of our cocktail libation in here. So, in case you're interested in limited time beverages, we have for you Peepsy. Uh, I don't know if they can read it from here, because I can't. Oh yeah, go for <laughs> it, we can, we can read it. So we got some Pepsi. Oh, Pepsi. no, no, there Pepsi. we go. There we it's go. It's Peeps Pepsi. Yes, it is Peeps Pepsi. And oh my I am goodness. Terrified. In the meantime, I will prepare the drinkage. Prepare the drinkage. Apply a garnish over here. Apply our pineapple wedge over here. Oh, okay, that yeah. one's broken. Oh, so well. here, we'll eat those. Boop. I'm making another pineapple wedge over on the other side. Hmm. There we go. Delicious. A couple of pineapple wedges. We're going to strain. I have a strainer for this. Do I really need to strain? Seal shaker and shake. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll, I'll strain it. I got a little, I got a little guy here. Cause there is a little bit of lemon juice in there and I will strain it over the top. You know what I'm gonna try to do? What? I'm gonna try to be fancy. I'm gonna try to see if I can do it two at once. Oh. I feel like my, my skills have been tested. So let's put you one here, Okay. one here and see if I can't strain this out in a group of two different streams. Oh my good oh golly my goodness. God. Oh my god, it's not exactly working. No wait, yeah, it is. It kinda is. Oh, no. uh -oh. oh goodness. Well that's why I did it over the top of the thing. Alright. One of them is clearly lacking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody got more of the other one. Well, I had to try my best this there. Mm -hmm. And then but you now top it off do. with club soda. Exactly. We top it off with the rest of the club soda. That actually tastes amazing right now. Wow, that tastes really good. Well I... these crap sickles. Well, I'll have to wait and see. Cares, cares. There we go. That looks beautiful. Which one do you want? Which one do I want? I don't know. Well, first one I'm gonna do is real quick, just to make sure that our bot's still working out there. That and to make my job easier later. Pop a little photo in there. Isn't that beautiful? Let's that, see if the bot works. That, this is our Japanese thirst killer. Thirst killer. It's killer. All right, perfect. That went through perfectly. Delicious. Now I've got a nice little, now I've got a couple of different photos for the folks at home. Perfect. Oh. Glenn, which one would you like? Well, well, this one looks more appealing because it has like a more solid color, and I think a, this is the one that got nice more. Color. It did get more in there, so you want that one? Yes, if you yeah. don't mind. Oh, no, absolutely. Dude, I, you were the guest here. Also, not gonna lie, with drinks like what we've been drinking tonight, it feels like we're going on vacation. Really, though. And that's the, that's the beauty. Glenn, remember, you would come with me on some of our family vacations and stuff. I did. And I like it was delightful. I don't know why I put it back down. Yeah, I don't know why. So this is the Japanese thirst killer. Yeah. Why? I, I'm actually very curious of why they call it the Japanese thirst killer. I'm gonna look through it. Okay. I'm not Come back along with a namesake ingredient, a shelf stable souring agent, extinct chemicals and stuff, historically phosphorus are served without ice. Only the, there's I, I don't think I don't think there's anything relating to why this is called the Japanese thirst killer. However, apparently there's a Bushwick thirst killer. What is a Bushwick thirst killer? Does it come from Japan? I wonder if acid phosphates come from Japan. Hmm. I don't really know. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Classic cocktail fans might note the similarities with the similar little name Japanese cocktail. Every time the country is named in the 1915 dispenser formulary, it's in a recipe flavored with nuts, including almonds, pistachios, and walnuts. Oddly enough, it seems that maybe the Japanese, so actually the Japanese cocktail, actually, I think I have that one in my collection somewhere. Japan, the Japanese cocktail actually comes from the year 1915, I'm sorry. 1860, I believe. Hmm. Where was the first time that somebody from Japan came to America? Because usually they were a very isolationist country. Mm -hmm. So it was the first time I think they walked through New York. And I think there was a famous bartender. Might have been Morgan Th Jerry Thomas. I believe it was Jerry Thomas who actually served them a cocktail at his, at his bar. And he named it after them. Aww. The Japanese cocktail. Which uses cognac, orja, and Angostura bitters. So maybe it's the presence of the orja that is why this one's the Japanese thir thirst killer as opposed to the Bushwick thirst killer. Hmm. Because it's in reference to, kind of a reference, 
to the Japanese cocktail. Cool. It's kind of cool. And he says, does it come from Japan? Sort of. Saikoku. Sa- Saikoku? That's when Japan was closed, right? Until Matthew Perry forced them open. I feel like that's a reference to something. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, wait, Matthew P- Perry. Wasn't that... I feel like that's a name from a history class. Yeah. I was never good at history. Uh, uh, I was good at history, but... um. Oh, you want this by the bucket? Yes, please, sir. Just so I'm not holding it this whole time. Thank you, sir. Hey, huh? If I remember the History of Japan video, I feel like Matthew Perry is definitely a name I remember from history class. Yeah, it, it's been a while since I've taken but history. But it's just, it's such a normal name. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't remember. Yeah. So, Glenn, yes. shall we, shall we enjoy our Japanese thirst quencher? It's killers, killers, thirst do, killers. How? Do I don't know why. Like I could, Because when I think of quenching, I think of quenching my thirst, you know? No, also, so, you, oh, you can see. Are you looking for straws? No, something class. Ooh, wait, Glenn, get the bendy straws. Oh, you're using the, ooh. I was thinking. Oh. Oh, I see. These what an excellent idea. To get some pineapple. We have our toothpicks so that we can. There we go. Uh huh. Oh, well, that mine's fine. Shall we? Shall we? Cheers, my friend. Oh, yeah. Cheers behind the beautiful camera. <coughs> oh my goodness. Here we go, yep. Glenn. Yep. Here's mine. The kiss. The kiss. Mm. Very good. Mmm. Mm. We got. Lorelai Sam, he's literally the guy who told Japan to open up. Oh. I'm glad we got the history right. Straw to cup ratio is even worse in this case. Charfruitery says corrupted Jasper. <laughs> Photo! 10 out of 10. Mm. It's just two boys eating our charfruitery. Yeah. How are you, corrupted Jasper? Welcome back to the bar with an X. Hi, honey. Oh my god, this is delightful. Yeah. We haven't even th- we haven't even drank the drink yet. Yeah. Alright, it's time. It's time. Clinkies. Quenching the Killing, killing! Oh my the god! Of the Japanese since 1915. Oh, that is so refreshing. It's refreshing. Flavor is a little weird though. What do you? Because like you say, mine is very, very watered down with the with the club soda in there. It's very watery. Yours probably has a lot more of the fruity flavor. I am getting the grape juice. I know what the grape juice tastes like because I was trying a bit of it the other day with some Coca Cola that I had. Well, just grapefruit juice. I'm, grape juice. I feel like I'm getting very little of the grape juice actually. Well, for the most part, this is meant to be like almost kind of like a like a spritz almost. Yeah. Like it just kind of it's a lot of it's the base of the sp- like the 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 drink itself. It's just got a lot of club soda on top of it. Well, like honestly, that is refreshing. Mm-hmm. Although it's like not like flavorful, it is definitely refreshing. It is a very very mild taste. I will say that to me, this kind of tastes like a very light grape soda. It actually tastes really really similar to like Fanta grape, except a lot more watered down. I kind of like that. Mm, that's really nice, actually. Oh, lol, thanks, says corrupted Jasper. Ha! Hi! I hi. It looks like a sunset with the color gradient. It's yeah. very nice. Except the murder into my heart, says Lorelai. Does the flavor change the more that you drink? Good night, dearest. Bye. I don't know, Glenn. Let's see. I wonder if, if I just like, if I, if I take my pineapple wedge and I try to mix it up with it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Any input? Any impact, dear sir? Mmm, more grape in there now. I'm tasting a little bit of the orange blossom water from the Urja. That's really pleasant. It goes very, very well. I'm gonna go, says Annie. I'm not feeling that great, but wanted to say hi. I hope it's been a good stream. Thank you Aww, so much for popping in. Thank you for coming by. Even hope you feel stopped. better. Absolutely. Hopefully these these mocktails will cheer you right up. Mm-hmm. One of these had what is it? Coco Lopez in it. Yes, it was, um... I don't think that's good for The, uh, vir- Virgin, um... Miami Vice. Miami Vice, thank It's you. true. One of these almost uses apple cider vinegar. Take some of this for your... Oh, I don't know where I put it. I don't remember where you put it at. That's either. okay. It's probably best to... Oh. <laughs> there, yeah, it there it is. <laughs> probably best to keep the apple cider vinegar away from the cocktails. Help you feel better. Mm-hmm. Tendonitis has a corrupted Jasper uh, left-handed. Mm-hmm. Temporarily left-handed. Goodness gracious, everyone's dying out there. That's unfortunate. There's a cool little bubbling effect going on here, actually. Does it look like in yours? Hmm? Let, me, let me see, actually. There's a... Oh, oh you have it more... There's no. an interesting, like, bubbling effect going on in the... I don't like, have the that The bubbles themselves are, like... I don't know if that's super visible, but, like, the bubbles are, like, existing on their own. They're, like... They're, like, individual particles. 
That's so interesting. I will sure say this is also a very nice color for the drink too. It's true. It's a very nice color, the whole sunsetty thing. Everyone's dying all the time. Only the speed varies. Uh, yeah. I wonder if this is killing us faster. There's no alcohol in it, so I doubt it. Yeah, mix it up a bit. I get more of the, I get more of the, I say more of the grape juice and more of the orange blossom. I'm really tasting the orange on there now. In, in the sense that it tastes like it tastes like orange blossom. I think I got a little more of that when I had that with the pineapple slice. Yeah, nice. Well, I need to eat my final. I need to eat my pineapple. So good. I don't know. I feel like personally, the pineapple feels out of character for this drink. Yeah. Hmm. Like it's not bad though. It's refreshing. Nice co color contrast with the purple and the yellow. Mm -hmm. Complementary colors, I believe. Hmm. We're all dying from the moment we're born. Laurel, Hashtag I would know that, not me. I'm not a edgy. color theory. Oh, really? Dude, there's some really cool videos I've seen about color theory and stuff. Colors are multidimensional, man. Yeah. 3D space, 4D space. It's crazy. Oh, Laurel says, yep, yep. Oh, yes. Color theory. Thank great. you, Laurel. Okie doke. Glenn, would you like the last piece of the pineapple? I'll take it. Go for it. Go for it. And now. Would you like to do another mocktail? What have we done so far this evening? At this point in time, this is perhaps we recollect drink. what we've done so far. We've done three drinks this evening so far, all containing little to no alcohol whatsoever. The first drink that we did was called the... Flames of the Sun! And it combined habanero pepper pieces, some lime juice, pineapple juice, and was there some syrup in there as well? There was definitely yeah, some, some syrup, syrup in there. Combine that all together, I think it's just, it was shaken. Yeah. Shaken and together it was, and strained. It kicked you in the gut, but it, it, it really did. good. It was super duper Super duper spicy, mostly because you know we muddled up hug. six little rings of habanero pepper in there. Mm, great though. And that cocktail was a contribution for a community member, Imi Chow, Thank who you, has Amy been Chow. very very helpful with curating cocktails for these streams. I am cool. very 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 thankful for it. Makes my job a heck of a lot easier. Plus, it's just cool to get other people's perspectives on like what we could cover on the show because I am only one person. I only have one mindset for the most part. So it's nice to get other people's views on stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to accept more community feedback and stuff. It's good. It makes the show more about the community bar experience. Of course, because this, at this bar with an X, it's not about just you brewing drinks. It's about togetherness, you know, just a bunch of people just chilling out at the bar, just hanging out. That's what it's all about, my friend. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The bar of unity. The bar of unity. The bar of friendship. The bar of friendship. The representation of great friendship. Mm -hmm. Glenn, should we show them the thing? Oh, yes. In case you did not see this in the beginning. Glenn and I are best friends. Yes. Bro. Bro. And naturally, best bros have a secret handshake. Hell yeah. Which we do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And now we've shared it with everybody else. Yeah. We have been doing that for, for many years. years. And we, for a good year, we forgot what it was. <laughs> and then just like came back to us like randomly. It, it, it was like we were both messing up, messing up steps, like trying to practice it. But once we came together, it was just muscle memory completely kicked in. Right? We're just like, holy shit, we did it. It was such an exciting experience. I like, I have to take my rings off for these things because I don't want to like kill somebody. Yeah. Also, like, I, I think. Yeah, you, you, hit, you hit my wrist. I think, or, I think your wrist hit my hand. I, I think her. I think it both made contact like bam. Yeah, because I'm like, ah, oh, that, that kinda hurt my wrist. What's a couple of what's a couple of punches between pals? You know? Yep. The bromance uh, is real. Y'all <laughs> brew y'all brew shit? Y'all brew shit? Oh man, I wanna brew some tapache with the pineapple stuff. We haven't brewed anything. Mm. Bromance is real. The excess is power, <laughs> as is the Kingdom Hearts madness. <laughs> dude, that's my dude. They're like, I am Cameron's nobody. What do they call you? Cameron. Also Cameron. <laughs> what's what's normal about it? Look at the subtitles. Is that an X in there? It's silent. <laughs> Edge Lord. I still need I still need to finish Kingdom Hearts. Oh my gosh. I, I haven't streamed that game forever. Yeah, I need Glenn, to go back to For it. reference, Lycos Lore also has a YouTube channel. He also streams games on Twitch sometime too. So. Yeah, like I'm, the big games I streamed on Twitch were um, Kingdom Hearts, where I had a challenge every time I died, I would eat a handful of flavored crickets. Indeed, indeed. Oh, I think I typed your name wrong. You typed my name wrong? The mythical L I C O S L O R E? How dare. There we and, go. And I've also streamed uh, me playing Fallout 3 because indeed. I've wanted to play Fallout. 
and I have friends who are really into Fallout. I have never touched these games. So I went in full, ex full, full of excitement and adventure, and I was horrified when I found out what a centaur was. Are they not the half, half human, half horse satyr thing? Well, in the lore of Fallout, they're more than just a person and an animal. Are they mutants? They're a person and many animals mutated. Interesting. It's got many limbs. Santa. Oh. It's got like. I like body horror. That's my kind of jam. It's like six legs. Oh my god, that's not so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, pop going to follow if you so like to. He's my he's my bro. So it's yeah. all about. I'll, I'll get back to streaming. Love. And uh, yeah, on the YouTube, I've been playing Terrain of Magical Expertise. That's it's always fun. Sonic 2006. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, oh. two, Sonic 06. I personally have been watching through Glenn's series of Tome, which I love. The lore in that game, the voice acting is wonderful. Yes. I love it. It's got some I of my favorite voice actors in it, personally, mm -hmm. including you. <gasps> oh, okay. And then he's also been playing through Sonic 06 right now. I think you're on like episode five or something. And that game yeah. is... That you game, make you make light of a bad situation, and it's, it's perfect. It's so buggy, and like the thing is, like I was surprised how far we got because I think I remember playing it by myself years ago. You're definitely like, getting faster than many people have. And I'm like, faster I don't most. remember faster getting suck. past the beach. Mm -hmm. I remember <clears throat> get, just getting stuck at the beach. Oh my gosh! A few comments popping in. Yeah. I'm only half sorry. What did Sagittarius do? <laughs> what didn't he do? So he's like the Rat King? Maybe. Don't say that in NSFW here. It brings the Ariel Eight Legs comic to mind. Maybe more. <laughs> eight Legs. <laughs> What's that, Grimsby? Seven <laughs> vaginas. Grimsby, maybe more. more. I gotta go, Grimsby. Thanks, Grimsby. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my god. I haven't thought of that video in years. That's cursed. I forgot that it existed. <laughs> Lorelai, why? I think that was, oh, that was like a high no. school thing for us. Oh my god. Like, I remember, it was like just sometimes we just go, eight legs, seven The vaginas. fact that I feel like eight legs <laughs> can in and of itself be done more. You could do that, kazoo. Allow me for a kazoo rendition. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder of the video that haunted my nightmares. Uh, oh you're all going corrupt to Jasper. Where were we? Making mocktails. We made the jet. We need need the flames of the sun. Flames uh, of the flames sun. Flames of the sun. And then the habanero Virgin pepper. Mary vice. The Virgin Miami Vice. Right. Not Miami. the Virgin Mary. Yeah. You are not about people. Like, dude, I had a way crazy idea last night. Biblically accurate cocktails. Oh my God. It's like regular cocktails, except. I don't know, with like eyeballs and limbs and stuff? No, my first thought was like a, a shot glass just filled with like candy eyeballs. Oh my god. Dude, Halloween's coming up Wait. eventually. Actually, that could work though. <laughs> could. Jello eyeball shots. I've given you ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And so the Virgin Miami Vice basically combined, it was like half pina colada and half like strawberry lime daiquiri up on top. Again, no alcohol on that. There was some coconut cream. That was delightful. Pineapple juice. There was crushed ice. We made crushed ice for some reason. Oh, we, we had to use all whipping cream because we whipping didn't have Whipping cream half as opposed to half and half. And then the other half of it, the other half of the thing was blended in two parts with some lime juice, some strawberry, which we made into puree and some simple syrup along with it. Yeah. Wonderful. It was delightful. Uh, the, the coconut cream was a little solid. Or the oil was a little solid. It yeah, was, a, you know, but it, was, it was fun. It was fun. We like that. Yeah. And then the thing that we just recently did this was, was the, the Japanese, Japanese thirst killer. killer. Thank you. I hardly know her. Only time I'm making that joke this uh, this stream. Um, but it combined grape juice or ja, which is slightly alcoholic, some Angostura bitters, also very slightly alcoholic, as well as club soda up on top, and there was one other ingredient in there. Oh, it was a little acid phosphate, which we used the we lemon used juice. Lemon. We used some lemon juice for. It was great. Mm -hmm. A couple more comments. Ooh, brah. <laughs> you sounded like a Charlie Brown adult with that kazoo. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We found the secret. Lots of fire and rings. Very much so. Dude, biblically accurate cocktail sounds for an Easter stream. Never. Mm. Oh my god. That'd be interesting. That. That's such an idea. I need to write that down. Yeah, write that down on the board. Wait. Biblically. What are the other comments when I'm writing this down? Okay, so. Dude, biblically accurate cocktails for an Easter stream. 
Never, never did have the slime rancher jello shots. You know, technically speaking, and corrupted Jasper it. just says for shame. For shame. I and mean, I never actually had those. I, I think we need to get some recipes for those. I've, It'd be cool to do a whole. I've, I've, I, I have gelatin. I've prepared maybe, for jello shots. Maybe I've never I done them yet. Play slime rancher. At some Dude, point. slime rancher's so fun. I know. I um, hot minute. Yes. Wow. Uh, it's very cute and it looks very fun. Indeed. And, In any case, Glenn, I'm yes. gonna go back to. The list the, that we have the here. The list of dreams. I've there already is, decided. We are at the two and a half hour mark, and really it depends. We probably have time for one or two more mocktails this evening. I, I hope so, because I like I, so. I, I've enjoyed like all of these. I'm glad. Um, Can we play it together like us as Corrupted Jasper? Yes, sure. I will play I will play, I will play so Slime cute. Ranger with you. Corrupted Jasper has been to this bar, and unfortunately, that happened during the Spicy Spirit stream, and she, I didn't have the bar with an ex guest book yet, so the next time that you pop up here, we need to retroactively add your name to the bar with an ex guest book. Also, you have great faces for reaction shots. They oh are very God. funny. I made, my, I made some shorts from that. <laughs> He's made some stuff. shorts, and a lot of them are your reaction sniffing Absolutely things. Absolutely iconic. So funny. Check out the C A M E R O X N YouTube channel, and we've got some shorts. I've started to make shorts for the bar with an ex because some of these moments have to be preserved. Anyhow. For shame. They go boop. Some Anyhow, go boop. the drink I've chosen is the Entrot, inspired by Lord of the Rings, that thing I've never seen. So actually, that is an excellent choice. Glenn, could I ask you to write Entrot? Entrot? I think it's draft. Ent Entrot. Like draft. Up on the board? Sure. Use that to erase. And so I will I give a quick, it. I will give a bit of a backstory on this one because the end draft is the only mocktail, one of the only mocktails that I've prepared this evening that actually comes from one of the books. I've streamed this one before. One of my first, really, one of my, actually the, I think it was one of the first or the first, it might've been the second full bar with an X stream that happened where it was more than one cocktail at a time was actually me going through this Geeky Bartender book. And in the Geeky Bartender book, there is a recipe, a non-alcoholic recipe here for something from the Lord of the Rings, specifically Ent Draft. And I'm gonna go to that page. I think it's somewhere in the back over here. Where are you, pal? Where are you, pal? Glenn can look at my phone while I look at the stuff in the back. Blue milk, long long milk, slurm, and drop. There we are. Draft, drop, and drought. Pronounced and drought. I believe it's drought. I believe that's the case. Drought or draft. Draft or drought. Not so sure, honestly. And drought. Draft or drought. Inspired by the Lord of the Rings. The beverage makes its first appearance in the second book of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, The Two Towers. As fans will know, the Ents were the ancient tree people of Middle-earth, dwelling in Fangorn Forest. Merry and Pippin spend a lot of time in the Fangorn Forest after escaping Sauron's clutches, and there they make friends with Treebeard, the eldest of the Ents. During their time in the Treebeard's house, Merry and Pippin are given the drink of the Ents and it gives them a feeling of being refreshed from the tips of their toes up to the ends of the hair on their heads. They grow a few inches taller than the average hobbit size because of the libation that they have had. I will not be reading the entirety of the book. Naturally, y'all can go buy it yourself. It is The Geeky Bartender, Real Life Recipes for Fantasy Cocktails by Cassandra Reader, AKA The Geeky Chef. This book is such a wonderful, it's, it's such a wonderful collection of cocktails and cocktails, mocktails, and other libations and stuff alike. Ent drought. How do we make ent drought? So, well, I'm glad you asked, Glenn. What we need to do is in our glass, we need to muddle 10 mint leaves and we need to use maple syrup and stuff. And then we also need some lightly brewed green tea. And I have an idea how we're going to do that. On, uh, That's okay. You're going to be standing in front of it anyway. Yeah. But, bro, you don't drink tea trees. But the tea, though. But Glenn is a big fan of the tea. Not if they make him taller. Oh, Glenn, please don't get any taller. I literally would have to go up to the camera and adjust the angle one more time. Glenn is literally at the top. My hand on top of his head is outside of the view of the camera right now. I love it. I have so much space when Glenn is around here. It's so great. Because How much taller can you get? Boy. I don't know, Glenn. You shouldn't be growing. Stop, stop growing. No. It makes me jealous. Why? I don't know. All right, so I I'm could be do... the Alphonse to your Edward. You could. So actually, I had an idea for this one. Yes. You can brew green tea. You can use like hot tea and make the green tea itself a thing. However, what I wanted to do instead I is saw these. yes, what I have over here are these little tea balls. I am under the impression that they are green tea. I believe the last time I had this, they were a green tea. I'm not exactly sure to be honest. They have labeling on them that is some sort of. Eastern script. It could be Chinese 
It could be Japanese. I think it's I think it's Chinese. Actually, if anybody would know, I shouldn't be the one trying to make assumptions and stuff. This is a little tea ball that I have. They're cute. And this is this is what it says on it. I hope it the says, camera adjusts to be able to. Look um, at it. Cameron, are these like the little like um the, like tea balls that like open up and blossom well, that's, the that's what I'm thinking I believe it is so Anna when she went to the fla uh, the, um, the flower show the Philadelphia flower show last year she actually picked these up for me from a little tea vendor that was there oh. and honestly I don't know how to utilize these things but I figure if it is tea what we can do is instead of hot brewing it it'll be like a, like a quick process of ripping the stuff out of there and technically if we take the time that it is to build everything else up. We won't steep it for a little bit too long. I figure we can just fill a cup up with water, put a couple of these guys in it, and let it slowly infuse into the water because it's supposed to be slightly chilled anyways. Okay. I think that'll be a good idea. Sure. No clue. We have no idea, but we're gonna use it anyway. Yeah. And I have drank this before and I didn't, nothing happened. Aside from me feeling good with the little bit of caffeine I have. So I think it'll be okay. Well, it was an end drug. Mm-hmm. Maybe this time I'll go taller. Glenn, could I ask you to take these and put them over yonder? Execution. Execution. I smash them up Finally. before shattering them. Be like Miss Frizzle. We're gonna do it anyway. I didn't, if they're, oh, I, oh, it's a little, little wet on my board over here. Well, I, think, I don't, I don't think I need to cut anything anymore. So let's put this in the, let's put that in the bucket. I will toss this in the bucket. Chuck it in the bucket. This take chances, bucket. make mistakes, get a little messy. That was the, that's the quote we're looking for. Okie dokie. So what I will do in the meantime is I'm going to grab a stirring glass here. I believe this calls for, I don't think we're shaking things, right? In a stirring glass, muddle the middle, the mint leaves and maple syrup, add the lemon juice and almond extract to the muddled mint, pour the green tea in the stirring glass, stirring goodbye. So this is actually made in a glass. And I believe it says here that it's lightly, it's supposed to be chilled, lightly brewed green tea. So I think the last time I made this, I actually made this hot because the, the image that I have, I guess it's not really hot. It's supposed to be light. It's supposed to be a light thing. So essentially, we're just going to build this straight in the glass itself. What I'll have on the side, Glenn, if you can fill this up with some water, like halfway up the glass, I'll put these little D-balls inside of it to allow that to lightly brew while we take care of the other ingredients and stuff. Glenn, this is a very heavy left-hand side job. Street up uh, mocktail. Half a cup of water? Half a cup of water. I'm oh. also going to ask you to actually I, I know exactly who these are. I'm not gonna let you struggle with it. Okay. I'm gonna grab some almond extract, which is conveniently located next to the THC extract. We're not using that. <laughs> we also need let's see, I got my almond extract and I need mint? the other thing. Mint I have down here. What was the other piece? Oh maple syrup. Maple syrup is back here somewhere. I need to find it. Both of us are off street. Uh, off sorry. Street. That's on me. I know I had the maple syrup around here somewhere. Where are you, bud? <laughs> oh, Ow! What? Oh, there you are. It was beneath the coconut flakes. Uh -huh. Yeah, things are precariously stacked on this side of the stream. It's a. Uh, it's off camera. So it's not safe. It's, ah! There goes one of my lights. It's fine. Oh, it knocked over Super Mario too. Oh uh, no! It's fine. No, I'm gonna repair. And then I also need. Now we're good. That's that's the part that people can't see. And then I need some mint leaves, which are in here. Nice. Cool. Whew. We got everything. Ooh, little was not a mess limiter. Hey, Lure, I think they're enjoying the void off stream. Oh, hey, Laura, uh, I think oh. we're, I think they're enjoying the void. Cause Laura a lot. Love, <laughs> love the void, my <laughs> friends. Your name was shortened. Love the vor, lo love the vor, my friends. <laughs> I, I combined void and void and lore together. Love the vor, my friends. Love, the hey. Love the vor, my friends. Love the vor, my friends. Love the vor. Love the vor. Munch, munch, munch. In my oh. tongue. Yum. Are you happy in there? Uh, I am very happy. Cameron, Love no. The Cameron, yes! <laughs> Cameron, yes! Cameron, why? Cameron, Cameron. how? <laughs> There's a bunch of people screaming outside. <laughs> so I'm going Cameron to Cameron who? Cameron who? It happens. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to take this ball here. I did try to brew this As is. in the ball, and it, it didn't work. So Let me unwrap the other one like, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just like unwrap these little balls here, and we're going to put them into the container. We're just going to put the tea in there. Probably strain it out before we do anything else with it. I'm just going to kind of open it up. It's a little, it's a little, huh, it looks like a walnut. Check this out. It's a little, it's a little like a, it looks like a walnut. Thing. Open it up and there's a little like a, it does kind of look like a little walnut in there. Oh, you know what I think it was? I think I remember now. It's the, it's the, the tea is inside this little ball. of this little ball here. And this might be like a little nut or something. There's a little, there's a little hole in the bottom. And I think this is actually, this is a puck of tea leaves in there. Hmm. That's where it is. Very I remember. Cool. 
I remember. Anyhow, shall we? Shall our friends go? I believe. Shall our nutty friends take I a dip? Shall, I think we should nut the friends in the dip. Oh, it floats. Oh. oh. Hmm. Interesting. That won't be good, because then how's the tea going to stay? You're right. Maybe we need to, like, agitate a little bit. What am I doing with my fingers? I specifically have this guy. Here. What are we trying to do with these things? Just, just... Cameron and Lyca is playing with some, playing with some like quasi have... nuts in the wait, in the water. Wait, I do have a tool. I have a bendy strip. Yeah, let's work together on this. What if I try to slurp <laughs> out this? <laughs> Why are we doing dance of the show? Yeah, I don't think this is the way that the creators of these teapods intended them to go, but you know what? I feel just... like I feel like we're offending people. I, I don't know. Woo! I don't know whether I'm doing this correctly or not, but hopefully by the time that we're done dicking around doing whatever else we're doing, as they were wise, um, oh, this will be... Uh, someone lost their top. Oh my god, that's okay. I lose my top sometimes. Oh my god. Get, get the... I'm just gonna... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to dislodge all the tea leaves, and slowly but surely they are doing their job. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, we will we will let the tea slowly but surely steep over there. I think there is a very good amount of tea that is now oh, God, off there steeping over there. Oh, tea leaves were in those things. Dang. Yeah. Well, I think they expanded in water. A lot of it's kind of floating. Some of it's down to the bottom. Somebody who's into tasteography should tell me what the tea the tea leaves are divining for us. Mm. In any case, so on a scale from one to ten, how NSFW would the stream get? Uh, it's fairly clean. Four, five. <laughs> Probably not very nice at W. Although, speaking of not safe for work, y'all came through. On Friday, I'm reading Ice Planet Barbarians, an erotic book on stream on Friday. I will be reading the entire book because you guys asked me to. Beautiful. So we will. I will I will do that. I, but I only Tune have on one Friday. real memory of that book, and it was mm. I read literally a sentence. And my girlfriend went from fine to very uncomfortable in one sentence. Yeah, so tune in on Friday night, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the normal time, where I will be reading an entire book. And if Twitch bans me, then we'll be moving to the Discord server. Well, and so be it. it, is, it is it Chuck Tingle, though? It is not Chuck Tingle, thankfully. All right, Glenn, I'm going to grab us some cups over here. Yes. I only have two glasses that looks like they would probably use oh, tea in them. Oh, that's cute. And so it's actually good. I got a little, I got a little toddy glass here. And actually, <laughs> I picked up I picked up this glass from SeaWorld while we were over in San Diego. It's got a little, it's got a little uh, rainbow think, dolphin on it. stuff in there? Oh, my God. It does look dirty. I don't think this has ever been cleaned. Oh. Is, I, I'm pretty sure I cleaned it. All right, well, let's... um. Don't get planned, please. Cam's reading smut on stream and the cringe is real. Sentence. Oh my goodness. That's okay. It'll probably just be a temporary ban, if anything. This is kind of my way of testing Twitch's limits. I'm getting to that point where I'm growing a little big for my britches. I want to know if Big Brother will let me. Big Brother Twitch, that is. Dolphins dirty? Never. No. Um, actually, this guy needs a little bit, too. The I haven't used these in a while. That's that's totally on me. And it looks like our tea is actually infusing there. It's a Holy crap. different color than it was previously, so it is most definitely working. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to muddle the mint leaves in the maple syrup using a muddler or a wooden spoon. Glenn! Yeah, we're going to gonna need to clean off that little muddler that we have. I don't know what we muddled with it before. It was habaneros. Yeah, so I think we're going to... Here, I will hand you, I will hand you the bartender's rag to give it a little bit of a, like, get a little bit of a squirch. Oh, that is. The entire thing was soaked. Well, that's why we have, that's why we have more water, you know? And in the meantime, what I'll do is I will measure out uh, a full fluid ounce of pure, pure maple syrup for each of our glasses. Am I and eventually, die from fisting the bucket? I certainly hope not. And I will take pretty much all the mint that I have. I just bought it from the store. And I will place it into both of these containers. So that's going to be a little bit of a process. Oh, While Glenn's no. doing one thing, I'll do the other one. Corrupted Jasper says, Yeah, unless you want to find out what Hellfire tastes like, clean that real good. Oh, we already taste... Oh my god, hi there. <laughs> it smells like it smells habanero. Like habanero. <laughs> I wonder if it tastes like habanero. What, you want to give it a lick? Mmm, why don't you give it a lick? The return of Judge Frollo. Hellfire. Hellfire. This fire. It's in my mouth. 
There's fire in my skin. There actually is footage of me dressed up as Claude Frollo from Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame playing a point-and-click adventure game. That was that was the Halloween stream. It was great. What game was it? It's if called I, Truberbrook. I was hoping you were gonna sing King's Quest. No. Space Quest. Dude. No, not those point-and-click adventure games. That, not a classic point-and-click adventure game. That's old school Sierra, that's right? That's very now. old school Sierra. Uh, Sierra. I don't. This. I wouldn't say this is old school. It's actually all the man animation was done. I think using claymation. Oh. It's actually a really cool game. Cool. Truberbrook. It, it's a town in Germany, specifically in like I think 1960s Germany, which like may have been Nazi Germany. I'm not familiar on my history, so uh, I could be wrong. There. Yeah, I'm pretty bad with history. Hmm. That's in any a case, question for my father, not me. So I have put just about. 10 minute leaves. It's muddling time, boy. It's muddling time, baby. That was wrong. <laughs> in front of the microphone, you dick. I can't believe you. The people hate you. Put that off to the side. Well, I mean, listen, tell me something I don't already know. So we're gonna add about an ounce of the 100% pure maple syrup that I got from Highland Sugar Works, probably in Vermont, right? Maybe, that makes sense. Product of Vermont. Vermont. Oh, My brother lives Vermont. up there. I need to know exactly how many ounces are in this container to see that I have enough. <laughs> It does not say how many ounces are in this container. So what I'm going to try to do is measure out a single ounce of each of them into each of these. No hate. Only love. It's Salt. only love. Oh, only love. Wow, that tea is really brewing, actually. I'm perfect. Kind of surprised. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see if I can get a full ounce out of this. Dude, that looks like liquid gold. Oh my goodness, this beautiful. I love this consistency. Oh. That is oh gorgeous. So that's like a scant, let's see. That's a little little less than a full ounce in terms of metric measuring. Let's see if I can get equal parts out of the other one. Uh-oh. It's fallen a little bit short. So I'll just use the rest of it there. I didn't have a full two ounces to give for each of them. What I'll do is I'll add a bit over there, a bit over there, do a little bit of evening, just to, be, just to make sure we all get to know each other. And there we go. There that's goes. probably good. Oop. How's the taste? It's pure maple syrup, dude. That shit's so good. Oh. A cute little glass. I might as well break it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so now, Glenn, would you like to conduct the muddleage? Sure, I can try the muddleage. Excellent! Yeah, I'll just kind of go. Conduct the muddleage! In the meantime, I will show the people how our, how our um, infusion has been going over here. What a beautiful color that's become. It's very nice. That is a very, very nice color. I love that. And it's only gonna get darker. I think oh, I just splashed myself. Oh, with the with the mint maple syrup. Yes. Minty maple Ooh, syrup infusion. That's really nice. I feel like this is gonna taste really good. Yeah. Because technically speaking, I did it warm the last time, and that's technically incorrect. Okay, I think that one's pretty decent. All right, made. nicely muddled. We love that. And then after you muddle up your mint and maple syrup, we're gonna add a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which again, I don't have a teaspoon oh, here, so we can do a bump, a pump. I might need another lemon. There's definitely another lemon in there. Oh yeah, no, I got you. Container. I got you. Coolio. Do, 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 do. I see you. Get out of my way, banana, or I will eat you. Imagine what bartending and cooking streams will be like with smell-o-vision. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude. My eyes! I think people will be addicted to the Food Network. Oh my god, yeah. Right? Dude, I would want nothing more to be able to taste, smell, everything. That is pretty I want to taste network. with my ears. I want to taste with my eyes. Allow my eyes to lick your cooking. Let my, Eye candy. Let my nose see your flavor. Oh my god. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very quickly cut this lemon in half. We really only need half of it. That's um, a very pleasant not sound. Even, not too. even half either. Oh, and, that just dripped. Ooh, nice and drippy. Feel free to put that in, back into the bucket. And while you're over near the bucket, ooh, like put in the put in the. Ooh, yeah, nice, nice. God forbid we have to use that later. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. What's a couple of licks also, between bros? Also, that is really nice. It's a good. It's the right. maple syrup and with the, the mint. mint. Oh yeah, I oh, remember that being really a stink, nice. distinctly wonderful combo. What? Can I also have the squazer? Oh, what? oh, squash. This squash is tasty, It's the one you don't like. No, it's No, this is like. the one I do like. Ow! My fingers. No, I, I was lying on purpose. Add about a teaspoon of lemon juice to each of these. I'm going to do about a single pump. That's about a pump and a dribble. Pump and a dribble. Pump and a dribble. There we go. Yeah, That's fine. Glenn, there is lemons left over. 
I will let Put I will, them on my coaster. Oh, Glenn's got a coaster over here. Right, 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 right. Yeah, remember I used that like the beginning of the stream to eat my true. limes and then you I'm gonna put that one on top of the other half of the habanero peppers. Thank you, sir. No problem. After your lemon juice, you're going to add a drop of almond extract. I have almond extract. I think the only time I have ever used almond extract was the last time that I made this drink. <laughs> because nothing else calls for almond extract. But I need a single drop of it. And so I'm going to attempt as much as possible to a do single drop. A single drop. You see, you know what? I feel like I feel like this would be better. Go with the dramatic cam. Dramatic cam. Dramatic cam on the dramatic camera. Let's see if I can get a nice angle here. Oh what? Camera. Sometimes sometimes it pays for the you know, the nice angle. Cameron angles, right? is about to go in for the year. Almond extract drop. I need to move my freaking water goblin out I of the way. I swear to God, I was so worried that was to going goblet. to fall. I'm going to drop the goblets. That's what's if going. that thing fell and shattered, we I there think we, we would both cry. I need a single drop. He's going in for the drop. All right. All right. He's beginning to tip. It's coming. It's almost on the. It's on the brink. It's on the brink. And oh, oh two drops. One drop, one, one You one big disgust drop. me! I'm gonna try again, don't worry, I have one more chance. I have one more chance. Don't screw this one up, or chance. I swear to the dogs, I will eat your face. Oh my god! Oh. It dropped! It dropped in the other direction! Oh. It was seeping out the side! Did we get it? Did yes. we get it? Did we get it? Yeah. Yeah, we did! Woo. Your face survives another day! Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Any more than a single other drop, and your show is canceled. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, welcome to show. Welcome to cancel culture. Cambar ASMR. Cameron, did you drop your goblet into the name of the fire? I did not. Not this time, bro. You need a dropper. I do have a single dropper, but I wasn't gonna use it. Also, on this. It, 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 droppers are kind of a pain to clean. Now, Glenn, I must warn you. Yes. It contains alcohol because it's. Fucking... It's organic alcohol. I must warn you, Glenn. This has a little bit of alcohol in it. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> oh no, no! Yeah, of course I am, I don't care. Have some fun. Very good. <laughs> Let's have some fun! Also, Glenn says as he chugs an entire bottle of almond extract. Also, that tea is looking really nice. Like, that's a very pretty color. This is the part. Where, where he single goes drop of still recovering from the breakup. LMAO, the single, single dropper, as opposed to the couple dropper. <gasps> ba -ba -ba. What if the couple dropped? Everyone do the flop! We'll see. It, it, I, was, I did the single drop. I was the only one who dropped. Oh, well, that was a joke. Now someone else did the flop. It just took them Ooh, a while hello, to hit knife. the ground. Right near my hand. Oh, hey, knife! Hello! Hello, knife! Hello! Oh. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta pour in, it says here, eight ounces of our tea. Cameron James Calv says, Mr. Paul Tracy. Hello there, sir. Mr. That is my Paul name. Tracy. That's my full name. My middle name is James. Now you know. It's true. <laughs> oh! Or maybe that's supposed to be. Ooh. Get I don't it? know. Anyways. Oh my god. Someone used his full name. Oh. Somebody's in trouble. You in I'm trouble. In trouble. I made a boo-boo. Oh. I put alky walky in the tea. They're about to have a few more boo-boos. Oh my god. If the spoon has anything to say. So we apparently need a full eight ounces of each of these in there. Honestly, I think I can probably just eyeball it at about half up to the cup. Okay. So I think you should strain it though. Naturally. No, we have a strainer for that. Absolutely. So what we've been doing in the background is we have been taking this tea over here. It's supposed to be green tea. I recall it being green. This is a bit of a brown coloring now, if all things considered. So it's a... I think it'll be nice all right. Golden color, actually. In Utah right now, Chief car got shipped Monday. Ooh, so Ooh. that means you are currently without a motor vehicle. How is Utah treating you, sir? He was previously in Vermont, up near where my brooder lives, where we got this maple syrup from. All right, let's see how this thing looks when we when we enhancing change the, angle. the dramatic cam. Enhancing the dramatic cam. I like that angle. I've never tried that angle before. Ooh. Wow. So essentially all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my bestest to put up put up in here Brother Sister All right, let's pour it in Somebody's got a weird question for Glanny boy. Oh boy. Hang on Brother I have weird question What is it for? Why? 
Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Watch out, Cameron. Watch out, Cameron. There we go. I think this. I think we'll properly be able to use all of the D in there. That's so good. We like to not waste things. Yeah. Honestly, it's pretty good. Yeah. I love the way this looks. The liar's not asked a weird question yet, and I'm getting very bored. What I'm actually going to try to do is I'm going to try to dry out these tea leaves so I can try this tea again tomorrow. Mm. Glennie boy, you're staying over tonight, right? Of course. Oh, we should try this tea in the morning. Yes, we should. Absolutely. Because, dude, I'm not dropping this lately. <laughs> I would class question. In, in your, your trash, trash can. can. Trash can. Your stomach? Your mouth? I don't know. Is it is it the chuck it bucket? The honorary chuck it bucket? Isn't that the honorary chuck and bucket? Can you place this over in the corner? I thought you were going to say, can you throw this in the chuck and bucket? Can you please chuck this at the wall, please? <laughs> I would like to do nothing more than clean up glass tomorrow. <laughs> Glenn! Yes? We have created... Ent Drought. Ent Drought. Or Ent Draught. I don't really know anymore, to be perfectly honest. How does Ooh. it smell? It smells kind of like Earl Grey. Very minty, too. I'm getting a very big mint note there. Oh. No, bro, no trash. trash. Mother, Mother might have thrown out matter. legit metalware. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. In your trash can. What? Oh, I think your trash can at home might have some metal in it, bro. Yeah. Better go check it. <laughs> Not right now. Hey, man. is you, Does your trash can have metal in it? I don't know. Because you better go catch it. Uh, uh, where's the fucking kazoo? <laughs> <laughs> Just where's the fucking kazoo? Cheers, my friend. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. My hand is covered in syrup. Oh, you can wash your hands then. Oh. <laughs> this man decided to to wash his hands. Stick his hand close to, but not directly underneath the spigot of the water dispenser and just pfft, water onto my floor. <laughs> Listen, there's some worse things at this bar. It's okay, we just don't tell my landlord that I'm scuffing the floor over here, scuffing the floor over there. The whole floor was scuffed. This varnish is peeling up absolutely freaking everywhere. It's disgusting. <laughs> In any case, I didn't see any said corrupted. I mean, not trashed isn't good, but they are MIA otherwise. It was in a white bag alongside the grapes. Not like we don't have more. We don't. Uh-oh. This is very minty. It's very pleasant. It's a very pleasant drink. Like, I feel like this is a nice drink. Like, you would wake up with. It's like a tea. Like This, this is sort of this is very much like, it tastes like a very sweetened, like, mint water. Yes. It kind of tastes like sweet mint water. But, like, I can taste the, actually, I can really taste the maple syrup, come to think of it. I can really taste that. Wow, that's good. Should I eat the leaves? I mean, it's just mint. You can eat mint leaves if you want to. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I love how I was like, you can eat mint leaves as I just watched the mint leaf like crawl its way over Clem's tongue. Oh my God. That's beautiful. I need to mark that as an important moment in this stream. That was incredible. <laughs> can the button work, please? Thank you, Twitch. No, oh my no. God. <laughs> oh my God. F for the leaf and whatever metal we're. This is really good. That's it's really interesting nice. to think that, like, I so so breaking that down, I can taste the mint in there. Mm -hmm. I can taste the sweetness of the maple syrup. I can taste the maple syrup, and I can taste the tea too. The tea, it's definitely not an Earl Grey. It's not flavored like, with with. It um, smelled like an Earl Grey, but it doesn't taste anything. like I really Earl Grey. don't know what kind of tea that is. I've, I've we drank a lot of tea in our lives. Yes, Glenn used to work for Tivana. Yeah, and I just Way have at one. least two dozen types of teas downstairs that I'm just like. Uh, in my very drink goblin-esque style. I'm like, eh, I that one. Uh, meanwhile, I also have a drink of water and coffee. It's, it's the whole thing. Um, but this doesn't taste like any tea that I remember ever having. It's nice. I think the last time I made this, I actually just used like regular green tea that I got from like Whole Foods. And it was, mm. it was okay. I like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Mm. I ate the mint leaf as well. Not as pleasant as smelling it. <laughs> it really isn't. Uh, after a certain point, it kind of tastes like trying gum. Kind of, it's got gummy. Tea, tea alcohol, tea alcohol stream. Yo, tea, a theme that is being planned with potentially a visitor. Love that. Amy Chow actually has a bunch. Oh, I'm not surprised. Oh my goodness. 
It's so great. Just to get like a little bit off topic, I guess not off topic per se, as, as Glenn and I enjoy enjoy our little, our ent drought here, uh, is that I've been doing a lot more, I, I think over the past like couple, about a, the past month or so, ever since we had a couple more people on the stream, it's been a lot easier for me to like really process like different uh, theme and stream ideas. It's really great what the community has done to really get my, I, I think I said it before, I feel like I have my ducks in a row now, and this this stream is feeling more streamlined. So I'm really happy that the Bar with the Next can host weekly cocktail stuff mm -hmm. and me not feel anxious about getting things together. It's a, I, I greatly appreciate it. Everybody in the effort that you've put in as well. And it's cool too. I'm literally planning streams out a month in advance. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would get to this point. Y'all, y'all, stick around. It gets fun. Biblically accurate cocktails one day, yep. whatever that means. Probably not for Easter. Say, I don't know if I'll be able to pull that together. No, nah, because Easter's too soon. Up, yeah, right in the corner. Well, I guess it's next month. Actually, there. So you have a month, but at the same time, eh, maybe. Is it her as Le Visitor? I don't know. I don't know. I guess you'll have to stick around and find out. Watch the stream. Stick around and follow for more. If I haven't mentioned already, hi there. We're broadcasting live on Twitch. Uh, if you're if if today is not a Wednesday for you. Or perhaps it is a Wednesday, but it's a Wednesday after this Wednesday. You're probably finding us either on the Twitch channel as a highlight or on the YouTube channel, the Cameron with an X YouTube channel, as a VOD. Hello, all you friends. Hello. This stream runs according to, like, to like this thing up here says, every Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Twitch.tv channel. Cameron with an X here. With the bar with an X. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's, it's, it's spelled X-B-A-R. It is. It is. In any case, that's my, that's my plug. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy this type of content, Leave and tell your friends and then bring them next time. Also, I have to. My gut tells me I must. Mm, what are you doing? You said that was your plug. This was my shameless plug. This is why we're friends. <laughs> One of the many reasons why we're friends. Incredible. I'm just like, make a clear drink turn purple, water into <laughs> wine. Dude, that's such a great idea. I know exactly how to do that. Holy shit. Wait, where's my marker? That is such a good idea. Jesus. Uh, water into wine, color changing. These are my notes for later. All right, um, yeah, here's another announcement for the community. Not really an announcement or everything. I'm planning on making a bot command, and I don't know what to call it. Something like exclamation point, like notepad, or remember this, or check, blah, 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 whatever. Just so that anytime I say, oh my god, I have to remember this, we can write down exclamation point, like remember or something, and it sends what? me a Discord message, specifically so I don't forget the things that I say uh, that I'm going to remember on stream. Just like exclamation point, jot it down. Jot? <laughs> Jot! <laughs> Jot it down! There's so many ideas here. Anyway, that'll be a question for the workshop. I have a workshop channel as well on the Discord server where I ask things because I'm stupid. <laughs> you have your workshop, you have like two elves. And that was one my, of them. Yeah. And that's the other part of the plug. Join the Discord server. That's what we talk about. Other, a lot of the stuff gets planned on the Discord. It's great. Make a clear. Oh, yes. Hashtag or, or exclamation mark bar notes. A Jot bot. A bot that does the jottage. Anyways. This tea is delightful. I swallowed a mint leaf whole. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Anyways, that we'll was great. Say, the mint leaves, not great for consumption. The tea itself is the one. Actually, so I have a vi I have an image in my bar book of the last time I made this drink. Here's the very artifacted picture of what the drink looked like the last time. Honestly, all things considered, kind of similar to this time. That. that. That, that, that. Honestly, all things considered, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good indeed. All right. All right. That's really good. And at the bottom, there's more maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. That's a good shit. That's a good. That's good stuff. Do you feel taller yet? No. Mm. Do I feel taller yet? No, not really. Sorry, man. You. It's fine. You've been like the same height since like 2016. I haven't grown at all, and I'm very happy with my pleasant five six, maybe five five and a half. Nobody really knows anymore. I like to round up. Feels yeah. good. Glenny boy, that was delightful. Holy crap! At this point in time, I would usually say that we're out of time. 
However, I'm having a great time. Same. And I would love to do at least one more. Yes, I think one more and then I can bring in the peeps. At the very end of the stream, there's been a very gracious donation by Sir Lycos over here of Peeps Pepsi. The, the question is, I just want to taste it. That's really all I want to do. Yeah. I want to taste it and I want to put something in it. So that's all really Cameron since I have been choosing the drinks all night How about you choose our final drink? It is my turn to choose the final mocktail on the Mocktails with Lycos lore and, and subsequently Cameron with the X stream And so let's see we have done and drought We've done flames of the sun. sun. We've done the Japanese thirst killer. We've done the virgin Miami vice the last one I want to do Ooh. Is something called Switchel. What is Switchel? Switchel has a whole history around it that I didn't actually write down for the stream, unfortunately. I was found by my friend Anjali sent me an Instagram reel that contained the recipe for Switchel. And apparently, according to my notes here, it's a Vermont drink in hmm. line with the Vermont maple syrup that we had before. I don't exactly know why it's a Vermont drink, but maybe the folks who have been or were in Vermont can let me know why Switchel is a Vermont thing. Actually, if, you, if you're if you a person from B Vermont, please let us know. Alexa, what is Vermont Switchel? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, it is a switch that can control your lights and other stuff in your home. <laughs> Man, look at me, I must be the dumbass. I don't know what a fucking switch is. Excuse me, Alexa. All right, so apparently they done, do them out. All right, that's okay. Somebody else can Google it for me and give me the history lowdown. Anyway, Switchel is made using strawberries, some syrup, fresh lemon juice. Oh no. Oh, we're out of maple. I used all the maple syrup. Shh. Do you ha not have like oh, another bottle? No, that was all the maple syrup I had. Oh. Oh. Shit. All right, we're not going to do Switchel then. Yeah. However, if you wanted to make Switchel for yourself, here's the recipe that I will share from the interwebs. Two to three chopped strawberries, a tablespoon of maple syrup, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, or a pump, a teaspoon of ginger juice, or a few uh -huh. slices of fresh ginger, a tablespoon of unfiltered apple cider vinegar, which I really wanted to hate myself with today, oh. a few fresh mint leaves, muddle them together, add some ice, top with sparkling water. That's how you would make switch. Mm, no way. I'm out of maple syrup, unfortunately. No way. I kind of feel like we dodged a bullet because I didn't want to deal with apple cider vinegar. In any case. Well, another drink. We'll do a different one. Instead, we will do. I don't want to do pina de nada. We will do. I think that'll be nice. We will do a small. We'll do a quick one. Non-alcoholic holiday morning punch. I've technically already streamed this one as well. I I, I think I we've covered almost all the mocktails that I've streamed already. Wow. Mostly because they were actually the only reason I did them then was because they were really easy mocktails to make. I just had the ingredients laying around and I wasn't trying to do anything more fancy. To be fair, we have covered a lot of other mocktails today that require the the preparation ahead of time yeah. i'm really happy that we did because they all came out really really well so mm -hmm. again like i have not been disappointed by any of these drinks they've all been really it's good perfect it's a good thing that i didn't make a single one of them they, none of them are my recipe although maybe one day. maybe one day so this next one is just called non-alcoholic holiday, holiday morning, morning punch. punch from clean clean eating kitchen.com Glenn, would you, would you do the the honors of the ingredients of list. the writing on the board? Oh, well, I can do that if you want to. This is a very long one. Would you like me to write it? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I will write. I will do the writage. I will do the writage. In the more, uh, in the meantime, how about you go and grab the ingredients? We will need orange juice. Yes. We have oranges, unsweetened cranberry juice. I have that down here. Pineapple juice and ginger ale or lemon lime soda. You can pick which one because we have both. Change sides. Change. It's like tennis and like Wii Sports. Change sides. <laughs> okay. That's a cute little exchange we did there. Oh, that's cute. So we need two cups of orange juice. Orange. Orange. Two cups unsweetened cranberry juice, chilled. Holiday morning punch. Where's your cranberry juice that's chilled? Oh, it's on the chilled? Yes. It's chilled? Yes. No, we're skipping that. <laughs> I didn't chill it. 100% pineapple juice chilled. We'll just put ice in <laughs> It's the end of the stream. Everything bro. here says it should be chilled. 
Interesting. How you know, about we just put it? See, see, this recipe confuses me too. Because why are you calling it? I guess, I guess you're calling it non-alcoholic holiday morning punch. Actually, one cocktail I did was literally called non-alcoholic something mocktail, and I was like, you have already, you've already described that it doesn't have alcohol in it by calling it a mocktail. Pineapple right? juice, Pineapple ginger juice. ale, or lemon lime soda. Let's go for. What would you like? Well, you got Sprite or ginger ale? I got both of them, I'm pretty uh, sure. Yes, I do. Well, let's go ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ginger ale, ginger ale, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Seagrams. It's, it's not coming out of the container. Here we go. Got it. We're going to need one You'll cup. You'll catch this, bro. You got it. Hey, we got it. Now it's shaking, not stirred. Um, oh. uh, I don't know where your cranberry juice is. It's right here. Oh. Yeah, I got you, man. Ha. Hey, see these things? Means I'm blind. Got you, bro. Got you, bro. <clears throat> oh crap. And how There's still some this? mint in my mouth. I went down the wrong tube, and now That's it's scratching okay. my throat. I, that, that leaf might <clears throat> still be hanging in there somewhere. So Anyhow. what do we need to do for this? What do the instructions say? One, in a large pitcher, combine the orange juice. Oh, oh hold on a second. I have to adjust this to not be a serving size for eight people. <laughs> Let's do it for two people. Okay. Well, nice. And and I'll convert it to metric. Convert measurements to metric. <laughs> One hundred eighteen okay. milliliters orange juice chilled. One hundred eighteen milliliters is going to be about four four ounces. One hundred eighteen unsweet milliliters of unsweetened cranberry juice chilled. Fifty nine milliliters of one hundred percent pineapple juice chilled, and fifty nine milliliters of ginger ale or lemon lime soda chilled. In a large pitcher, combine the orange juice, cranberry juice, I hate cranberries, pineapple juice, and ginger ginger ale. Shakes it up even more. Stir to combine, serve immediately. That's barely instructions. It's just throw all that shit together. So this, is, this is how I think we're going to do it. It's supposed to be chilled, right? It's not chilled right now. Instead, I'm just going to take a big cube. We're going to put it on my stirring apparatus. We're going to put everything in there and just kind of stir it and then pour it into glasses. Cool. We'll just sip from the same cup uh, like a cute couple would. Not, oh, you, know, you don't need to. Uh, I thought we were going to have some fun with some fun wacky cups because I... We can do some fun wacky cups. I have some fun wacky cups. There are two... There are like two cups I really want to use. Perfect. Then we will use those. But first, we will put them in the stirring container. Yes. Oh, yeah. Stirring container. Glenn, I'm gonna I'm let you go. I'm gonna let you do this one. Oh, shit. You gonna, you gonna do it. And I will clean out okay. a measuring machine for uh, you to do so. By your foot should be a container. That orange top thing is oh. going to allow you to juice the orange. Yeah, because I'm like, that's bigger than the other thing. Ooh, we have a comment from Corrupted Jasper. Looks like the mint won't leave them alone. Just this is the, the part of the stream where I would actually ban you. See, but you're welcome to stay. No, see, this is what we do. We take this, we smash it on the bar, and then we use the glass to slit our throat. <laughs> oh, God, no, don't, no. We, you we, make a comment like that again, and this, this Chris event. Rose is coming for you. Oh my God, God Glenn, Glenn and Cameron are brandishing <laughs> weapons at the camera. Remember, TOS prohibits us from promoting That's harmful fine. content and violence. Yes. I'm not saying that I would. Be good. I'm just saying I might. Be good. Oh, I hit the microphone. <laughs> if I whack the microphone with this wrench, is that considered violence against chat? Oh my gosh. All right, go ahead and g g go for it, man. I will grab an ice cube as well. Okay. So we are going to juice this or ooh, that's juicy orange. Oh my God, Cody's head is in here. <laughs> Cody, what did he do to you? All right, we got some orange. Orangey. Now we slap, yeah. slap this nice bitch one. on here and just yeah, I go. freaking hate that juice here. Maybe you'll find I know. <laughs> Considering the one time I was over, you really hope I, you were hoping I broke it. Yeah, so Lycos was over at some point, and um, he was taking some things downstairs for me, and I was like, oh no, I hope you don't drop that really shitty orange juicer thing that I have. And all of a sudden, as he walks downstairs, <laughs> I hear a crashing sound, and I hear Anna go. Oh no! Glenn's like, uh oh. And I was like, yes! <laughs> and then I go downstairs and something else was broken. And I was like, damn it, you didn't break the thing that I wanted you to break. Well, actually, it was funny because I joked about dropping the juicer and you were just like, I would not mind at all. Oh my God. In fact, I'd be happy. Ban for puns? Never. The pun was meant to be mint condition. I can't believe I waited to, ch to share those comments. No, they're beautiful. Puns are absolutely accepted on this stream. Sometimes I just like to ironically make it seem like you would be permabanned from the channel if you made them. So, um, care to put this in the bucket? The bucket! Get, get, get. 
that was a satisfying sound. Was like <laughs> down there. <laughs> oh my gosh! So how you liking this juicer so far? Don't careful. Don't 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 like push too hard on it because that thing is sharp enough to go through the orange and then stab your hand. Because how do I know? Well, <laughs> it may have happened to me before already. I feel like this is getting caught up by the microphone. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that sound. Hey, chat, get ready for this. I'm a strong man. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh what are you doing? It's <laughs> dripping all over the bar, Glenn. Stop. <laughs> oh. Oh. And it clogged. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the thing I hate about this. So this is this is how we take care of the cloggage on there. Oh God, the squelch! Here, the let me squelch. let me let me show chat why I freaking hate this thing. Um, this is one reason. Um, take a take a look at this. Take just the yeah, like that. Look at that. It's just it's so there's so much there's so much oh. just gunk in there. It's literally pouring out the side. I don't know how. Yeah. I need to go well, no, in there. It's right there. Oh my God! I need to go in there and I need to unclog it with the the stuff. Like this is a terribly terribly designed um piece of kitchen equipment. It's like I, I freaking hate this thing and it's a bitch to clean as well. I just I just I just hate it. You know anyway, what? we have orange juice. Now. Remind me remind me at some point I'm gonna get you a new juicer. Why not just buddy? pull an Yzma and smash the juicer with a hammer? Not enough boxes. Oh God. The squelch. Yeah, no, I I mean I don't have a ham well, I have a I got a wrench. <laughs> you got rose. But no, in all seriousness, I'm gonna buy you a new one at some point. Oh <gasps> bro. Cause you hate this thing. I hate that thing so much. It's How's terrible. That, at some point we're gonna you're gonna Glenn's show gonna, me the one you want and I'll, I'll buy it. One's gonna it. come in here with one of those like like industrial like orange juice makers where well, you put well, the orange in the top, it cuts it for you, it splits it for you, it juices it, and it poops out the back of the, the, the stuff like that, and I'll be like, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> It'll take up an entire corner of a bar and be like, yeah, Glenn bought me an entire freaking machine. Um and now it's there. <laughs> yeah, okay, so orange juice is done, and that was the only thing we really needed. So the but... orange juice, we need four ounces of it into our into our pitcher. Okay, or we could just dump it. You could do that. I mean, there might be four ounces in there. Maybe less, maybe uh, more. We, how, if how it's many not four ounces, we have boy? more. Well, that's two ounces on either side. On um, every every pour well, of the big guy. Well, then we're gonna. Let's see if he can actually do it without spilling anything. Here's the here's the thing. He's not gonna be able to because this thing is terribly designed. It will actually start oh spilling God. out of a container. Right? What Look at this hell? thing. It's like it's just like I. I hate the, this thing. This what? It's terrible. Who designed this? LOL found a $60 electric one. Oh my god, god no. Oh. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Oh my goodness. So how many ounces is that, Glenn? It's not two ounces. It's yet. That's about two ounces. Alright, so one orange is about two ounces. Oh my god. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need another of, orange well can i just throw it in there oh yeah yeah absolutely but we're definitely hey, gonna need another one for the full recipe all right well slice it boy slicing conducting the slicage this orange looks a little weird because i was using it for orange peels last week oh my god did you hear that crack <laughs> yeah hear that crack oh my god it's so juicy though oh it is such a juicy orange. Oh no, it's gonna clog yeah, again. Yeah, I feel like a six. I feel like a sixty dollar one feels like that's over the price range that I would expect. Oh god, like it snapped. Yeah, no. So what happens with like what happens with oranges when you? I guess with citrus fruits in general, when you like peel them like god, that, it, is the the skin? There's no more oil left, yeah, so it so dries up. Out. It's incredible. It is. It is like it literally cracks. Like I wonder if y'all can. No, I just got juice uh, on my microphone. <laughs> oh, instead, let's just let Glenn do his squelching technique. Oh, but I gotta, excuse me, very carefully going in there. Oh, God, did you hear the crack? <laughs> that was an orange that just made that sound. It was an orange that apparently has its skull destroyed. Here, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to clear some of this out. Oh, uh, that, that side's oh not God. cracking. Here we go. There's so much guck over here. Oh, oh the sounds. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Wait, how? Oh, my goodness. Let's... Oh, oh that was a snap. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so weird to me because Here's I'm like, the other one. root should not snap. It's... Oh, my well, God. This, so this clogged. orange wants to snap. Cameron, that is so clogged. Here, allow me to, allow me to go on cleanup duty again. Put all the oh, gunk over that's here. gonna snap again. 
There we go. There we go. There's like an orange sludge that's left oh, over in this thing. It's gross. Yeah. I, I don't, I feel like, let me see if I can get the angle in on this. What's going on over here? Yeah. Oh my goodness. You're going to try to, uh, it's tipping. Oh my God. It's tipping. Wait a minute. Physics. Physics do me well. There we go. Oh, do the angle. Wait. Do the angle. Yes. You got it. There we you go. got it. All right. Let's see. So, can we, here's the, here's the mess that's occurring over here. Oh, oh, you can. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Oh, there's a mess already. Hold on. Let me. Oh, that's been there for a little bit. <laughs> the, the, it puked. So, it puked on the bar. So let's see if I can. Yep. Oh, did you crack it? Oh my <laughs> God. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? This sound speaks for itself. I I got I got nothing else. It's it's the squelchage. Are people into this? Is this is this premium quality content? Is think, this the content that people want? I think someone's in. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Show that to the camera. <laughs> Anyways, oh. feel free to just switch angles after that one. Oh. Oh goodness gracious. Gross. Is this what the people want? What do the people say, Glad? Oh, watch see. out! Oh, Here comes the angle. Okay, it's because electric catches the pulp. You fed chat. Reminded me of the one time the electric I, catch I had for lemonade making making at Jilly's. Oh, Piece of gracious. shit, Tris. Yes, it's asthma. Unfortunately, this is asthma. We made Orange. asthma. We did it. No, well, well, ASMR happens on this channel, evidently, whether we like it to or not. Sometimes I just like celebratory kazoo. Mm -hmm. What was that? Celebratory, celebratory kazoo. Oh God, no! <laughs> Let's see what squelching sounds like through a kazoo. <laughs> yep, it still sounds like squelching. And a kazoo. <laughs> Will it kazoo? Oh New series coming to you from the With an X family. <laughs> it was a one-parter. We tried it once. <laughs> Apples? Do they kazoo? They do. Wow, that came out wonderfully. Actually. <laughs> oh. Okay, I screwed it up. I, I jinxed it. Yes, you did. Unfortunate. Well, all in all, pretty good though. Now are you grumbling over there? It took us 10 minutes to make freaking orange juice with that thing. Are you fucking serious? I cannot even believe it. Okay, so next oh, up oh, we no. need orange juice. Uh, there's the uh, cranberry, juice. cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. See, it just gets easier from here. So Everything else is already pre-canned. 118 milliliters. That's two of those again. Yep, about four ounces or so. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go. Nice. Piss. Feel free uh, to make a message if you want to. If, so long as you're doing over top of my rubber, it's okay. Excuse me. <laughs> the rubber topping on the bar. No, we're, we're playing with there. your rubber, I know. I mean, I'm not really playing with it. We're just, it's just getting like really, really wet, you know? I'm gonna have to clean that later. <laughs> Wowie zowie. All right. Zooey mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 59 milliliters of pineapple juice. About 60, whoa, excuse me. About, uh, 59 milliliters or about 60 milliliters. Dumbass. <laughs> Two ounces. <laughs> Fucking, ah, I can't get that open. Oh, don't forget to. Right, oh, Jesus, don't. You gotta shake. Shake, 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 pineapple. Shake your body, right? Whoa, shake, shake, pineapple. So, 59 milliliters. Time. Oh, both of them, right? Yeah. Nice. So, you can eat. So, full two ounces. Yeah, easy. We got Seagram's ginger ale this time around. Also, it's called just doing math, bro. Because. Uh, what is math? One, 118 milliliters divided by two is 59. Kazoo! Kazoo! Oh! There's nice. the ginger ale. And then we get the other one in there. The thing I can't open. <laughs> How about we do it with a knife instead? <laughs> oh, it was so funny the other day. Can we hit the crack? Can we hit the crack? Yeah, it was, it was all right. So, oh, it exploded. Mm. So, did I tell you mess. what I did to my girlfriend the other day? So, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. It's context. So, okay, she <laughs> went into the fridge and got a thing of Coke, and then count, kind of did like. Held it horizontally and like put it in my face, and I'm like, do that again. I dare you. Oh no. She did it. I bit into it. <laughs> the thing was, after she was like, oh god, I didn't think you'd do it. I let go and I'm like, I punctured it because I tasted coke on oh my, my teeth. God. And it reminded like, me of my fraternity days when you'd rip into the beer can. I, I've never done this. <laughs> um, actually, have you ever heard of shotgunning? No. Like shotgunning a beer? Uh, no. So, well, I've heard of it. Beer. I'm not exactly familiar. 
Also, shotgunning that's... a beer would go something like this. You, there's a top of the can here. Yep. You can't suck this all out because there's no air on the inside. So instead what you do is you puncture the other side and make a hole in it. And then you crack it open and you suck everything out of it as fast as you can. You can do it with beers. You can technically do it with sodas. And I'm damn sure you can probably shotgun a can of pineapple juice. <laughs> yeah, the, all, oh all the stuff's in there. Perfect. It's all in there. He freaking bit the can and it leaked. I mean, duh. Glenn's got, Glenn's got like shark teeth and stuff. In yeah. the best ways, I mean. So, stir to combine. Stir to combine. Dude, Spin. give it a stir. Or, how about I stir and you pick out those fancy glasses you were talking about? Yes. Now, this one has caught my eye. Oh, it's the boots. <laughs> it's the boots. I like the boots. It's the boot. I also like this one because it's, it's funny. Oh, the little crystal glass. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I was thinking about like the lighthouse, but I'm like, eh, it's just red lobster. It's boot! It's just boot! It's just boot, yeah. Can you put these on the table as well as this guy? And the knife? And then we will make space for all the other stuff over here. Oh, well, I need to get around you then. Oh, that's fair, that's fair, yeah. I was gonna say over here. That's okay. Well, well you said put them on the table. I mean, this is a table. There's a table over here. Okay, I thought you meant the table It's there. okay, you stay right there. Let me set up the camera angle. Here we go, 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 here we go. All right, what do we have? Well, we have two different apparatuses here to hold our drinky drink. We have a boot. And we have this thing, which doesn't stand up straight. I mean, I guess maybe you could stand up straight in this little thing. Nope, nope. It's just, it just keeps falling over. What a beautiful what a beautiful thing that's happening here. Let's go. Oh, just the angle. Yeah, it's very pretty, close, precarious. pretty close to the edge of the table. They're not going to lie, Cameron. Yeah, <laughs> what a great idea. What an excellent idea, Cameron. Yeah, put the really glass container on the side. I like this. I like this angle that I had over here. This was really cool, actually. Let me see if I can. Yeah, something like this. The boots can be. There's a boot there. There's a crystal there. If I can like. Yeah, I kind of like that actually. Who are you? I like that. Das boot. And essentially, I'm not gonna bother straining this thing because there's just one large ice cube in it. So I'm just gonna kind of pour it into both containers. There's about half in that one. About half in this guy. I'm not gonna let the ice go in there. Unless you want a giant ice cube, I guess. Now, no, one container very clearly holds more than the other one. Would you like an ice in there? Sure. Ice. <laughs> <laughs> you put that over there. Okay. Excellent, excellent. It is das Boot. This is the non-alcoholic holiday morning punch. The 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 punch that you would have the morning after, I guess. Glenn, are you taking does boot? Oh, yes. Absolutely. And I will take the prism. Absolutely beautiful. These are both really cool. Did you also find these at a... Uh... So these this one I bought online, okay. uh, but that one I found in the store. <sighs> I got that. So I was like... There is going to be a very specific scenario where I can use the boot. I've used it one other time before, and that was on the horse-themed cocktail episode. Oh. Because, <laughs> like, boy, howdy, <laughs> kicking it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you ever just want a drink from a shoe? Mm, yes. Dude, um, oh my god, that's a that reminds me of fraternity days too. Oh my god, <laughs> somebody got so drunk and they were like, "Oh, give me the, give me the, like, I need, I need a drink." They were like, "I'll do it from the shoe." So they poured like bourbon or something into a shoe and he just went for it. Oh. A stinky old shoe. I don't that, remember what we called it, shoe beer or something. I don't know. That's disgusting. A shoey. I think it was they called it a shoey. Cheers, my mate. Yep. Hmm. Very so bitter. Right? Yeah. So the particular thing about this one is the bitterness is coming from that unsweetened cranberry juice. Now it is unsweetened cranberry juice. So there's a bit of a sour bittery component there that's coming mostly from that cranberry juice. Yeah. That and it's it's also possible that there's a piece of that coming from maybe the orange juice, mm -hmm. perhaps. But this is kind of a this is tart. This is a very tart beverage. Yeah. What are your thoughts? It's very heavy on the cranberry. I haven't had cranberry in a while. Yeah, I'm not actually crazy about cranberry, but it's very just bitter tart. Yeah. Which this I'm would really be great with vodka. Like, I am not getting any of the ginger ale. Yeah. It's kind of lost. Can I mean, I... how about add some more ginger ale to it? 
Put us in my boot. The water, you know, the thing about <gasps> making your drinks, especially when you're making them yourself, you can adjust it however you want to. That's the best part about it. Give me a little, give me a little stir stir. Here's a knife. Stabbing your ice cube. I'm so worried you're going to just stab and it's going to go right through the boot into the rubber. I don't think I've ever actually stabbed this bar before at that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, to be honest. Camera. I just got some cork the other day. Maybe I'll maybe make some coasters. Oh, coaster. Yeah, I wonder where I got that idea from. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Good stuff. A little bit better? What do you think now? Very ginger ale-y. Yeah. Yeah. So you've added a lot more in there? Did you just pour the rest of it in there? Actually, I got What is that white thing floating in there? Oh, that must white be... Thing. Maybe the ice? A fiber from the... Um, oh. Orange? Maybe. It looks like it could be a little piece of the pith. That's what they call it. They call it the pith. Yeah. <laughs> pith. Yeah, I feel like... Actually, adding the ginger now, I added a little more ginger ale. It's a lot better. It's still, it's still, it's now more sour than anything else. It's more the sourness of the cranberry juice, more so than the uh, the bitterness now. Fun fact about the boot, das Boot. It was an, a 19th germ, 19th century oh, German military hazing ritual that pith, became popular. Dude. What is it? I think it's like a thread. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Well, some of the glasses over there were a little. Hmm. It might have been in the boot already. You 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 ripped out a thread from the boot. It came from the boot. Uh, it's okay. I'm sorry about that, sir. Eh. Eh. It was a hazing ritual in 19th century Germany. At least that's what a quick Google search says about the boot. Drinking from the boot, perhaps. Oops. I hit the mic. Yeah. Ooh, careful with that mic. It's a. I I at some point need to replace the mic that I have back here. One because I think it clips out a little bit. I'm not a big fan of the audio fidelity that comes from this thing. But also because this plug is so finicky. This if you even touch this a little bit, it will just nothing. Will, you will have no sound. It just goes away. Unfortunate. I think my bro had a bigger glass shape like that when, oh man, I was in Germany once upon a time, oh. and I had the opportunity to buy myself a Das Boot, like a big old Das Boot. I didn't do it. Because at the time, I never imagined where I would be today, mm -hmm. almost 10 years later. God, that was forever ago. Mm -hmm. 10 year anniversary is coming up with that. Oh. Sophomore year of high school. Yeah. Almost. Damn. <laughs> All right, this is a little too this is a little too sour for my taste. It's acting me in my reflux, so I pour it in the boot. Pour it. Yeah, you want? Yeah, I'll take it. You want it? Yeah. Okey dokey. Oh, that is almost at the top of the boot. Showcase that. The floor. Boot. Boot. It's a boot. It's a boot. Show the boot. Give Get me that boot. the boot. Get that boot. The boosie. Awesome. I mean, the booty. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Not gonna lie, on the camera, at least what I see, it almost looks like, like, have you ever seen like those five pound gummy bears? Yes, I have seen those before. Like, look at the camera over there. Like, no, I see that, I see it here it too. It looks like one of those oh like gosh. five pound gummy bears, except it's a boot. That's incredible. Well, so long as you're enjoying those boot. And I would say, it looks like a little bit of Kool-Aid since corrupted Jasper. I agree with that. That's what, yeah. that's what she's saying. He's a, she's in my face right now, I think. I don't know where that comment was. I, I saw it. The chop out pot. There it is. Ah, there it is. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to put my tongue on chat. That's weird. Yeah, anyhow. I'll leave this to you to put over there if you wouldn't mind. Now, do you wish for me to acquire our last beverage of the evening? So, yeah. So, let's let's do a quick wrap-up of where we were so far. We covered quite a few different libations this evening, all of them containing little to no alcohol at all. That's the whole point of the mocktails with Lycos Lore thing. Lycos Lore, not a big alcohol guy. I'm not. Tastes kind of, in his own words, tastes like ink. Yeah. I can understand that. It's weird. I think it's a good perspective to have. One of the really cool things about being close with somebody who's not into the alcohol stuff is like every once in a while, like things pop up and I'm really curious about whether things land. For Anna in particular, she's also very sensitive to the alcohol flavor in things. So it's interesting to be able to find like drinks and libations that are, to some people are like, oh, I can't taste the alcohol at all. Like, well, if you can't taste the alcohol, I want to have somebody like Glenn try it or somebody like Anna try it who can pick out the alcohol like, like, it's, like it's plain as day. I, I guess I'm a little, I guess less, more, less exposed or whatever to it because I don't, I, I can't feel really like tell the as more much. you drink, like if you're like more used to drinking the more alcohol, you become to it. Yeah, yeah so for sure. You so you can't pick it out as fine as 
Something like me, I drink one simple moon. Yeah. Now what I get is I'm trying to pick out like particular flavors of the alcohol. Like now that I've gotten through like the taste of alcohol and stuff, like I'm trying to find the other like taste components that are in that. Like for example, one of the bourbons I had the other day straight up tastes like corn. At least to me. But it probably doesn't taste like corn to you, obviously. Hmm. But you never know. It's just the juice. It's guys the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. <laughs> Oh my god, please don't lick my comments as corrupted. <laughs> don't lick the comments. <laughs> Kool-Aid makes... What is this? Anyway, Kool-Aid makes energy drinks. I don't know which co-worker hated themselves in that way. Thanks, I hate it. T-I-H-I. -I. We all do. It's like how my bro and I traded drinks as corrupted Jasper. His tasted like paint thinner, and he said mine tasted like peach syrup. Well, those are probably like very, very sweet stuff and whatnot. I, I can appreciate a nice peach drink. I'm not one of those guys who are just like, oh, it's got sugar in it. <sighs> not my kind of drink. Dude, I love... Dude, we were, we were just Dude, the, we were drinking the, the uh, Virgin, Virgin uh, Miami Vice. Please. That was so good. Quick wrap up so far where we've been. First cocktail they did was called Flames, Flames of, the, of sun. the Sun. And it combined yes. habanero peppers with like pineapple juice and lime, lime juice, juice and some syrup in there as well. Combine that together. A contribution from community, community member Imi Chow. Thanks, we Imi also Chow. had a cocktail called the Virgin Miami Vice. I can't remember where that came from. But I don't think it was a contribution though. Basically, half pina colada on the bottom, half lime strawberry daiquiri up on top it made a really cool layering effect but between like the kind of white layer there and the red layer and it tasted awesome very sweet very good we also crushed ice for no apparent reason we never actually used it that's yeah. fine it's whatever mm -hmm. it was fun though yeah and got then, a chance to take out the stress from the week and then after that we did the japanese thirst killer, killer. The japanese thirst killer which combined grape juice or ja angostura bitters i think there was a little you should use acid phosphate in there we used a little bit of lemon juice in there um and then you topped it with club soda yes. it was a very club soda -y one mm -hmm. um after that we did ent drought a yep. contribution oh the um the tr drink book Yes, the drink book. The, the um, drink book. Yeah, it was from the. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. It came from. Geeky Bartender. The Geeky Bartender, a beautiful, beautiful book by Cassandra Reader. Oh, I, I, it's full of great stuff and whatnot. And that combined green tea, tea tea, whatever tea, maple syrup, a little bit of almond extract. Um, I said maple syrup already. I said the tea already. Oh, yes. and mint leaves. And we bought the mint leaves as well. Yes. It was very, very tasty. Mm -hmm. And then what we just did was the non-alcoholic holiday morning punch, which combines orange juice, cranberry juice, pineapple juice, and ginger ale or lemon lime soda. We chose the ginger ale this time. And it's um, die. Also, side okay. note, sorry about using this, because now I'm looking at it, I'm like, this is going to be a bitch to clean. Oh, it's okay. It's, it's fine. That's what I got a dishwasher for. The machine, I mean, of course. In any case, and now we, and now here we are, quite a few mocktails later, quite a few libations later, definitely running a little more than I usually do, but to be honest, We've been I, having fun. I, this has been a great time. I usually only keep things to, to a certain time just because like it's getting kind of late over here. I got to make sure I get like rest for work and stuff, but in the, in the company of friends, dude, the first like hour went by like, like nothing. That was like, that was wild how fast. And the whole thing has gone by so fast. It hasn't even felt like it's been so long already. Mm -hmm. It's or already at the almost basically three and a half hour mark or so three four Damn. minutes or so incredible so our last drink of the evening no cocktail mm. we don't need to make anything no more cocktails it is what we passionately refer to as pizza so lycos lore or i don't remember who brought up the conversation first but I think somebody mentioned that like Pepsi has like a Peeps flavored limited edition I remember version for I, like Easter, I guess. I guess because I remember I saw this. I think I texted you about it because I'm like, what is this? Yeah, this thing is just like, it's like, okay. oh my god, what a nice set effect there. So like, I also saw this on the interwebs too, and I was like, Peeps x Pepsi. Peepsy. We have to try the Peepsy. Yeah. I'm curious to see if, if the Peepsy tastes good, what it tastes like at all. I'm gonna guess it's probably like a marshmallowy Pepsi. Okay. I guess. I was curious about it. I will say, I have had it already. So I will keep my notes to myself and we'll have a can. We'll both have a can. Glenn, would you mind putting the current recipe on the board to just, just Peepsy? Sure. Peepus. Maybe it's Satan. Maybe it just tastes like the devil. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh my gosh. Let's get a let's get a beautiful little I don't know peepsy peepsy close up of this. What do, what do we got here? This is our peepsy container. We have our peepsy cans. Observe the peepsy can. Oh, that's a really weird shadow thing going on here. Shadow the hedgehog. Shadow, shadow the hedgehog. hedgehog. Observe, observe. This is our peepsy can container. 
Maybe, oh, okay. The way that I can describe it says Corrupted Jazz Spirit. It's Pepsi. Peep Show, get it? <laughs> it's the Peep Show, but it's Pepsi instead. It's like Pepsi, plus the taste of how a marshmallow maker, marshmallow marker smells? How did it turn that orange? I think this, uh, I think the color combo, the, co the coloration on my, my phone here is a little, the saturation is a little off. In any case, this is the yellowness there. And I can also do two. Where's my, where's my remote control? I don't know where my remote control left. Otherwise, I would I would zoom in. I don't have my remote control. Where did I put that thing? Huh. Huh. It is out of sight and out of mind right now. Oh, here he was. I don't know how he got over there. Observe the power of the Pepsi. The yellow. Every once in a while, the zoom makes its appearance again. This is the Pepsi. The Peepsy. Take it to Peepsy. Look at the nutrition facts. What are you putting in your body today? Peepsy! Peepsy, right, the Peepsy! The Peepsy. And I will uh, not awkward it. Ooh, you good? Yeah, I just, Oh, you're good, you're I good. Don't hurt water. yourself. You're slowly but surely coming back into frame. Hey, I'm back. That's a tall boy. Hey. Hey, tall boy, tall boy, tall boy. I'm a tall Yeet. boy there we after... Go. Oh, we got a tiny can. How to turn that orange, the absolute regrets. <laughs> All right, honestly, peep, pep, <clears throat> Pepsi X Peeps. Artificial. Marshmallow flavored soda. Now, naturally, if we're doing this, if we're if we're tasting like this, like we would anything else, the only thing, the proper way to do it, Glenn, are you imbibing as well? Yes. The proper way to taste something like this is to put it into a snifter glass, so we can get the full fledged of the aroma. Absolutely no natural flavors. So this is now that that is what I'm curious about, right? So yes. let's take a look at the. I know the coloration is going to be a little off now because of the color, the the camera here. But let's see. In our snifter glass, we'll go some Pepsi. We'll do this like we would tasting like whiskey or something. I don't know. Glenn, you would like to do your own? Take a look at that color there. If I were to rate this like a beer or a wine, I'd say it's got a very, very brown color to it. <laughs> no almost, sh almost cola covered. I wouldn't say it's cola amber. covered. There's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a orange tinge there. I would say, honestly. Yeah. Honestly. Except that might just be cola, dude. It could very well just be the whole presence of the cola and stuff in there. You know, all things considered. I am. Um, as I smell this, what do I get? I get. I get Coke. I like cola. It does not taste, it does not smell like cola to me. Really? I mean, a little bit. It smells like, I do get marshmallow, but like, but not Peeps. Not specifically Peeps marshmallow. I'm trying to figure out which, I know what that smell I'm is. I'm literally just getting cola. I've had this before, I know. Describe. It smells like cotton candy. That's what I'm getting on the smell on the nose there. Almost oh, like the... Lucky Charms. It is a little Lucky Charmy. Yeah, you know? A little bit there. Oh, I have like a vanilla you know. Very, oh, super, super vanilla. Super duper vanilla. When you, when you said that, I was like, oh yeah, very vanilla-y. Interesting. It's a different experience when you're sipping soda from a snifter. <laughs> now, yes. marshmallows roasting nose. Jack Frost kicking up your nose. Soda in my hose. That is not a peep. I had some flavor that was not Pepsi. This almost doesn't taste carbonated. I don't know why, but this is almost more viscous than a regular Pepsi. <laughs> like, flavor I got? I can taste the peeps. It like, tastes like it tastes like the peeps entered my mouth and then have swiftly left. It's like, gone now, but this is the, the, big this thing is the remaining aftertaste that I get from peeps. It just feels like I just drank Coke. Also, also, I can feel every single ridge on my teeth because of the sugar that is just purely collecting and depositing itself on the back of my molars. Yeah. Oh, Ugh. it's so sugar. Bro, suffering. Aren't we all watching that? Huh, aren't we all by watching them drink this? Vicariously, y'all are suffering too. It's the nitro again. To Corrupted Jasper, it tasted like the scent from a black scented Crayola marker. I can get the markerness from that. It, it just, it smells and tastes artificial. Almost like this is not a natural flavor. But then again, I don't think peeps are naturally flavored either. 
Not to my knowledge. Ah, uh, yes. No, don't you know? The peeps naturally hunted yeah. around this time, time of year. year. They awake from their rust hibernation Indeed. just Indeed. to be haunted. Absolutely. And then subsequently inserted into cola for the for the <laughs> for the amusement of the humans. <laughs> it really I actually think it does taste like peeps. Like I, I, if this were if this was supposed to be the combination of Pepsi and Peeps, this is this is Peepsy to me. I I, I don't get it. Well, like, which is cool. Like, it's cool for me because like I don't get the Peep at all. I just taste cola. It's so interesting. But like, the, most of the Peep is is the aftertaste. Like, I find that very, certain things have a very very distinct aftertaste, and Peeps have a distinct aftertaste to me. I love that. Then again, but it's in my mouth now. I don't have. I don't. It's like oh, de Peeps. I don't have peeps very often because, like, I'm not crazy about marshmallows. Mm. Oh my god. Toss sugar in cola, the bubbles want to do stuff. So of course not, it's sugar. What in nature tastes like either of these things? It's the peeps dip, like peep drowned in cola. Yes. Dude, you know what? That's... It would have been so... What an idea to take peeps, dissolve them in Pepsi, <laughs> and then see if it tastes like the Pepsi. Can we do that? Easter's coming up. Can we do that as like I an have experiment? To, I have to remember. Write that down. I have to remember. Peeps. This is this is the this is the question, right? Oh, here, here. Let's let me let me spell it out for y'all with 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 a uh, chalkboard time. Yay! This is, the, this is the question. This is the question. Here, here. This is the question. Here, Glenn. Where's the there's, there's the big guy? The question is. Peeps. Plus. Pepsi. Are you following? Equal. Excuse. Lord in heaven above. <laughs> Pepsi? <laughs> Those peeps plus Pepsi equal using peeps. the dipping method. Equal Pepsi. Equal peeps. Or dissolve them in Pepsi. Mm, either Pepsi? either via via Dip, oh. dissolving, dissolve, mm -hmm. or infusing. You know, I am very curious to see. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> if you could infuse peeps into alcohol, then combine the peeps infused liquor in Pepsi, whether that also tastes like Pepsi. Mm. Like, I, I had an idea. It's the Peeps theme episode. It's literally nothing but also, marshmallows. I think that would actually work for uh, kind like of Easter. For Easter. Yeah, because that's normally when Peeps are at marshmallow stream. Yeah. Marshmallow stream. Like marshmallow based drinks. I'd be there there for that. Oh my gosh! Get more people up here for Easter time. These are valid ideas. Peeps rule. <laughs> Peeps are just best for jousting. Peeps pull the Great Gatsby, the sacrifice. Peeps plus Pepsi equals Peeps x Pepsi. Peep Jello shot to return to gelatin. Biblically accurate peeps. Biblically <laughs> accurate peeps. <laughs> oh my god. I like the Peep Jello shot. Peep. Yeah. We gotta write all these things down. Hello shot. Jello shot. Jello shot. What about the Jello shot conjecture? It's mathematics, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. I love the cool. idea that peeps, it's like the regular, like, 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 this is, this is, this is like, this is your, uh, I don't know, I'm running out of space here. Yeah. This is your peeps, right? Yeah. Dude, he is dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him a butt, Oh my dude. god, so here's its one wing, there's its other wing, there's another wing, there's another wing. Here's, here's one eyeball, here's another eyeball, here's a third eyeball, here's a fourth eyeball. Here's like, I don't know, some vague lips or something, and it's dripping blood everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of this and post this in the On Topic channel. <laughs> this is biblica Biblically Accurate Peepses? Biblically Accurate Peeps? Is it though? I think it is. I think you, you've seen what the original peep looks like. Biblically Accurate Peeps? That's going in the on topic channel on the Discord. Yeah. That's where I post things that happen on topic naturally. Oh my god. Needs more fire. Oh, of course, of oh, course, yeah. needs more fire. And more. as we know, fire is red. 
It's just like freaking. Oh, there's the blood of the tears. I remember now. Oh my god. The fire. Watch out for the theater. Here's the fire. Oh, I have to take another. I have to take another photo of this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. More peeps. It. More beepus. Here we go. That's the updated version. There we go. Incredible. Anyways, Glenn. Yes. I think we did it. <laughs> I think did we did we properly accomplish mocktails with Lycos lore? I believe so. I, I think also did. think you cracked a code to seeing God. <laughs> Biblically accurate cocktails plus peeps. peeps equals. Would you also do the Jesus thing? <laughs> the water to wine thing? Oh my God! There are so many. With there, a peep that could do that. There are a lot of there are a lot of ideas floating around here. I need to get need to take it back to the workshop. Okay. Make some make some things there. Oh my God. <laughs> Glenn, would you like to? Would you like me to top you off as we end things off here? Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Well, not only am I going Ooh, to actually, I had Coca-Cola and grape juice before. I'm gonna add the. I'm gonna add grape. I've never to had it before, but also something that I kind of talked about earlier this stream. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I mean, I need to get around you, bro. Oh yeah. Oh okay, okay. So I need. Yeah, that's interesting. Ooh. Glenn's got his lemon, lemon and his habanero. Yeah, I said I was gonna eat the habanero, you remember? You did, you did, you did. Here you, oh, oh, here's the other piece of the haba haba. I know, Ooh. habanero, pepper. Let's go. Glenn's just gonna put it in his Bone mouth. apple tea. Bone apple tea. Wow, that was quite a crunch there. How you doing, man? Honestly, in terms of flavor, it's basically like a pulp pepper. Wow. You, you but now it's really getting hot. Oh. You're really struggling there. I don't think the soda is going to help, to be honest, man. I don't think so either. We're going to try it anyways. This man just put a habanero pepper in his mouth, grape juice ex peepsy, and like also a lemon? Yeah, I was going to. What do you call this cocktail? What do you call this mocktail, Glenn? The thing that is currently entering your gut. It has to have a name. Do we call it the peepsy pleasure? The, the, the peeps, the peepsy hell, porn? <laughs> the hellfire peeps. Hellfire peeps? I'm gonna spell fire with a, a Y. <clears throat> hellfire. Ugh. Excuse me. I love that I do that right in front of the mic. That's a wrap, folks. Suffering. Yeah. Normal soda can, can I think? Pain. Absolute pains. That was a good one, man. Glenn. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming to the bar. Hey, yeah, thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure having you around here. This is very good. Oh, yeah. And with that, to everybody, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. This is the bitter end, and the bar must switch to yep. the end screen as usual. Oh boy. Come on in here, buddy. I know, I'm here. This is Cameron. I'm Lycos Lore, I'm Glenn. And this was, this was the bar with an X. Yeah. Mocktails with Lycos Lore. Right, it's well, done. It's... A non-alcoholic, like, with little, libations with little to no alcohol. Mm -hmm. I think it went well. Yeah, I agree. We, there was habanero peppers, there was a blender, there was crushed ice, and a an adjustable large crescent wrench named Rose. Can't forget Cody. Can't forget Cody, whose head is now frozen in my freezer and will be used later on for ritual sacrifice, of course, yep. naturally. Thank you for your stream. This was awesome. Made me feel better. I'm glad Aww, that we were glad. able to infuse you with happiness and the same vibes. way that Pepsi did with Peeps and infusing itself with a very similar sense of happiness. R right? Not gonna lie, the grape juice coke is actually kind of doing it for me. It's not that bad. It's kind of doing it, it for needs, me. I think it needs more peepsy in there, honestly. There you go. <laughs> Put more peepsy in there. Yep, that's that's interesting. That's not that bad. Not that bad at all. In any case, to everybody out there, thank you all very much. Mm -hmm. This has been fun. Uh, a message to everybody, as, as for the usual, just some quick reminders. On Friday, I'm reading Erotica. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> it's going to be great. It'll be fun. It'll be, fun. It'll be hilarious. The bar with an X is open to anybody. If there is a thought of wanting to find yourself back here behind the bar, I am very open to having a conversation with you. This is fun. I'm having a great time with this. I want more people back at the bar because that's, that's, that's the whole community aspect. So let's get in contact. The bars where the friends hang out, have I mean, some drinks, and enjoy each other's company. Glenn, did you have a favorite drink from this evening? I'm very, I didn't uh, even ask that. I didn't even think to ask that until we got crap. to the answer. Crap. 
Ah, shoot, that's really tough because they were all really good. Like, I think this was probably my least favorite. Um, ah, shoot, I'm between the um, no, sorry, You're sorry, my, I am between the uh, Ver what was it, Virgin Miami, um, Miami Vice, Vice, half peanut and, colada, half lime strawberry daiquiri, and the um. The tea really did it for I me. Really, I really like the tea one as well. I think I'd have to pick that as my favorite. It's just, it's a good one. I'm glad I like, came back to they it. They were both really good. Like, yes, very sweet, but sweet is what I like. And it feels was... like, feels like the Lord of the Rings reference has the, has the, is the winner. Mm -hmm. In any case, to everybody out there, that's it. Yeah. That's all we've got for you. Mm -hmm. If the sun is shining where you are, and you're starting off your morning with a mocktail, something that really spritz up your day, may it be a rest of the, may it be a wonderful one. If the moon is shining where you are, and it is evening, like it is over here, almost midnight actually, yeah. then please have a wonderful rest of your evening. Dawn, twilight, meal time, second dinner time, or otherwise, friend time. Good vibes, y'all. Good vibes till next time, y'all. Lycos, out. Bye. Bye.